Well, guys, you all voted, and we are going to give we are going to attempt a reaction to the entire Ethan podcast about Abba and Preach, uh, which frankly I think is a little bit uh, silly, um, kind of petty, but I guess Abba and Preach did invite him to react <laughs> to their stuff. Um, it's the whole podcast, though. That's a little much. <laughs> okay. Before we start, though, I just want to let you guys know this is relevant because it is. this is the yin and yang Ethan and Trisha Paytas. You say, why Trisha Paytas? Well, Trisha Paytas started this new podcast called Oversharing with Colleen and Trish five days ago, six days ago now. I talked about it last night with my wife on this podcast here. Fantastic podcast watch. Fantastic watch. It was incredible. Not really a podcast, more of a live stream, but it was fun. But if you guys notice, people who are fans of Rob and Dan, uh, the fastest rising YouTube channel, we started oversharing, dude. That's what we had from a month ago. It's down here. It says oversharing. Well, you know, you can sign it. I guess I have to move this. She stole our idea. And I think that she does watch my content. I think that she I think that she does. <clears throat> I think Trisha watches my content. If you want my full perspective on this whole thing, link in the description for the full podcast. Do not even worry. It's it's chaptered. But this is why I think that Trisha likes me. I was obviously critical of her a couple of years ago during the Frenemies arc. But also, Ethan and I have some similarities. I'm basically the male version of Ethan Klein, and she's attracted to Ethan. So how she's probably doubly attracted to me, especially since I am double the weight of Ethan Klein. <clears throat> so anyway, go take a look at that. There's some great... I'm doing like a hard plug. We talk about the Trisha thing in detail. We talk about parasocial relationships and relationship to Bam Margera. We talk about virtue billing and social media boundaries. We talk about nonviolent communication and its effectiveness. We talk about The Walking Dead. And we talk about why female heroes potentially miss the mark, which is a really interesting, deep, uh, like, why we, we, we blew our own minds with that one. Maybe that's because I'm just a silly goose. But anyway, we're going to start uh, We're gonna start this this bad boy here right after this uh, donation alert. Zeno Super Chat at $4.99. <clears throat> yeah. Shadow Wizard Money Gang, we love casting spells. This song is sponsored by the Shadow Government. Incredible stuff. Let's see this going. As I do this, I'm going to probably increase the speed more and more um, as we get used to it. So let's start. You can probably find a good start. Buddy, on a few things. Ooh. One of them is the uh, peaches and cream. I'm going to eat crow on that big time. Mm. But we're, but yeah, I know. All right. Settle down, Dan. <laughs> but um, oh, they're excited for we it. We have too. so much to get into. You know, uh, these guys. Abba and Preach, Babylon and Reach, they've been talking like a lot. They've been talking about me a lot, not just me, yeah, like some of the yeah. crew members too. For example, what do they call Olivia exact? Well, like Silly Goose. I don't know. Okay. If you don't know who Olivia is, she's the loser feminist researcher who spends all her day Whoa! on Whoa! Loser feminist researcher. Whoa, that's a little weird. Right. Research, okay. <clears throat> right. So that, you know, that, that, that I got to stand up for my girl. Do you, do you think you're a loser, dumb loser feminist? Or do you say dumb or just loser feminist? You don't know who Olivia is. She's the loser Lo feminist loser. researcher. No, you called her dumb. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, you yeah. asked her dumb. <laughs> no, that Sorry. was you. Yeah, that was um, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, what they're criticizing me, I messed up. True. So in that moment, yeah, I was a Does loser. Does it make you a feminist, though? I mean, that's a compliment to me. I'm a feminist. Right. right. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess labeling her a feminist. I don't know. They might have just been kind of joking it a little bit weird. But if they were being, because I don't remember the context of that. I, but if they're being serious. It is weird that they would insert the word feminist when she was just being a silly goose there. She did a pretty bad thing. So um, thanks, guys. Love you. <laughs> Love you so much. Thank yeah, you but I'll tell you what. This is off the rails, but I'm going to keep it level headed today. You know what I mean? I got my warm water here. Wow. Warm water? Oh, yeah. Hot water, warm water. What is it? Where does that come from? That's what maturity leads to. It leads to yeah. you're cutting out the beverages, the the soda pops, the coffee. I'm sit, I'm settling down on a nice cup of warm water. Why is today. it warm? Why not ice water, cold water? No, 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 warm. Because it's I already said it's spicy. It's exciting. It's dynamic. Oh, I always drink the tea. Water. I always drink cold water. For white people, spicy is uh, warm water. Zesty. <laughs> Zesty. But in, in truth, my throat. I'm having throat pain. I used to really like uh, warm water and chocolate. Was a really big thing for me. I liked that a lot. So just letting you know. Not, I don't know if I do it anymore. I don't really eat chocolate anymore. So. Oh. So. I figured maybe some throat coat. <laughs> Love me some throat coat. Coat your throat, throat up. Coat, yeah. I can't help but help think that that sounds sexual, like obscene. Throat coat. Nothing wrong with that. No, it's not. I just go coat my throat. I'll let you coat my throat anytime. Thank Nothing you. Sexual about it. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I gotta say, there's so much of them talking about us. There's 15 videos in total of them talking about me and Hassan. Eight about me that I counted. Yeah. And the topics that they cover. Just to be clear, right? Like, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Ethan and Hassan. Uh, you know. I think Hassan has done quite a bit to to reel himself in and act in a more mature, appropriate capacity. Um, and you could criticize people who criticize people. Like if you want to be like, "Oh, Papa guy, you know, you talk about all you do is you know whatever weigh in on the situation." That's fine. 
<clears throat> but um, I think on its face value, because there are eight or fifteen videos, I don't think that that me makes it that big of a deal as long as there is a reason for those videos. Does that make sense? You know, if I th as long as there's an update or whatever, um, are just pretty nuts in general. <clears throat> Here's a list of things they've criticized me for uh, imitating Elon Musk. That was horrible. Yeah, I agree with them on that one. That, that was over the line. You were yeah. the only person to do that too. Yeah, they got me on that one. Doxing people for fun, which I'm excited to talk about that one. <laughs> that one's pretty good. People, folks. We have a long and obvious <laughs> history, actually. Doc. Falsely accusing people of essay. I can't, I'm looking forward to talk about that one. Yeah. Uh, pushing fake narratives for money. Pushing fake narratives. I don't know about that Narratives one. against people I disagree with. Um, okay. Ruining the sanctity of debate, actually. They defended Steven Crowder. That is the... Oh. <laughs> you know, I remember watching that, and my original take was like, yeah, I think that it's kind of lame to um, do the bait and switch. I don't like Crowder. He's a bad person. And so, like, you know, I guess I would my, my position on that thing would be I just don't care. But back then, when I engaged with that, I thought it was kind of, like, cowardly. <clears throat> you know, uh, growing up is realizing Steven Crowder's a bad guy. No, now I would just be like, oh, I don't really care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. I don't have like, I don't have a particular opinion on it either way. I really just don't care. But back then I was like, oh, this kind of, to me, it, it spoke to, um, you know, a, a diminished moral character to make a promise that you were going to engage in a debate with somebody and then pulling somebody else on. Right. That's how I originally had interpret that situation. You know, it was similar to me being frustrated when uh, Trisha criticized Ethan's wife and he didn't really push back against her in that moment, you know, and he let her back on there without really seemingly giving an apology. Um, there are a few things that like bothered me about the boundaries that Ethan would set <clears throat> in some scenarios. So biggest event. Well, they didn't defend. It's, Let's say I'll, debate is a sacred institution. I'll say they didn't defend Crowder, but in the uh, Sam Cedar event, they said they both look dumb and Ethan destroyed the sanctity of debate. No. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know uh, let's see. Uh, being a liberal racist, being insecure, being slimy. There's a whole lot of silliness here. So to yeah. actually address everything they've said about me, I don't know that I could possibly even do all that. But I've done my best to kind of hit on the best things uh, right. that, that, that I could put together here. And this is this is quite a long one. So okay. uh, bear with it. us. But I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. I think that we've done a pretty good job of proving. The thing about them, ba uh, Babylon Reach, is that <clears throat> I feel that their whole shtick is that they, they're above everything. They don't care about anything. They're not attached. We make fun of everyone and we just say it like it is. But when you look at Maybe. but when you look at them holistically, you can. I, I we were. I don't think they're that. Much. Do you guys get that impression? I don't know if I get that impression. I think that they're just confident in what they say. I don't agree with a lot of the stuff that they oh, say. No. You know, I think Hassan made an excellent point where <clears throat> he showed that it seems like anytime Abin preach talk about trans issues, it's in it is negative on trans people. So they seem to have a pretty good perspective on trans people that like they're valid. From what I've seen, that they're valid individuals. But you know, when it comes to sports and whatnot, obviously, unfortunately, there is an advantage. Um, but then they make videos that seem to be against when like, oh, a, a trans person did a bad thing. And let's talk about that. But don't really talk about trans people in a positive light. You know, does, if that makes sense. So you kind of attract the audience. That's like, oh, look, a trans person, the poop their pants. Ah, and you start laughing and pointing. <clears throat> but they don't have they don't seem to have like videos that are very uh, trans affirming. So you could argue that they're kind of playing into that bait. So I understand that. But yeah. Yeah, we get pizza tonight, baby. My wife comes in the chat. We get pizza tonight? If not, I'll get some for lunch. Bro, come on. I just ate eggs and turkey sausage for breakfast and some edamame so that I could be ready for pizza tonight. Save my save my calories for some pizza. We got to have some pizza. We've had uh, some ice cream sitting in the freezer for like three days now that I haven't touched. You know, I'm addicted to food. You know how hard that is, dude? Come on. Much different than Fresh and Fit. I mean, they're not as incel. They are much they're different smarter. than Fresh and Fit. But when it comes down to it, you're, I'm, I'm going to show you guys blatant transphobia. I, I think that the saying that they're the same as Fresh and Fit, I, I just take, I just personally think that that's so off the mark. Fresh and Fit are such a particular piece of, of, of trash. Um, <clears throat> I see Abra and Preach are like just kind of normal dudes. You know, to be honest with you. Uh, they're just kind of normal dudes. And they have like a normal dude perspective, and they're smarter. They're well, not smart, but they're smart. They're smart. I'm not trying to say they're smarter than like the average person. I'm not trying to say they're better than anybody, but they're just pretty smart guys. And they have like a. I mean, they remind me of a lot of the perspectives that mechanics have, except they express themselves better than some of those mechanics did, you know. But they don't have the cool calendars the mechanics would have, where they would they have girls' boobies on it, you know. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> But Fresh and Fitment are a real particular piece of shit. First of all, they have a podcast that is designed specifically to instill a male victim complex where they berate women. 
they have a massive insecurity that they promote to all their fans every single day that they do that podcast. Um, it is a waste of space. They have told women to their face that if they were assaulted, that it's their fault and they should have chose better. We're talking about we're talking about horrible people. They're still defending the uh, Andrew Tate, despite the fact that Andrew Tate himself has come out and based on what he has said, he's a sex trafficker, right? <clears throat> you you can't put them in the same category. They are they are boys. They are children at this point. They are like waste of space, not real men. Uh, uh, fresh and fit. You can't put them in the same category. And I think it's dishonest to engage so. <clears throat> not to be rude, but like so unintelligently. And I, Ethan is smart enough to know that they're, that, you know, he's not like a dumb guy. As much as people don't like him, it's not like he's an idiot. He knows what he's talking about. So for him to be so lazy about that and to have that opinion, it's just, it's just, it's just so wrong. You could say like, hey, I, I don't like, uh, I, you know, uh, Abin preached they're very adjacent to the manosphere. <clears throat> if the manosphere didn't exist, they would be the manosphere, right? Whatever. You want to say something like that? I think that's perfectly fun. But to boil it down like that, I think it's just silly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because if you if you actually think that Fresh and Fit assaulted somebody, when uh, Ethan did push that like that false narrative, and I remember watching it in depth, <clears throat> you could look that up. It's on my old main channel. Then how? And then you're basically saying that you also think that Abin preached it, are are capable of that? I, I you know what I mean? I, it's just you, I don't, I think that's just unrealistic and silly. Barbados, but your turn. <laughs> He's feeling a little upstage right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Uh, although, you know, and Coconuts and Barbados and Preach have a lot in common, too, I think. They just kind of sit there. there. Thank you, little feminist loser. <laughs> uh, you know, and they, ha they have a, they're, yeah, blatant misogyny, blatant uh, transphobia, insane hypocrisy. Okay. And just Let's generally defending awful people and just generally being awful. Okay. Um, they laugh at this claim. Hassan's been talking about them being transphobic for a long time. And okay. they, they don't really respond to it. They just laugh. If you watch a lot of the videos, you'll notice that they're not actually interested in responding to um, okay. valid criticism. They just laugh and let that stand for itself. They're like, we laughed. I feel like that's disrespectful to the institution of debate. Oh, we're going to have to take them up on that. Highly respect here. No, I, I, would say, I would say, though, I think it would have been productive to have them on. I think it still would be productive to have them on, though. Today, we will prove in our thesis that is them who do not respect the sanctity of that's debate. That's right. Okay. That's right, boys. Get those marching. Uh... Yeah, so we've got a whole lot here. Okay, I'm excited. And uh, from bad to worse, in my opinion. And I do think I will give a, a trigger warning to people who are sensitive to this. Because I'll tell you, there's definitely transphobia, misogyny, victim blaming. There's oh, a lot yeah. of bad stuff in here. Victim you know what blaming. I mean? What have we got here? And I feel like I, I almost I identify with them in the sense that I used to do what they do. So Whoa, I know exactly where they are in the sense guy, that Ethan, I, I used guess. to be the this enlightened tone. centrist around the time we started the podcast. I used to appeal to <laughs> the same kind of men that they're appealing to now. Okay. And... Let's see what we got. I, I can't speak for them, but what it did to me is it kind of started warping me and changing me to cater yeah. to them until I came to the point where I realized that I was encouraging and fostering a community of really horrible people. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm not saying all their fans are horrible. I don't know. But I'm just saying I know the headspace they're in. They're kind of stuck. They're, they can't. A lot of their criticism of me, I feel like, is just straight pandering to the um, fallen fans. And I don't think so. I think that it's, in, it's easy to make content against Ethan. That is a fact. It doesn't matter whether you think it's justified or not. It's a fact. It's easy to, to make content <clears throat> with Ethan's name in it. Like, let's just be honest. Like, it is. It, it is easy to be like, oh, Ethan bad. And sometimes, absolutely, and, I'm, you know, they're going to show specifics, but <clears throat> it can be the case where even good content creators uh, will latch onto an easy topic to dunk on and just make a, a quick uh, video about it with some pretty broad talking points. Be like, okay, we're moved on. I think that we've all done that intentionally or not uh, in some capacity sometimes. So for sure, there is the Ethan bad thing. Um, <clears throat> I think that relationship one with Sebastian was an example of that, to be honest with you. You know, I watched the entire thing and I thought that they had, I think that their perspective was overall unfair to Ethan, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, but that doesn't mean that all criticism is wrong. And, you know, you have to do a good job at figuring out shifting through the good and bad criticism, which can be very hard, especially if you're a big content creator. And I've never been as big at Ethan, but like when I was on TikTok, like I was, I was large. I was also fatter. <clears throat> and it's very difficult. You know, you get to a point sometimes where it's just easier to dismiss stuff because people are being so unfair and so disproportionate in their criticism that it's like, well, you know what? Fuck you. You know, I, I get that. I do understand that. And that's why I love my wife. You guys knew it was coming because she keeps me very grounded. And part of the way that she keeps me grounded is that she's not really an honest. Like she, yes, we have our podcast together, but she's somebody who lives and works in the real world. And, you know, I don't know if Ethan has that because everybody in his thing kind of, <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, seems to be very online. But I could just be wrong about that. I could be wrong about that.
But that's a very important thing to find somebody that can ground you. Like my mom used to ground me for pooping in a poop, my poop sock. And it works quite well. Their videos, when they use my name, do, do quite well for them. And so basically, with all that yeah. being said, I think what, let's just get right into it. Um, you know what I mean? Sure. Me. So here it is. So, well, let me start this off by just giving a shout out to uh, their last video on us. I had to acknowledge this legend in the comments. Tay Zonde of Chocolate Rain fame. Yeah. Right. At the top comment, edited, of course. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, we got a frozen monitor. One moment here. Oh, I didn't realize I was enjoying the fuck cab cab mug. Oh, wow. Looking forward to meeting him soon. Could I sip this in our mediation? Yeah. That'd be good. Yes. I'd be like, yes, Ryan, go on. Maybe we can make a to-go mug that says the same thing. Just a whole line of... Yeah. Mm. Are we good, Dan, or... Okay, cool. Yeah, so our boy Tay Zonde of Chocolate Rain fame, uh, Chocolate Rain fame, is invested. He said, oh boy, this is going to go on and on, popcorn emojis. Let's go. I didn't know you were drama hand, but I'm going to make a Chocolate Rain up <laughs> in boost, this. We boosted morning, a little morning, more. Morning. I love that. So eat your heart out, Tay Zonde. Uh, we'll, we get, we'll get Just used to this years young. Don't worry. Wow. <laughs> Oh my God, so close. Now let me, uh, no. Speaking of music legend, not close. Did you hear close. the breaking news? Who we just lost? Who? Tina Turner just passed away. Like it was announced wow. an hour ago. Oh no. So shout out to our girl Tina, your legend. Yeah. Oh, I suggested we put poor Tina in the beginning of the episode. Yeah, poor Tina. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> episode That's it. Uh, okay, rest in peace Tina Turner. Great. I mean, terrible. Not, not great. Terrible. Not, great. not great. Um, I, here's my quick way to start this off, okay? okay. Now, <clears throat> as I was saying, they've made a ton of videos about me and Hassan. I have never properly listened to them. And they're, they're just like content vultures, parasites. Like, you say any dumb thing and they'll turn it into a whole episode. So I've been putting off getting into it with these guys because I know it's just going to be a whole thing. <laughs> but uh, for now, <clears throat> it's uh, Babylon Reach season on the H3 podcast. It's, uh, it's open season now. Bullet. Ethan Klein and Sandra to go to war with us. Ethan Klein is embarrassing. This was about... Oh, we have another freezing. Uh, all right. It's cold oh, in here, dude. Uh, can't even get your stuff together. What's going on here? <laughs> it's getting freezing. Mm. Cold up in there. Yeah. You ever met Tay Zonde? I have met Tay Zonde. Oh, really? I met him at Jack Film's birthday party. That's random. He was talking to me about a friend of his who's addicted to Kratom. <laughs> That's a pretty ah, interesting combo. Man. Okay. I, you know, I didn't know that people got addicted to Kratom, but yeah. it's, I guess there's someone out there for every everything. Hmm. What is that? I'm sorry. Forgive my ignorance. It's like it's like a painkiller, right? It's some weird herbal Far Eastern Indian thing where it's like gives opiate-like effects. Hmm. And it's legal just because I don't think it's been regulated yet. Or at least last time I checked. Maybe it has been now. You can just buy like pounds of it online. And it's, it's really nasty. Okay. Uh, green powder that you drink. It's gross. It is really nasty shit. But okay, so, back, so anyway. Yeah. Well, for everybody watching the live stream, yeah, because I know I have a very divided fan base. Some people who like Ethan, some people who don't like Ethan. <clears throat> Let's just listen to what's being said. Like, instead of just deciding what the narrative is. We got to go in there as, as blank slate as we can, because if we're just like, yeah, Ethan's done this, but we're just going to end up, we're just going to end up dismissing everything because we want to dismiss everything. The, but the good thing here is that I don't necessarily care about any of these people. Um, right? Like, Adam Preacher, fine. Ethan's fine. Um, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm not invested in any of them being wrong because I don't care. I'm an outside observer. Um, you know, we just, we, we, we are an outsider. We're a nobody. We just get to kind of watch like a fly on the wall or something or a mosquito in a urethra, you know, <clears throat> just a casual observer. So this one, Ethan Klein is embarrassing was actually about, if you can believe the Sebastian, the TikTok alpha male, they were defending him. Yes. Uh, you think about he, did, he did crush that debate. So I understand. Ah, Ethan, no. He's mad at us because... They're insecure and hate me because I'm fat. I don't know what that is about. Uh, if you play hot, this is a Hassan one. This is a Hassan one. Uh, how is H3H3 H3 not permabanned yeah, no, for this? That this Hassan one is them defending the the situation with like Lav and whatever, right? It's against that girl who leveraged a false accusation against uh, Ethan, just to be clear. So, what I'm very excited to talk about that's coming up later. Um, Ethan Klein gets devoured by the monster he helped create. Uh, I'm assuming this was probably about. I love the picture they used. Yeah, this is a popular one. I, I remember what exactly this was from. We raised a whole bunch of money on charity, so it's actually really a fond memory. And I do love come. Come? Uh, there's all kinds of uh, issues going on. I'm seeing in the chat everyone saying YouTube is crashing for them. Oh, great. Perfect. Timing. Oh, man. YouTube, it's the YouTube Matrix. Crash. YouTube app crash. The frick? It's so, wait, the Matrix on? defending this, uh, Evan Matrix. Preach. Dude. It's crumbling. The Matrix is coming for us. Is this thing on? Are we good to keep going? Yeah, you're good. YouTube is I mean, People split. are watching. I'm just seeing a lot of people in the chat saying their app crashed. Yeah, I'm seeing that too. Like this is a, a wider issue going on. Uh, okay, well, hopefully <laughs> that gets resolved. <laughs> they had this People Friday. are clamoring for this episode. They crashed <laughs> the whole damn website. Incredible. So, anyway, I think this was about my Ben Shapiro jokes and. I don't know. Uh, this is like the Jordan Peterson take about like, oh, uh, you, you're. Well, the, go through the videos, created, Ethan. Um, lots of because with that, listen, I st I defended that 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 uh that uh, Ben Shapiro take a bit. You know, if YouTube wanted to ban him, I totally understand that. But you know, the the joke seemed to centralize around uh, uh Shapiro pandering to right wingers. Um, in a way, you know, calling them Nazis basically, and so if. Uh, <clears throat> If there was another uprising of bad people, uh, by that logic, it was like, oh, you know, Ben, you would you would reap your 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 justice urge. Now you could uh, disagree 
It was an edgy joke. I can see absolutely why they got rid of it. It was way too much why they gave him a little ban for that one. It was quite a bit. It was a bit intense, but I understand where, he, where he's coming from. Well, um, on stuff. Ethan or H3 goes after fresh and fit with fake Me Too claims. This was about the caller we had. That's true, true, though. It was a fake. Who described her bad date. And these guys, this was possibly the lowest point for them, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think it was low. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll probably talk about it more. That video. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> My wife and I have been making content like here and there for a little bit, and there's things that really bothers my wife. And one of the topics is like sexual assault. It's a it's a bit of an it's an intense topic for her, and I'm not going to get into the specific reasons why. When I reviewed that situation, to me, it was very clear that Ethan leveraged like false accusations against him based on the story. What it sounded like was a story of a girl who was uh, who cried a river and drowned the whole world. No, it was a story from a girl who had a negative experience with Abba and Preach, and um, or excuse me, Fresh and Fit. Sorry. I, they don't look the same. Had a negative experience with, fr or fresh, or fit, fit rather, uh, where he was just kind of like an asshole fuckboy. <clears throat> and it all kind of ended up with him like looking at her body and, and like laughing and making fun of it, which is really horrible. And there was a conversation to have about how much of a scumbag he was, but he didn't like assault anybody. And the conversation kind of got ran away where Ethan, uh, you know, threw that narrative onto it. But Abbott Preach's video, I don't remember the specifics, was something that was like really upsetting. Because it didn't just say like, hey, these, you know, this narrative, this, that, and the other thing. It was like two, I don't remember the specifics, so I can't speak to it. We never posted the video because it kind of made my wife want to step away. That was like the straw that broke the hammer's back, right, <clears throat> from content on that topic. But it was like very insensitive to like the actual what was going on. And it kind of, the plot got lost. And I feel like it got lost for everybody there. <clears throat> uh, I can't wait to talk about this. How they maliciously went after this girl, called her a liar, and sent a hate mob out, literally doxing her. Which is ironic. We'll get into what? that. Looking forward to it. Update proof. She's lying to show her here? face. And they say her name in the video. Like, and he literally says, I'm saying her name because people need to know it. I was like, okay, dude. Interesting oh, that you care okay. about boxing. Interesting. Uh, and then uh, defending Steven Crowder. So a uh, fair and balanced view on uh, the H3 uh, the, the H three problem. Mm. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. <clears throat> so, also, I just want to point this out at the top. This is their banner. I just thought this was funny. We talk about <clears throat> taboo subjects. Social issues and culture. Ooh, taboo. Ooh. This is like a uh, week one YouTube, YouTube banner. Yeah. We're going to talk about taboo subjects, you guys. Like, tra I, like trans people are actually lame. Most people, a lot of people say trans people should exist. We say they shouldn't. Well, I don't think that's taboo. true, but we'll see what they say. Six million is a really big number, don't that you That is think? a taboo subject, my oh, friend. Oh, oh. That's, you don't oh. mention that one. It's a taboo. That's a taboo. Well, I'm not saying she yeah. deserved... Well, that's the thing. Ethan has a, has a history of not really knowing how to talk about like uh, issues of like sexual assault. You know, uh, for instance, like he made that video when the Andrew Callahan thing happened, and he made that broad-term video that like rich guys shouldn't be engaging in casual sex. Which infantilizes women who want to fuck rich guys. There are some women that just want to do rich guys. Like it's fun. Like they they want to fuck around. Like it's groupies. We've seen this, uh, you know, in in rock bands and, and other stuff. Um, and I think that misses the mark because what it says is that like absolutely, if you are somebody in some form of position of power, you need to be more careful of not leveraging that power against somebody and, and you know creating a comfortable space for that person to be able to express themselves. And I understand that. But at the same time, making something like that, I think, is very socially harmful because you're you're telling women who want to consensually engage adults that like they're too stupid to engage that they're, they're not going to be able to uh engage in like a consensual you know situation and i think that infantilizes women right and i think that there's like a bit of a mark mister for some of the times that ethan talks about some of these topics <laughs> but all i'm asking is what if mm. just saying just saying yeah okay so this clip they always show of hassan Trans saying transphobia i guess he he did a response to them and he said transphobia a whole bunch of times in a video talking about transphobia. To me, it doesn't strike me as that interesting, but they love it. Here it is. Oh, transphobic, 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 transphobic. See, it's not just grievance. Like, he was mean to us, so we're going to yeah, do this. Yeah, great content, man. You fucking got me. Transphobic, 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 I don't know why. It's even funnier watching him watch himself say transphobic a hundred times and just see how awkward it is. This is probably the most rewarding edit I've ever done. Watching him react to himself say transphobic a million times is actually one of my greatest editing moments. But anyways, now I'm going to Okay, so that's his cherished moment there. I personally said that word a lot, though. Did this, is, that? this is kind of like spot on for their arguments. People in the chat are obsessed with the idea that Ethan is pandering. Yeah, that's a little weird. I, listen, let me be very clear here. I want to be very clear. Everybody makes mistakes. But I want you guys to do a little thought exercise for me. I think this is the most important part of the video. Take a deep breath. And think about the specific people who have were the first ones to make the claim that you're making. Think about those individuals. Uh, think about their age. Think about the content they've made. And think about whether you're just kind of parroting somebody else had said that has no credibility because they're a shit content creator. 
and how you're just echoing that out of laziness. I'm not saying there isn't like Ethan's made plenty thousands of mistakes for sure, but I'm just saying keep in mind where did you hear that first? Think back. Did you hear that? You know, did you hear that from uh, an enlightened intellectual <laughs> like Papa Gut, or did you hear it from a smelly poop that has been a plague on the YouTube community? Right. There's plenty of things to criticize Ethan for. Okay, we are Team Trisha Paytas here now. We are here. We are Trisha. We are Trisha Paytas fans here now, guys. We are Team Trisha now. Fuck this guy. All right, Trisha's gonna be. <laughs> Trisha's gonna be the best redemption arc of 2023. But all jokes aside, think about like where these things came from. And try to try to understand everybody should be trying to grow uh, a bit every year and try to give people a little bit of slack on things that they may have done in the past, right? <clears throat> I wouldn't say like this pandering. I don't know if you know what, what you mean by pandering. Um, let's see what, what definition of pandering. Uh, let's see. Grafty indul okay. Gratify or indulge in a moral or distasteful desire, need, or habit of a person and such. I don't know if he's pandering. Um, like, what do you mean by pandering? Like, he could just be wrong. Maybe he's just wrong and silly, you know. <clears throat> I'm not saying he's not. Like, I'm not saying don't criticize him. I just, I when you use pandering, it's suggesting to me that like there's nothing he could ever do or say that would ever change your mind. And if you're at that point, like we're just lost. Like there's no, you, you might even well turn off this video, uh, because there's no point, right? We've gone, <laughs> we've got nothing. We're we're nowhere, right? Um, so just just throw it out there. Something to think about. Problem? They just go, he's a transphobic a bunch. So therefore he's a fucking idiot. Like there's no unpacking of it. But yeah, yeah, if yeah, saying a word it. a lot of times <clears throat> is a symptom of something, then I got bad yeah. news for you, buddy. Hmm. We prepared our own little edit in your honor. Sometimes that's a symptom of threats, verbal threats, just so you know. So your guys' honor. Uh, about the amount of times so, uh, uh, you guys have talked about trans people on your channel, which to my account is like 30 plus videos. It's hard to even keep track of them all. But here is a uh, Babylon Reach saying transphobia like 160 times. So uh, I've been banned from an event. Now the organizer told me it was about a video I did about trans people. And uh, knowing your catalog, we've only done two videos about trans people. A few moments later. The trans person, the trans, trans lords, the transgender stuff, the trans women, trans people, trans, you're trans, 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 Okay. And I think he was just about to fall into the abyss. Okay. Just wanted to say that. I say there's a lot more of those that didn't even make the cut. Is that right, Cam? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can look at a word right now on a waveform and identify which one is trans. That's awesome. He's like, you know, you know, you the world code. You're in there. Just sees the waveforms all around. That's awesome. I can only identify trans, but you know, it's there. Um, I asked Cam last night when I was putting this together. I was like, hey, does anyone remember this clip here? And Cam's like, I got it. I know exactly where it is. You plugged in, boy. Yeah. So if it's saying the word a bunch of times is a symptom of something, then boy, I don't know what this says about you, buddy. Well, it does say something. You guys are singularly focused and obsessed with talking about trans people. Um, uh, maybe. you know, if you just look at their channel, which is what Hassan urged them. I know to they do. did it to Hassan. That's why they made it. I just don't feel like watching it. Uh, who is this one of them? Can you can pull that clip of, um, they cut out in the response to us. Hassan going, go to their channel and type trans in the search bar. You can see how many videos they made on the topic. Mm -hmm. yep, it's, yep, it's, it's getting yep, obsessive. Yep, it's getting yep. absurd. It's getting a uh, parasitic. Trans, 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 it's obviously, trans, 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 trans. yeah, it's obviously right. not a good thing. And they cut it out in the response. I could just show you right now if you want to. Yeah, pull up their channel. <laughs> we talk about everything. So okay. delicious. So you just type trans. I, I, you know, but to be fair, it might be fair and balanced, you know, kind of coverage. Um, Right, like titles. Uh, trans protester protest loses it. Protester loses it. They should tell jokes are dangerous. Says trans idiot. I did your business. Trans competent. Uh, guess who got beaten up? Trans woman with a criminal record enters a female prison. I, I like the the Dave Chappelle trans discourse. It was an interesting one. I see a lot of pro trans pieces here. There might be one buried, one or two buried in here though. To be fair, yeah, though. It might it's just it's such a huge volume that it's hard to hard to navigate all of it. Yeah. So I mean, they love to say they laugh when Hassan goes they're transphobic. They just laugh. Of course, they don't say anything. That's how they argue. They just laugh. And apparently, their fans are supposed to uh, just accept that it's absurd on face. But I mean, let's let's be real, guys. You have an issue. Um, so here, let's kind of talk about the transphobia thing. I'm going to highlight what I believe is blatant transphobia. Okay. I'm going to highlight blatant misogyny. Okay. I'm going to talk misogyny. about the permaban hypocrisy, and then we're going to get into uh, the, uh, reacting to their videos. Okay. So okay. Okay. So Looks I find well. it just funny on face that Abbott was banned from an event for being transphobic. Now, was he? That doesn't mean he's transphobic, but I don't know anyone who's I don't know anybody who's been banned from an event for being transphobic. I mean. Apparently, it doesn't look right. Oh. From an event. Now, the organizer told me it was about a video I did about trans people, and uh, knowing our catalog, we've only done two videos about trans people. What? A lot has changed, my friend. A lot has changed, hasn't it? Hmm. LGBTQ. Okay. All right. I mean, they could have been because he's transphobic, or maybe those individuals were very sensitive. I, I don't really know. Yeah. Well, now, only two. One about sports. Oh, yes. And one about not wanting to be a transgender person. Yes, yes, yes. And so, the transgender people in sports, I mean, most feminists agree with what we're saying. So, I thought it was that. So, they do that a lot, too, where they just go, most feminists agree with this. Most There's lots of trans people there. They just they fucking talk out of their ass nonstop. I'm gonna just assume it was one where we started first, like in flat, which was uh, probably this one. Yes. What's Ethan's perspective on trans women in sports? I wonder. I'm just kind of curious. Um, does he like? Is that something that he talks about? <clears throat> like, you know, because I, I think it's it's an unfortunate scenario. 
that nobody's is becoming trans to be to win in sports. But I think that, like, unfortunately, there has been, you know, a show that there is a, a biological advantage, unfortunately. And, like, it unfortunately, you know, it has a negative impact on trans people being able to compete in a way that, uh, you know, we, most people would consider fair. <clears throat> you know, so it's just unfortunate. But I wonder what their take is on it. So there's a lot that really agree with what oh, yeah, no, no, there's tons of trans people that agree with us. Tons of feminists that agree with us. Trans, 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 tons of Nazis that agree with us. Probably. Trans, 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 trans. We're just throwing them out there. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess. That didn't do. If he was alive, I'm sure he would. But I don't want to rely on the argument because it's just yeah, why do you say it? Like, agree with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we can't rely on that. That's not one to date trans people. It's not something that we've been shouting out at the top for lunch or whole I said it once in my life, and that was during that video. And, the only... and I think it's also fair to say you wouldn't really want to date a trans person. People do have like wee wee preferences and, and genital preferences and whatnot, and that's fine as long as there's no hate in your heart. Just like it's fine to say you may you have like a preference to like where you may not want to date like a, a white girl or a black girl or whatever. Like it's just a preference. It's not a, it's not an issue as long as you're not hateful about it. So I can see why somebody wouldn't want to date a trans. Like that's fine. I personally wouldn't care. Um, you know, <clears throat> but I could see like that's not transphobic on its face. The way that you say it could be. So you kind of have to show that. But uh, you know, uh, if they don't, if if not. If they don't, if they don't have anything to back up that I've been, well, let's keep, let's just keep going. The reason I said it in that video is because Riley was accusing anybody who wasn't interested of being transphobic. Okay, yeah. So I'm setting this up, but their, their, uh, basically response is, well, nobody likes you anyway, trans people. He says, no, I was very active in that discourse. I'll be honest with you. It was like stupid discourse. It was like super straight discourse, which is on its face value. It was like transphobic to say that you're super straight if you don't want to, uh, date a trans person. But there was like, like back then, like in 2020, there was a weird discourse about how you wouldn't date a trans person, that you were inherently transphobic and you were a bad person. And I think that that's silly and very reductive. Um, <clears throat> so speak, and that looks like they're very young there. So they were probably speaking to that. And that's one of the interesting things about like, uh, you know, 2020. Was that things were like so the narrative online was so weirdly left that it was so easy for like uh, people to be like, yo, what the fuck? You know, just like now, it's pretty much so weirdly right. It, uh, you know, back then you were transphobic if you wouldn't date a trans person. And now you uh, <laughs> and, and now uh, all trans people are, are bad and, uh, you know, whatever on from like the conservative narrative and like anything is everything is grooming and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, so, <clears throat> yeah, that was just kind of how things were there. Uh, here that here's why transphobia is trans people's fault because they're annoying, I guess. This is I extremely important, not, and why I think everybody should listen to what we're saying is that if you haven't heard recently, people between the ages of 18 to 34 are actually now less accepting of LGBTQ people than they were over a year ago. I think and it's dropped by over 8%. So what does that mean? That, that you know, there's always this mantra that young people are inherently going to be more and more liberal and that they're going to be more and more this way, but we're actually seeing the opposite thing being true. And so I would tell people part of why I think this is becoming true is that people are seeing some of the tactics that LGBTQ uh, activists are using in order to further their agenda. And so again, so th this is this I would say is like problematic because in the sense of like there's LGBTQ activists that have like a specific agenda. And to me, and I could be, uh, you know, reaching, Papa and Peace reach. Peace and love became a member. Hey, thank you so much for the small cup. Peace and love. But that kind of sounds speaks almost to like a little bit of like a potential like conspiracy theory. The the reason that that poll communicated that was most likely because during COVID everybody was home, and we went a little too far left socially to the point where we were calling people who wouldn't date a fat person fat phobic. Right, so. I doubt that 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 like things ebb and flow. We get a little more conservative, and then we get a little more progressive, and we kind of go back and forth as things go a little too far, and then we kind of rebound. And, and you you notice that if you think about the last three or four years, things have been kind of going back and forth and, and whatnot. <clears throat> it's not some narrative that's being pushed by LGBTQ people. It's a bunch of it's some annoying people online that are misrepresenting the LGBTQ narrative or the LGBTQ community and advocation and whatnot. It's not like all people, and I think that that's like a little you know. I, I would say and that's also years ago, so I get why they were like, you know, they could. I mean, I wasn't very, uh, you know, socially intelligent the years ago as well, <clears throat> but that's what I would say about that now. It, this is like really classic bigotry where it's, it's the trans people's fault. Uh, why people hate them I more. Guess, yeah, I sure. mean, it's, it's their responsibility to make sure that people are more accepting of them. Uh, is, is really, really a, uh, I don't know what to say, it's transphobic. Thing. Trans people don't need to uh, debate with you, their validness to exist. You know what I mean? Not all conversations are worth having. You know, trans people don't need to justify their existence. Or justify why people shouldn't hate them on face, you know? Uh, like, I guess. these guys do this a lot. I just want to have a conversation. I just want to talk about it. They don't want to have a conversation. Some conversations are not worth having. I'm sorry. Like, as a Jew, I don't think I need to have a conversation with a Nazi about why I shouldn't be exterminated. It, yeah. The, both sides yeah, see, this is where, it's like, well, you guys are like, oh, Ethan's pandering. I think he's pandering. I just don't think that he's trying. Or maybe he just doesn't have the capacity. Because I just feel like this is just really, like, what, like, it just sounds like you don't even, you're not really listening to what was being said, you know? When it came to, like, you know, there's questions you're not answering. Well, would, do you think that it's transphobic to not want to date a trans person? Or do you think that, like, it's okay to have, like, a particular genital preference? Not answering those questions and then just, like, chastising it, Evan Preach, I think it's lazy. I think it's, I think it's very lazy and I, I think it's very lazy. 
You know, so you could honestly argue that it's cowardly because, like, you're not like give your perspective, like go go deep into this, actually interpret this the way that they're saying it, like try to be a normal human being, pretend that Ab and Preach are people, right? <clears throat> For a second, <laughs> right? It's that's one of those things. Um, I think that would be productive. I that argument are not equal. I know that's just running away from another debate. Thing. Coward, coward, come debate me. Why do you think you shouldn't be gassed? Okay. Coward is just avoiding a conversation. Now, that's an extreme example, obviously, but it's, it's striking at the, the heart of which they're saying is that trans people are responsible for making sure that people don't hate them. Right? It's insane. I don't so that's think that's really what they're really saying. Rough. I was banned from ever being transphobic, and it's because transphobic, transphobic people are lame. Nobody likes them anyway. But that's, um, it sounds like he said he was banned because he said that you, you don't have to date trans. It's not transphobic to not want to date a trans person. Um, and about trans women in sports. <clears throat> Uh, again, I think that like the trans narrative thing he said, I think that that was like the way that he expressed that. I would say like, I find I personally don't agree with that, and I have criticisms of that. But like, you're not even listening to what they're saying. What the fuck? You're being very lazy. It's silly goosery. Also, I, you know, uh, Matt Walsh level analysis of what is a woman. This one is kind of just. Uh, uh, this is the slam dunk in my opinion. Transphobia. I don't know. Oh, just something I noticed was like some part of transness also means reinforcing gender stereotypes to the nth degree. Yeah, bro. You want to truth? You want to And this is my just came to the realization. This whole like idea of like gender expression and all this other stuff. I don't, I don't give a. It's whatever you want. Listen, for me, the whole idea of gender has always been just linked to biology. That's how I've always used it functionally, right? The, when I take the idea that a woman is a woman, what I'm saying in that moment is like she generally, on average, can be physically smaller than men, mm -hmm. not as strong as men, capable of giving birth, mm -hmm. you know, okay. ass and titties. Okay, I'm gonna look at those stuff. That's always been the functionality. Mm -hmm. Oh well, I express like listen. When I say I, women, what I say like that is I don't people who express it. We were like biological females, understand? So for me, the idea of womanhood and femaleness have always been interchangeable. All this talk about, well, the outfits I wear and the kind of name, like, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit when I think about what a woman is. So you ask me, from, like, when I think of women's sports, I don't think about gender expression. I just think about their biology. The old use of women my whole life has just been for people who are females. I just don't think that he actually thinks that. Only because I would, like, like <clears throat> he's saying, I don't care about gender expression. And then he's exclusively talking about what gender expression is. <laughs> I don't care about gender expression. I don't care about biology. Are you doing, like, a test? Where you ask, hey, what's hey, what, what's between your legs? What's your biology? No, like look at Blair White. Like you would probably, they would probably be like, oh, that's a girl, right? Like if you didn't know, you would like that's one of the things. Um, interesting. I thought he would have been a little bit more. Uh, okay, all right, well. So for me, the two words are pretty much the same thing. To be honest with you. And by the way, uh, I do want to emphasize how coconuts and Barbados preach is in most of these clips. I'm telling What's you, you might have a lot in common. You might not want to be aware. So this is one of the, if I show this clip and they're being transphobic, here's the response. They just laugh. They're like, oh, 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 walk off the screen, creaky ass fucking floor. And then I mean, it, it, like, it is. I mean, you could argue that would be an example of them being transphobic. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Let me let me break it down for you guys. Okay. First of all, this is three months ago and this just occurred to them. I find that kind of funny. I mean, y'all made 30 videos about trans people and you still don't know the difference between sex and gender. And this is what I see Matt uh -huh. Walsh do and the Daily Wire people do to make trans people seem like freaks, to make them seem like they're psychotic, like they're super It's unreal. true. Matt Walsh is a fucking unhinged uh, weirdo. Um, <clears throat> for sure. Reasonable. I don't know how it's not that hard to understand the difference between sex. I will say that there's a lot of like heavy moral comparisons. They're just like fresh and fit. They're just like uh, Matt Walsh. Just, Matt Walsh and fresh and fit are particularly worthless, evil people. Right. And so I, I, the constant comparisons to like, like as I don't know that they want Hitler back, like weird shit. Like it, it, they're so hyperbolic, and I feel like it, it, it kind of makes us lose the the plot. Oh, that guy's gonna fart my balls! Oh, uh, don't let him fart my balls! He didn't let me. He didn't let him fart my balls. But uh, it's a little intense. It takes away from the message, I think. And oh, did I? It's just not. Go ahead. Well, when he's going on and on about like it doesn't fucking matter to me the nuance that exists in between like gender like short sure, it doesn't matter to you you know who it does matter to the trans people who are trying to understand how to be themselves publicly when there are people like you who keep telling the world to shut down those conversations just because you don't give a fuck about them. Oh, You'll sure. see that a lot Sorry. throughout this is that a lot of there's like nobody cares about this and what they mean is I don't care about it. Yeah. So just <clears throat> yeah. So again, it's like it's just the lowest level of transphobic pandering. Sex and gender are two different things. Are you guys listening? Sure. I'll explain it. Sex right, is your biological gender assigned at birth. There's female and male, and in some oh, rare cases, yeah, sure. um, uh, intersex. Okay. We good with that? We understand that now, you guys? I mean, this is pretty simple stuff. Okay? Okay. All right, now let's go on to the, more, the other part. Which I <laughs> is this how condescending I get sometimes? Because, fuck, maybe that's one of the problems I have with communicating with people. Isn't what I'm saying. Maybe it's maybe it's how condescending I act sometimes. I really don't want to be an asshole. Do I act like this sometimes or most of the time? Can you tell me? I don't want to be... I don't want to express myself like Because he's not really wrong, but he's just such a fucking asshole about it. Like, you know what I mean? I don't want to be... Uh, I'm just getting away with the communication. Do I do that? In a lot of trouble with gender. Mm. Gender is how people. Yeah, speak. like sex is what you're born with, and then gender is your expression to society effectively. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Themselves. <clears throat> As a social construct and on a spectrum, people identify uh, with different genders based on how they feel and how they want to express themselves. Do you see that they're two different things? Because to me, it's just not that complicated. Because somehow uh, everyone who wants to talk about trans people who's conservative, who wants to push transphobia and just harvest. Intersex is still male and female. Uh, Ethan's not. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're going to get a little. We're going to get a little woke here. 
for sure. The way that we socially categorize intersex is that you generally you're either like usually um, pseudo male intersex or pseudo female intersex, and I don't think that there's anything such a such thing as like any like true middle ground. But it's interesting because we've created those categorizations to explain these phenomenons, whereas like we could have just created like a third or a fourth gender. Uh, isn't that weird? Isn't that incredible? But we decided to like simplify it because there are absolute things that exist in society. What we call intersex 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 exists regardless of whether we've defined it as such just like male and female exist whether regardless of how we define it but we've decided to categorize in the way that we have and we could have and i don't think that we should but we could have um defined intersex in a way that it was its own gender right it's just an interesting uh thing to think on to me so the like absolute lowest hanging fruit they cannot accept this basic fact it's so simple People express their gender in all different kinds of ways. And okay. their sex might be female. They were born a woman. Their gender, they might express as a man. Okay. Does that make sense to you? It's really basic. I don't know how to break this down in any okay. simpler terms for them. Mm. <clears throat> so, uh, that's, that's, I, don't, I really don't know how to make, break that down for you. I'm sorry. Like saying, you know what I'm we all know what a woman is. A woman is a woman. A woman is a woman with titties and ass. Mm -hmm. Love me, a woman. A, a woman, woman is what anything I'll put my dick in, baby. <laughs> okay, so women or not. Okay, so, then, so when does a woman stop becoming a woman? So they say, a woman's a woman. Everybody knows what a woman is. I think it would be like good if Ethan defined what a woman was to him. Okay. Well, she still has a, a vagina and a uterus. Well, what if I, I, I like this? This is interesting. This is Ethan like rattling off talking points that he's heard that aren't necessarily wrong, but like not really knowing what the fuck. Like I, w I would start with either. What do you think a woman is? Because a woman, to me, <clears throat> is anything up my dick. No, um, a woman is obviously anybody who genuinely identifies as a woman and expresses themselves as a woman in society based on our society's socially constructed idea of what a woman is. Right. And if you look at cisgender women. Women, cisgender women obviously genuinely identify as women, and they also express themselves to society as women based on society's, you know, basically stereotypes, which are changing every day, or socially constructed idea. Um, <clears throat> right, and then you'd be like, "Well, I don't really believe that's circular, blah blah blah." But then you look at somebody like Blair White, and I would ask, like, "Do you think that she belongs in a, a you know, a, a, a male or female bathroom?" And you'd probably say a female bathroom, a girl's bathroom, because she's a girl, and it would be uncomfortable to piss next to somebody like Blair White, right? Because she's a girl, and that's where things get a little bit more nuanced and complicated, and blah 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 blah. So, but, you know that? <clears throat> what? He said he's an ass. He said titties and ass. <laughs> well, ass is kind of. I mean, men have ass, so I'm not really sure what yeah, that one's. Mm. So if we remove the titties, that's it. I'm now I'm just stumped. <laughs> guys both have ass. I don't know. Oh, guys, women both have ass. I don't know what to do with this <clears> at this point. But uh, yeah. it would have been a good criticism to say, as they're saying, gender expression. I don't care about gender expression. I care about titties and ass. For you to counter with like that is gender expression, though. Isn't that the beautiful thing? That would have been a really that would have been a dunk. That would have been Ethan like really how is he like under having a good understanding of these topics. <laughs> you know, um, that would have been pretty poggers, as the young kids would say. I don't think the young kids say it though anymore. I think it's just old people that think that they know what the young kids are talking about. So this is like exactly what you'll see. So. Just, what is a woman? A woman is a woman. You know what I mean? I don't know what to say about that. Women's this got balls. 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 Personally, I I like transphobic people because it leaves more cute feminine girl penis for me. Um, so really kind of a win win if you think about it. You see all kinds of comments too. Uh, oh, okay. Can we fix this week? This week in the forum, my guys. <laughs> um, if you look at the comments, too, it's just a cesspool of transphobia. This is not about trans people. It's about people abusing the loophole. They're talking about uh, loophole. apparently there's a, a pandemic of men loophole. lying about being trans to get into prison and just have sex with all the women prisoners. Uh, well, that's a that's that's yeah, a comment. It's, just, it's so, all over the place. That's a comment. It's not them. It's a random a lot of prisoners in America. Really the lack of trans men trying to get into a man's prison is pretty telling of what's actually going on there. And again, this is something that happens too. They just make things with assumption. I uh, guarantee maybe. you, there are trans men uh, trying to get into a man's prison. I guarantee it. Absolutely. Well, I think that the point there seems to be like one or two stories, which are not most of the stories of possibly uh, a person falsely identifying as trans to try to get into a, a woman's prison, which is not trans people's fault. It's would be people pretending to be trans and weaponizing that. That's their fault. So that's where you would make that separation. And the reason is like obviously a trans man wouldn't want to go into a male prison because it would be or no, like a, a woman wouldn't want to pretend to be trans <clears throat> and go into a, a male prison because it would it's more dangerous, right? So guarantee it. Um, but this implies that it's like a it's just a big game to trans people. Maybe they don't actually identify as a man, but when it comes know. You know, when it comes to something serious like prison, then they'll be a woman. But anything else, you know, ah! then they'll be a man. But that's that's actually not how it is. Uh, that's not how it is. At okay, all. I guess. Uh, yeah. sure. There it is. Damn, this is a rough conversation for Ethan. So let's move it on to blatant misogyny now. He, he should have just kept the frenemies podcast going. <laughs> Everybody looks good in it, to Trisha. Dude, you have to stop yanking me. It's making me sad. They're going to like this one. Here he is, a whole uh, mega compilation of them uh, okay. laughing at feminists uh, for nothing. Let's see. You call yourself a feminist? Um, I would. Yes, an intersectional feminist. <laughs> 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 well, the, it looks like they're laughing at her for saying that she's an intersectional feminist, which is really just like the uh, intersectionality is just the idea of different identities clashing with each other. 
So, for instance, like black women in a feminist space might uh, or would probably uh, face racism, uh, historically especially, in a black space might experience sexism, right? That's the kind of idea of intersectionality. It's just about the ways in our identities will clash with each other in different ways and have us cause us each to have like more nuanced, unique experiences potentially. So... <laughs> bitch. I've always identified with the broad of the most. Uh, Are you feminist? Yeah, the best kind. So there it is. It's like, what? What did she say? She just said she's inter intersectional, which means that they uh, Let's see. Just they Google consider it. different types of feminism by uh, identity, no. I guess. Sh more maybe. Nuanced, I, I suppose sure. I'm not super familiar with feminist uh, research Google. for the last six. Well, like I said, it's the best kind. It is the best kind, which is what she, it seemed to indicate. Yeah. Who's our feminist researcher? I guess that wasn't too bad. I think that what they're laughing at is, uh, is like the idea that they feel it's cringe because some people like to kind of, uh, you know, throw out words like that sometimes <clears throat> um, here and there, I think, is what they're saying. And when that concept first came up, I even thought it was cringe. And then I educated myself and I was like, OK, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Uh, I, uh, that makes sense. Thank you. Continue. Yeah, so that was apparently funny. And again, that's, that's just the criticism of anyone. <laughs> um, I would. Yes, an intersectional feminist. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got her, boys. Uh, She's dumb as fuck, boy. Bitch. She is dumb. Uh, <laughs> I've already identified with the broad of the most. Hell yeah. Are you feminist? Yeah, the best kind. Funny match today. Yeah. You'll adjust to the speed. It's okay. No. Now, what, what is so funny to them that she said, yeah. That's the way she said it. She just said, yeah. And they're like, man, women are fucking stupid, dude. Look at this That's part. true. So <laughs> did, you, did you hear the way she said, yeah? <laughs> This is basically her. Just a blow up fuck doll. What is happening? This is what. This is how I view women. Either you're a blow up fuck doll, or you're a feminist. Which choose your lane, bitch? <laughs> oh, I was not ready. <laughs> Are you hoping to find a match today? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? Do you believe you're doing this on purpose? Are you guys on a men's rights channel? Are you guys low key? Uh, just finding the most detestable ways to do this. So what his, his theory is because she said yeah in a way that he thought was annoying. It's actually an in disguised men's rights channel because she's so hateable, obviously. Is it that? His, 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 do you believe you're Are you hoping to find a match? Today. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Why? Why are you doing this? Do you doing I don't this? know if they thought she Are you guys like a men's rights channel? Are you guys low key? Uh, just finding the most detestable ways to do this? So his, his theory is because she said yeah in a way that he thought was annoying. It's actually an in disguise men's rights channel because she's so hateable, obviously. True. By the way, she's showing enthusiasm. She's there to make a match. You know what I mean? She wasn't like, no, I don't like a man are just the worst and sort of match with them. I think it's okay to be like her laugh is a little weird or her yeah, yeah it was a little bizarre. You know, that, that's fine. I think we can acknowledge that. Look at you guys. You are fucking like so mask off here. What is detestable Mass about off. saying yeah in an enthused way? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, 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 dude. I like it. You guys hear the fucking plane coming out? Yeah, that's the Yeah, no, that's Jesus. Yeah, no, they, their floor is creaky. <laughs> it's hollow in there. There's bodies of something. Can you, uh, Zach, cut the creaking? I mean, me. this is a serious production here. You know what I mean? Scaring the fuck out of me. What can okay. cause a floorboard that creaky? And it's been like that for years, apparently, and they've refused to uh, fix it. Okay. Cheap flooring. Just, or, no, not even, or just an old house. Just an old house. Yeah, right. I swear, a plane's crashing creaky? to oh, me right now. Yeah, our house is built on 1920, so. Okay. So I guess there's salt of the earth then. We love the creaky floorboards. Uh, we love them, folks. Although, a couple of real men like you, I think, would have resolved that issue by now. Scare the fuck out of me, bro. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Remember what I told you, motherfuckers? About how women stuck at that lines and like making the first move? Like they're terrible. So that's okay. Let me do something. But holy shit. When I was on these videos, I wouldn't be the first time. Avon Creek, potentially? Uh... Mm, Avon Creek. <laughs> not bad. Uh, that's pretty good. Creek talks more than preach, so. That's true. Yeah, maybe they should rename it. That's true. In fact, I don't know what you're paying to preach, but you could just sub him out. Just put a blow up fuck doll that looks like him and let the Creek do the talking, you know? Yeah, I think the dynamic is that like Abba is the one who finds the content and whatnot, and then Preach just kind of hangs out there because um, he does like a real job and whatnot. So I think that's kind of the whole thing, you know? <clears throat> not criticizing content creation, of course. I would never do that. I am a content creator. Um, but I think that that seems to be the dynamic. Kind of like me and my wife on Robin Dan. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that before. It's as, it's as you know, um, <clears throat> as good of an input as he has. I'll tell you it was got bad, got bad joke. yeah. right. Jokes that are harmful jokes are not healthy because they just lead to people normalizing things. People always say, oh, it's just a joke. But when someone else hears it, they don't realize how that resonates. And again, how that turns into violence. I always have to repeat this. Feminist. It could. That could happen. It depends on the joke. It depends on the intentionality of the joke. She's not necessarily wrong. You can't just, I don't think that's fair. No, don't, mm, you big wiener. Um, she's not necessarily wrong. It depends on the joke. If you do a good job of communicating that it is a joke, um, like comedians, I think can do very well. That's good. That, then I don't think that you're going to see like that kind of that violence, right? Because people use don't use humor as like, oh, I didn't mean anything I said. Oftentimes, people will use it to promote like a particular idea, and that's like the beauty of comedy. No, I don't remember the context of what she's saying that in, but sometimes like jokes can unfortunately norm normalize dehumanization if that's the goal of my joke. You know, like before, uh, I said, like, girls stink or something in the middle of this video. Do you actually think I believe that? No. It's just meant to make you legal because I'm, like, basically, when I make, a lot of times when I make, like, a stupid, silly, edgy joke, the joke is on me. It's like, oh, we're you having, like, a social conversation? And then, like, somebody will say something like, yeah, women do smell. It's like, well, I'm obviously the idiot in that, in that case. Um, 
But it depends on the intentionality of the joke. I, I think that the way that we talk about uh, the way that we talk about jokes online is like very one dimensional. Um, it's a very one dimensional thing. We pretend that like because oh it was a joke that means that there's no nothing wrong with it that you can't be held accountable for anything that you said and you can be. It depends on the intentionality of the joke. So. You guys can't cherry pick when you guys like science and when you don't. If you believe in science on climate change, you have to believe the conclusive science on this one fact, okay? What's that fact? Jokes wow. do not lead to violence. The science is conclusive on the fact that video games oh, okay. do not lead to violence. I really like Preach's input on this one, though. It's really insightful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, Coconut Barbados, what would you have to say in a, to back up our... You would just say, like, it doesn't have to lead to, like, outward violence, but it can lead to, like, a, a, a shift in perspective, right? Boy, babble here. Just a creep. All right, you get some dub. <laughs> He's in. Actually, not to, not to interrupt. This is one of my favorite takes of theirs, so let me go back. You guys so can enjoy it. Things. People always say, oh, it's just a joke. When someone well, you think kind of has to agree with this, right? Because he makes kind of dehumanizing jokes, no? Um, he has to agree with this to some extent, no? Like, what? listen, I don't mean to bring it up, but this is what Ethan's doing as well. Like, when he had that gay guy call in, he was making jokes about James Charles having a, a loose booty hole. Okay. I think the joke by itself is like, whatever, it's fun. <clears throat> you know, I don't really care about that. Uh, but then Ethan jokingly kept asking the guy if he was a bottom, which is a very sexually, it's a sexual question. It's asking, how do you like to do it in bed? And he said, I don't want to talk about that. He said a boundary and Ethan kept violating that boundary. Um, hopefully Ethan disavows that. But like Ethan does often justify a lot of his humor with being like, or a lot of his, like the things that he's done wrong with like humor, like the Ben Shapiro joke, like the NRA joke, uh, you know, so you have to kind of agree with this or else you're being a little bit hypocritical or you could just disavow what you said. That's fine too. I mean, whatever. But I realize how that resonates, and again, how that turns into violence. I always have to repeat this: feminists. They're all feminists. Cherry pick all feminists. Yeah, of course, that includes you, Olivia. Listen up. Loser. Well, oh yeah, okay. Let's do it. Loser. Here we go. Loser. Listen up, feminist loser. This is for you. you idiot. Yeah, she's a loser, feminist. Right, right, just listen hard because okay, okay, I know you don't okay, think okay. so good. Right, right. Little brain. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so Jump started, dummy. It's gotta be so hard for you. Get ready. When you guys like science, and when you don't, if you believe in science on climate change, you have to believe the conclusive science on this one fact. Okay. Was interesting. I wonder what the fact is though, because I'm like looking at something. And I'm just doing a good broad term. It's just like a random site. I'm not going to say that it's an app. It's actually a .edu from Harvard. But it says harboring high levels of hostile sexism reported greater. Re oh, that's not dud jokes. But I guess that would be part of it. Uh, sexist humor, specifically jokes that belittle women, is often perceived as harmless. In reality, sexist humor creates an environment where it becomes socially acceptable to express sexism and perpetuate violence against women. Perpe uh, pre previous studies have shown that men's enjoyment of sexist jokes is positively correlated to their self-reported rape proclivity. Now, I'm not saying this is a fact, but I'm saying that if you, if you engage in the information, it's not like, hey, guys, I made a joke and you exploded. Like, it's not a it's not like a magic spell. You know, I didn't say like, oh, it's not it's not Harry Potter, but it's like the kind of idea of potentially. Again, I think you can make any type of edgy joke in the correct environment without being hateful. You can be like, like Theo Vaughn makes edgy jokes. Does anybody think he hates a group of people? Of course not. Um. <clears throat> But it's like the idea is that if the intentionality of your joke is to be sexist, is to be belittling of women, then it will create a comfortable environment to belittle women more and more. That's what it is. <clears throat> that that that's what's. I, I, so I disagree with Adam Preach here. I think jokes can be bad based on their intentionality, and I think this is and this is for a Harvard study, Edu. This makes sense to me, right? Um, yeah. Okay. I'll put this in the description. Jokes do not lead to wow. violence. It's actually ah. on the fact that... Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I know we're derailing, but that was so good. Hold on, let me... Wow. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wow, man. Uh, to violence. It's actually conclusive on the fact that video games does not lead to violence. It does not lead to normalization. You guys have to that stop making this correlation because the science yeah, is against you. Like you can't say science is right at one point. And then... I mean, that makes sense that video games wouldn't cause violence because, uh, to me, video games would help, um, like, simmer down male violence because it gives them an outlet. Whereas, I don't know if sexist jokes would necessarily be considered the same outlet. This is science on the point that's convenient for you. You know what? Um, so, this is incredible. He says, if we'll you believe we're... in climate change then you must believe that all jokes about anything all the time are okay, or you're anti-science. The fuck? Come on. <laughs> did, did you, did, were you even coherent? Exclusive on this. You can't be that. <sighs> Bro, you could, you, you, that's, that can't be the message that you just extrapolated from what they're saying. There's no, bro, come on. You're making this so hard. Like, I agree, I disagree with Abba and Preach, and somehow Ethan is the one that's is making my fucking, my, my head veins pop. They were saying that if you, like, uh, believe in, what was it, climate change science, then you have to believe in the statistics that say that jokes aren't, do not cause violence, Right? Now, what I did was I disagreed and I looked at my own study and said, like, hey, listen, there's a diff like, there's intentionality to jokes. And here's a study that says that, like, that actually may not be true. 
We did it. We did a good job. Ethan's just like, oh, so you're saying if you believe in science, then you fucking what? Come on, man. Come on. It's fu- It's wild. Hunter, do you think I'm pausing too much? Is that why he keeps saying just watch it? Oh, my God. Yeah, just endure it. And uh, I found that really interesting. So I started Googling around for the studies that prove that jokes do not have any impact. Oh. Using, uh, violence or misogyny. It's proven by science. It's proven by yeah, science conclusively. Yeah. conclusively. Yeah. They, science reviewed. they saw it. They saw the science. There must there be something wrong with Google. There we go. I couldn't find any studies that said that. It's really there we go. I mean, Mark, just on face, Dan, if you're a thinking person, Dan, you know, it's like, impossible to run a fucking well-researched uh, experiment about jokes leading to violence. It's so broad. By the without, way, without Dan, though, I think that uh, oh, Dan just saved Ethan. Let's be real. Wait, this is not true, right? And I'm a comedian saying that. Extremists, well, uh, it's a well-known tactic where they yeah, they mask really extremist things as jokes to probe the limit of what they can get away with saying. Oh, I was just kidding. Let's kill all the I Jews. Guess. Just kidding. You know what I mean? Blackface. I mean, uh, that, some people would say blackface is just a joke, right? Okay, I mean, maybe it's just a joke. <laughs> Jokes are cool. What about like, uh, <laughs> hey, you, you know, be really funny if I went up into the local middle school and just got weird wild over there with you know, first, second amendment stuff. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, joke, like you can't say scientifically, okay. jokes don't lead to violence. I mean, that's so stupid. And then he says, just like video games don't lead to violence. And I mean, there have been studies on that. And that, that is true, but that isn't really relevant. But, well, it's not at all relevant. Does he think that jokes is the same thing as video games? Because I'd be concerned about his mental capacity. I don't, I'm not sure what, what that aside was supposed to. Jokes think. are video games. I don't get it. It's really insanely. Uh, That's not what he's saying. He's talking. He's talking about the information on these particular topics. Um, this is the first time he does. This is the only time he does. Where he goes. Science proved this thing. Oh yeah, I'll slow that down. Absolutely no half speed. Backing. And actually, on face is silly. Uh, you know, if you just use a little bit of logic. So what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Okay, yeah. sure. Hey, Fair. Man, I got this really funny joke. Let's hear it, Ethan. Did you hear the one about the, uh, see, I can't even, there's so many horrible racist jokes. I mean, there's so many. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And I know Chris Rock's all. joke led to violence. What about that? And I know it all. <laughs> I mean, in a sense, I know, in a sense, <laughs> that handful of joke, he got slapped <laughs> in the face. I think that's that disproves your theory. <laughs> I guess. You know what I mean? And it wasn't sure. really even an offensive joke, really. Uh, that bad, I didn't think. So, what do you guys think about that? Babylon Creek. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Reach might be too generous. He literally hasn't said a single fucking word so far. And all this shit. He just goes, wow. Wow. Man. Talk, talk, we watch a bunch of videos. He talks funny. It's just, he's, Abba, Abba usually has the spicier take. It's wow, so, right. He just goes, wow, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think that the bigger issue is once somebody said one study doesn't mean conclusive science. You're right. I think the bigger issue is that they just said that there are they, there's data that disagrees with you, but didn't really explain why or what their interpretation of the data is or what the interpretation of the data is. They were like, you said that this is a thing. I looked it up and it says it's not a thing, but you didn't really explain it to us. Uh, I'm just telling you that I'm the best because I explained it. I'm a cool guy. I'm a nice guy. Okay, so. I mean, listen, jokes can serve to dehumanize groups of people. Sure. That's probably a better known phenomenon. If sure. you look at uh, instances of, go take a look at some of the jokes about Jews in, in Nazi yeah. Germany or jokes about, you know, uh, African Americans during Jim Crow or slavery. It, they serve. Or just take a look at those jokes now. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're the same thing. Extremists as a method to dehumanize people that, that allows uh, <laughs> violence against them. It, you know, it's stupid. What do you, why would you even say that? It's so dumb, bro. Yeah, but go ahead and cite me the study that says jokes are cool, bro, no matter what they are about anything all the time, no matter yeah, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Rock, your thoughts? This... Just a creek? Okay. Chris Rock has this there we go. Uh, there we go. That's insane. An example, my own family, my brother was bullied, you know, badly for being Arab after okay. 9-11. And my brother is white passing, he doesn't even look Arab. Yeah. And he was, like, really significantly bullied a lot in elementary school and middle school. Did he consider that they were just jokes and jokes have no impact on anything ever? Uh, no, he had to go to a therapist. Well, what an idiot. Well, he money loser. on that, he could have watched the video. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I was bullied because I had to. And I mean, there were lots of hate crimes against Muslim Americans during that time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's you know? true. Even today, there still is. Yes. You know, there's a, uh, a guy wearing a Trump hat who punched a uh, Muslim lady in the head at the hospital um, yeah. in our hometown. Mm-hmm. No I wonder what it was. Yeah. I mean, you see the same thing with South Asian hate yeah. during the pandemic. Or people were like blaming flu on Chinese people. And there was lots of Kung flu. That's a joke, right? Kung flu. Yeah. So, huge, so. I mean, huge uh, surge in violence, uh, hate crimes against them. Sure. You know, they make a lot of joke about trans people actually on their on their program. <laughs> and uh, there's a huge surge in hate crimes and violence against trans people. I'm just saying they go. They, come on, dude. shut the fuck up. Stop it. Okay. You're being silly. You can't say science is right at one point and then you dismiss the science on point that's convenient. Bro, if you believe in climate change, I just what the fuck? If you believe in climate change, okay. you stupid feminist, then you for sure believe that all jokes are okay no matter what. You know what I didn't hear from this entire time in Ukraine in this whole conflict? Oh. Feminist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We don't were you were you polling the? He was on the lookout. Were you looking? <laughs> you know who didn't approach me and complain about uh, Ukrainian women, loser feminists? He's on the forums. This take is really good. Right yeah, I, I was working with uh, someone really? who I just started working with, who's a Ukrainian refugee, and she sent me this clip because it, it you know pissed her off so much. So this is this one is really good. Yeah, that's, that's right. yeah, yeah. When all the women were getting all them trained with them old niggas, right? And the men had to stay behind because you were between the ages of eighteen and sixty-five. Crickets. I hear simple feminists say crickets. We want to be in equal footing with the men, staying at the front line. Crickets. So this is just a weird. I remember watching this. I was like, what is the point of this? Like, what what is it? What what is the point that you're saying? Like, yes, we haven't really heard feminists uh, in the Ukraine, or excuse me, in Ukraine. I'm sorry. Um. At this time, I guess, because their country is at some level of war. What's the point of what you're saying? Because what I would say is like, yeah, no shit. Like social progress is probably not going to happen when somebody's invading your fucking country. Um, sure. Okay. But like, it sounds like the what I'm supposed to get out of this from them, I could be Apple and
You know, there's going to be spaces where like men or women are excel at a particular thing. Um, okay. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, what's the point of what you're saying? Like, it doesn't really add up to me. Well, feminists can't, uh, women not having to be uh, slaves in their own relationship with their husband. What? What's, <laughs> you know, they should have to be slaves in their own relationship. Look at this. Where's feminism? Now, they don't believe that because I know that they, that they don't feel that way because I think that they like dumpster that guy who said that women just have to endure relationships. But that's kind of the message you get out of it. It's like women shouldn't have ever gotten any equality because war, right? That's what comes off. And I don't think they believe that, which is almost like additionally frustrating because they don't believe that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. I hear a single one cricket. Were you listening? I just can't get over the fact that they always make this assumption that they know everything about everything just because they oh, say yeah, something. Oh, Yeah, no, we, we pulled everyone. We were listening. And we didn't hear any feminists saying anything about anything. You never notice? It's always about equal rights, equal representation. Oh, bitch, be on the front lines and grab a rifle. Oh, uh, I got a train ticket. Catch. I got to cook dinner. <laughs> I got to. Yeah, so, I mean, again, this is a funny joke, right? About Ukrainian women not basically fleeing the country. And of course, they're wrong, as they are about most things. They just say, speak out their ass. I mean, Ukrainian women are playing a huge and vital role. In the Ukrainian military, sixty thousand women, both fight both in, in roles of fighting. Okay, who, you're quick to just fucking like, bitch, get on the train. I mean, these women are fighting for their freedom, for their lives, and uh, well, the women just aren't doing enough because feminism. Now, the women are actually uh, doing invaluable roles. They're actually uh, doing too much. The Ukrainian armor, army, and the army effort. Talking. So, <laughs> what's the deal here, dude? Well, I don't understand the point of the joke. Is this an Ukrainian? Is this a Ukrainian army uh, military member? Female? Is that what I'm seeing there? That can't be right. Because I heard the feminists. I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. Now they're on the train. Okay, oh, they're on the lookout. Yeah, I hear. I didn't hear. I was listening. Yeah, I was listening for them. Because they're busy fighting for their fucking freedom. They're actually, fu actually busy, dude. You fucking losers. Damn. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Horrible. You're gonna tell me you're not misogynistic? You're a fucking loser, bro. I Thinly am. veiled red pills is all you are. Oh, you know, yeah. you guys are like just literally fresh and fit minus the incel. You're like fresh and fit plus. You know what I mean? Come on, okay. dude. Stop. Diet fresh and fit. You guys are wish store fresh and fresh and a bit. Fresh and fresh and fresh a bit. Yeah. So, yeah, again, a woman who I work with who's a Ukrainian <laughs> refugee saw this and was like, what the f you, you think that Avin Preach want to maximize their audience by attracting both left and right? But don't you think that that's dishonest? If you, and I'm not saying I agree with what you're saying. But don't you think that's a dishonest tactic to intentionally try uh, misrepresent your own thoughts, feelings, and expressions just to get in a larger audience? Like, wouldn't you consider that bad? So I don't think I don't believe that. But if it was true, that speaks negatively to them, not positively to them. So yeah, fuck. Like I have women, tons of friends. First of all, and and uh, everyone I know, first of all, is suffering, dying, bleeding, fighting in this war, and lots of women too, who they're quick to just be like, nah, get on the train, bitch, feminist, loser, feminist, idiot. They're just jokes, though. So as they as they mentioned, jokes are cool in any context, all the time, no matter what. Oh, what's interesting though is that you know there's a lot of like Russian and conservative propaganda against Ukrainian people, uh, sure, and uh, sure, I don't think sure. this is very far adjacent from it. Well, I have to stay here with kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, listen, listen. I heard they got a home in Poland. I need some cleaning. I'm out this bitch. Maybe. Mm, I'm thinking about that one. You gotta give me a second. Maybe. Not intentionally, of course. They're just being goofy and stupid in this case. Uh, yeah. Excuse my French. Part of my French. Oh. <clears throat> Omelet du fromage. But it does speak to, like, it does speak negatively of feminism, which is something like an anti Western kind of shit is something that, like, a lot of, like, a pro, um, you know, Russian people or, like, or, like, you know, our dumb fucking conservatives that are more, that want to align more with Russia and lack of freedoms would say. So I guess you maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> They're just making up scenarios. It's pretty incredible. Like, you guys don't know fucking anything about Ukraine. Oh, shit. What do I do? That starts with a you. It starts with a year. Between the age of 18 and 65. Crickets. I hear single feminists. You never notice? It's always about equal rights, equal representation. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to war. I just stay here with kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, guys. Listen, listen. I heard they got a home in Poland. I need some cleaning. I'm not this bitch. Oh, it's over. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go clean a house. Bye, guys. Feminism. Yeah, because fleeing to safety isn't difficult. It's, it's actually, uh, the woman thing. Yeah, like, no, it's like anything that just, uh, yeah, uh, Julie yeah. said, I'm Polish, we have a huge amount of Ukrainian refugees. Most of the women who flee have children and they want to protect them. Often they leave the children here with the family and go back and fight. Nah, that sounds like propaganda bullshit to me. So you're telling me the women, feminist losers, flee, that you, people like Olivia, they flee, they go to Ukraine, leave the kids in safety, okay, cowards, losers, idiots, feminists, and then they're just on Reddit, and then they go on Reddit and complain. And, loser, feminist researcher and, then, all and then they go back <laughs> to Ukraine to help with the war efforts. What would you guys prefer if the kids just stayed there and got bombed? Uh, real feminists, real feminists who believe in real quality, leave their kids there to get bombed while they fight on the front line. Okay, guys, interesting theory. I love it. I find it so funny that they call you a feminist. Though. And I know that's not an insult, but they, they, yeah, use, it as, it is. they use it as an insult. Yeah. So what about you makes you like a feminist? That you're a young girl that I doesn't suffer yes. fools? I think that they're makes saying, you a feminist? Yeah. That, like, a lot of people, like, was there a point to what they were saying about feminist? Um, was there a point that they were making about like the whole feminist thing? Or were they just um, being silly gooses? Like, because if they, I don't know, if they, I don't remember the video, but I don't think that there was any reason to call her a feminist. So if they were just calling her a feminist, 
Like, yeah, that's probably just speaking negatively of feminism in like some weird way that's irrelevant. Like, a, a social, like, like loading, a, playing identity politics, basically, where it didn't, didn't actually belong, um, which is, you know, that's a dirty liberal tactic, right? We saw the city bike situation. So is that what they were doing? Or was there an actual reason? Like to weaponize um, me being on the show as um, you just wanting a woman here. And like, that's, I'm just feeling a role. And like, it just so happens that I'm here and I didn't do it right. And that's what like the argument is being made. And I think that them just calling me a feminist is being like, oh, bitch, Maybe. like the feminist tire. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's just, I think it really says a lot about their worldview oh, yeah. for them to just write you yeah. off as a feminist. Yeah. Like you don't yeah. sit here and talk about women's rights all day no. or about women's rights. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard you do that. So no. you're just basically like yeah. a typical, yeah. are you a Zoomer? Yeah. You're a typical woman Zoomer. And so they see that. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. I think honestly, because I mean, I I, I, want, I think the debate well would go very poorly in Ethan's, uh, against Ethan. You know, regardless of what side you're on or who you think is right, I, Ethan would probably get dumpstered only because like, um, I mean, he's Ab has been talking to Destiny. He he he's he he likes to debate. He likes to debate. All right, I've had a conversation with him before. He knows he knows. Like we had a conversation about like fat people because he like uh, didn't read an article. Uh, he <laughs> and he made up this narrative about some fat woman. Like whatever, it doesn't matter. And then we talked about it, and he's like just debating with me. And then all of a sudden, he's like knows every talking point about like why people are fat and like the different con uh, you know conversations about it. I was like, obviously being fat is bad, but like it's very difficult because of different systemic reasons. And then, then he was like, yeah, I know that. Like, you know, there's food deserts, it's this, that. And it's like, okay, so why the fuck are we arguing? You know, there's some of that going on sometimes. As, you're the enemy, bro. Yeah. You're the enemy. Bro. Everything so. I represent. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Loser. Right. Loser. 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 Loser Reddit so researcher. I, so at this point, you guys really, uh, I'm sorry, but. Well, you me being on Reddit does make you a There's no way to deny it. I mean, you guys just. You guys just have a problem with women, or at least you're pandering to your audience that do. Ooh, you know? pandering. Taboo subjects. I was like, it is so true. You don't want to nope. hear it. I don't want to hear it, but but I need to be told. I need to be told. You do need to be told. And it's, it's a tab. Okay. Uh, what's that creaking, please? Can you? You know, what topic has just gone way too long without being addressed. Mm. Women being annoying. That is, that's that's yeah, true. Taboo subject. And let's talk about like, it. They're, they're it's breaking so the, uh, true, the glass dude. ceiling here. Have we ever discussed this um this phenomenon of women be shopping? <laughs> no, wait. They do be. They like for real. I do be doing that. Yeah. All right. Now this part, we're gonna move on to this permanent hypocrisy, which I love. They actually were advocating. You're truly. To be permanently banned from YouTube. What? Okay. For what? For what? Okay. Well, let's see. You look crazy. Oh shit! I'm not... Hit me with that. That, that creaky shit, bro. Oh, come it's on, bro. Come on. Was that uh, was that priest talking or was that the floorboard? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> you remember when he had his one week ban? Yeah. Ethan Clash should be part of it. Why? Ooh, what? The man doxed someone on a lot. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's all. God, I like to fucking. I like to know. The, do the doxing is bad. There, there's no way that you can frame this. If Ethan doesn't apologize, then he's just an idiot. I'm sorry, but like that situation was during the situation with Amaranth, where she came forward and it seemed like her husband was abusive in some capacity, um, which is, guys, abuse is not good, which is a really bad thing. And Ethan's response was to play vigilante justice and be like. Let's try to find this. Where's this guy live? Let's try to end like saying that he basically wants to dox him and send a poop on his doorstep. That's really harmful. One, it suggests that you don't really care. It's vigilante justice. It, it's meant to put your feelings and your emotions as a viewer above Amaranth's feelings. Because if she is in an abusive situation, that doing something like that to him could just put her in more danger. Um... Oh, sorry. Let me just talk about this fucking moron. You argued with Abba about the fat thing because you had a problem with him calling her a whale. You were in your feels again. So one, me having feelings doesn't make me wrong. And number two, that's not what it was. This specific scenario was objectively speaking because Abba sent me his resources. Is Abba didn't read his own resources and realize that he created a false narrative about the girl. Um, what was it? Fucking uh, catfishing him by not showing her the real weight. That narrative never happened. He made it up, even though the article he linked proved him wrong because he was being lazy because he wanted an anti-fat video. I wasn't in my feels. You are objectively incorrect and uneducated about the conversation. I'm just letting you know. You are just wrong. It doesn't matter how you feel. This isn't a question. You're incorrect about what happened. And that was the greater issue, right? That was the greater issue there is that he had the correct sources <laughs> that proved his narrative wrong, but he ran with it because he didn't even want to read the, the article. He read an Instagram thing that had a dumb narrative, and then the one article that he sent me, which was his other reference, had the truth in there. You're a silly goose, <laughs> right? That's what it is. So stop being dumb. Grow up. Anyway, <sighs> the Amber in the situation. Doxing the husband just puts her in more danger. The reality is, is that this is her struggle and her expressing it online. This is one of the things I said was why she probably shouldn't have done that. Not because she's wrong for doing it, but because fucking weird people are going to start weighing in on a way that's like very intrusive. Um, 
And that is one of those really intrusive ways that has a, uh, that has like a negative impact. Um, and that's not her fault, right? And so Ethan's playing vigilante justice here, which potentially puts her in harm's way. And that's the bigger problem is that he did call to like dox him in some capacity. And then he ended up doxing the wrong person. That was wrong. That was never right in any capacity. Um, that's it. But that's kind of the whole thing. And so Ethan needs to own that. Look who this guy is, man. He took it down 30 minutes later. Apologies, you cry, baby. Okay. Sorry. He also, I just want to be clear. I, I know because you guys are so stupid. He also lied about why he took it down. When he took it down, he said, oh, the articles have had the wrong information and it's not really my fault. It's the fault. Yeah, he was wrong. He didn't even take accountability for it. I'm so sorry that like a person did a bad thing and, and, and I called him out for it. And he's still, he's, I mean, I don't care because it happened a while ago. Everybody has like, whatever. I don't care. But the point is you guys are just dumb and wrong about this. Top I have to stop saying that you're dumb. Sorry. You guys are wrong about the information and the timeline on this particular topic. That's just like how where we're at here. I'm sorry. Okay. It is what it is. You know, but I'm just, <laughs> that's what happened. So they didn't truly apologize. Um, Like he didn't actually take accountability for it. He intentionally ran a false narrative because he was lazily looking for an anti-fat take. That's just life, man. And that's okay. I don't care. I don't really care. It's just that you guys... Just, I'm, I'm allowing myself to get stunlocked into like a silly thing. Like, it is what it is. I'm not shitting and farting about it, right? Um, <laughs> I'm getting stunlocked by the chat that doesn't understand what actually happened in this situation. All right, we're moving on. I'm not, I'm not addressing that anymore. Shut up. I know who he is. Does he have online persona? Shut um, up. He's Shut the fuck up. Okay. If you don't Stop. Know he is, he's a loser feminist researcher who spends all day on Reddit boards. Stop it. He knows a lot about my girl. Yeah. Loser feminist. Well, give me a better selfie. You're going to put one in also. You look good. I Lord. hate that one. People on Reddit like to use that one. Why? Hey, that is such a flex. That's your worst photo. Yeah. That's so fine care. to say. Definitely. I did care. Yes. I don't care anymore. This is what. Oh my God. This is this is not responding to you. I got that like goofy. I can look at her. Okay. He's so just doing it. He, he, he knows he's getting on her skin. She went on he's getting post I'm a sensitive man. And found his name and think that was reliable information. Keep in mind, this is one of the largest podcasts on YouTube. Thank you for acknowledging that. How they run in. That is true. It is one of the largest. Hey, man, brother. Someone call me on Twitter. Wink. Hey, what's up, Brian? Sorry. I'm still I'm still riding that high. I'm still riding that high. The number one podcast in the world. How we baby. Yeah, so, okay, so. Research department. But let's carry on. Music. Okay, I'll just let it play. Producer. And really? Songwriter, yeah. God, I hope that man's life is ruined for this. I hope so. Too. Oh, someone says, why are you abusing, uh, uh, protecting his identity? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I want this guy's life ruined. Are you kidding me? Okay, first of all, they mute the name. That is his name. Yeah. First of all. They also have a tendency of like building up uh, this whole like a uh, mythology of something small I did. And then every episode they talk about it, it gets worse. Nah, and worse man, this, this one really isn't small. I, I, I can't. Okay, I can't. You you could have, like, I'm not trying to be disproportionate or a silly goose, but you could have got Amaranth hurt, man. If, if, if what she, when she came forward talking about her, like, her struggle with potential abuse, if you, like, this could have got her hurt because you wanted to feel good about yourself. This doesn't help correct the problem. This makes you feel good about yourself because you feel like you're doing the right thing. You get to feel like Batman, right? That's that was what's really happening. It's not a little deal, man. Like you, ha you have to understand that. Like you really should understand that. Like this is a big deal. This is potentially harmful to Amber. This could have got like I'm not trying to be disproportionate, but like you, you can't be doing shit like that. Um, you can't be doing that. So worse. This is one of the things. So, so what happened is I really fucked up, oh, and I feel horrible ever that you have for, to answer for, for this mistake that I made. Guys. The name was correct. I said the wrong occupation, which was horrible and shouldn't have happened, and we quickly corrected it. And I apologized, and I will forever be making up for it. Hate that mistake. I cringe every day about loser it. Feminist. I'm a loser yeah. feminist. I, I wish, wasn't it? And maybe I'm wrong, but wasn't it that they like showed like the, a link to it as well? And then he also said, "Let's like let's." He said something like, "Let's put poop on their doorstep," which is a call to it's a call to action, not a violent action, but uh, you know it's still not right um, to do something like that. You know, because you are still call, doing some kind of a call to action. Oh, I thought he was going to like attack me. Damn. Damn. I wish you could see Olivia when we were playing the clip right now. She was going like this. It, and okay, I, so I, listen, yeah. we all make mistakes. But do we actually know what doxing is? Like, that's a pretty serious. Do, what the fuck? Do you know what? Like, we said the name, which was his name mm -hmm. and his occupation. We never showed his Instagram page. Just we said what business he was in and it was wrong. I could have swore that people got a link to the Instagram page because of what Ethan had said. Or people found it because I think people might have found it and linked it in the chat or something because of what Ethan said. That might have been it. I'm a little fuzzy on it. We never showed right. his Instagram page. No. Okay. Or his face. Did we show his face or anything like that? No. We didn't show anything. You said a handle? Instagram handle? I, I, I don't remember, but I don't think so. I think so. You, the problem is she shouldn't be living in fear period. Sure. But like, how do you... So, okay. Let's try to look at this. Like, uh, I don't know if... I, so, what do you... Like, here we have, we have a situation where Amaranth is potentially having an abusive relationship with, with her husband, which is obviously not her fault. What do you think the next step is to uh, have that abuse stop? What do you what do you think uh, what do you think you would do at that point? Do you think that like you would go to maybe see a therapist or give her the resources to leave him, 
or do you think that we should like try to release all his information and harass him by sending him poop on his doorstep? What do you think is like the more productive way from a behavioral perspective with the intentionality of the outcome being positive for the victim in this situation? Which one do you think it is? I don't think it's poopoos on the doorstep. Uh, hot take. I love poop, but I don't think it solves everything. It solves constipation. But it doesn't but I don't think it solves everything. Endure. Yeah. Endure. Endure it. Endure endure the loss of this game. I'm losing so much in my game. Endure it. You describe him. Um, describe the wrong person, and then yeah. people may have gone and found right. the wrong person. So but the, the interesting part is besides not showing his Instagram or his picture or anything, we immediately corrected the record. And we even talked to the guy during the same episode, mm -hmm. cleared it all up. Turns no harm, no foul. He went to high school with my sister. Oh, is that right? Yes. Right. He's very nice. And then I think he even said something like, thanks for all the love, H3. And it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he posted on his story. So, like, as far as doxing goes, I'm having a hard time getting what you did. I mean, maybe it wasn't doxing. It doesn't really matter whether that. It doesn't really matter whether it was doxing or not. I think the call to action was a bigger deal where you're like, we should find out where he lives and send poop or something like that. That was the bigger deal. I don't care about the doxing thing. Yourself the other week was uh, was that one? <clears throat> when I showed my card, <laughs> you showed your phone number four times in a row, or whatever it was. But like, so that's a permanent ban. I mean, just for saying the right name but the wrong occupation. Um, can I please call in? Yes. And it wasn't good. I mean, we all acknowledge that. But I feel mm -hmm. like we we did we did good in, in uh, doing the right thing immediately and recovering. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only person you dance is yourself, and that's the way it should be. Right? Mm -hmm. All day, every day. Shout out to members who get my personal phone number. <laughs> I'll be dropping my new phone number uh, next Tuesday. Okay, so listen, I, if I should be permanently banned for that, then I got an issue with that. Where is he apologizing? I don't understand. He's saying that he probably didn't do something ideal, but he's not talking about how he that how he said that there was did a call to action. He's not really apologizing. He's saying, "Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have really done this," but he's not really referring to what the bad part was, which was like the "Hey, we should send poop on the like." That's a call to action of doing something that could have like put. If you have like a really abusive bad guy, and like he's abusing his wife, and you decide like, "Oh, he's abusing her. Let me antagonize him." That could potentially lead to more abuse. That doesn't mean he doesn't need consequences, but he would need the correct consequences. Right, so the issue is a vigilante justice. It's not really an apology. Yeah. Mm. Well, they actually have this to say too, which is pretty pretty fun. Here, I'll just but this. it's not unexpected because <laughs> of what I expect from the HCH. The same people who falsely accuse other people are doxing people for fun. Like this is what the kind of stuff that they do. Wrong like he's talking about these guys are such cowards. Like, bro, you are doxing people. You should be banned on this platform. Did you forget that? Damn. You just doxed a random person online for no reason. Then you sat there afterwards and brought this false accuser against the person just because you hate them. Like I don't call me a scum and a coward. Some motherfucker. This, as you see, as he continues to talk about it, it's this mythology of oh, you dox someone for no reason for fun. You, what for fun? For fun. For fun. It was fun. You loved it. You do it because it's just part of your persona. Ethan Klein. He just talks to people. Oh. Okay. So now let's let's talk about you guys. Now that we've addressed that, because I think we're gonna have a problem here. All right, my brother in Christ, Hunter. You're like the reverse troll. You're not the edgy troll. You're like the fucking liberal troll. I don't really think anybody was sending poop to anyone. If somebody did, that's a different story. My brother in Christ. All right. I love you so much, but you're missing the point. I think on t intentionally. Okay. All right. Just after a, uh, you have a good, you have a, a nice, good sex uh, session with your girlfriend or your wife, you you got to make sure that you aim accurately because for some reason it's like a shotgun shell. And you're just missing the mark. All right. The bring up who it was and all that other stuff, and then saying we should send a poop or something is not good. Okay, it's vigilante justice at its core. Thankfully, nobody got hurt or anything, but that type of behavior is not good. It prioritizes the way you feel about a topic over the way that the victim of the situation feels it prioritizes your comfort over theirs when you're not then you're the one and they're the one that is struggling that's the problem <clears throat> this is like my exact same criticism for like using slurs it's like you're prioritizing the way you feel i like to use a slur because it makes me feel powerful it's not that big of a deal at the expense of like a person that would identify negatively with that slur it's the same thing here. Vigilante justice is slurs, guys. That's where uh, vigilante justice is slurs, guys. That's what it is. That's the title of the video. Blip. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about this more later, but some of you may remember there was a 19 year old girl okay. who reached out to us and said she had a terrible date with Myron, a fresh and fit. Yes. We vetted her heavily just yes. to confirm that this date did happen and that yes. she was at his house and all this stuff. We we confirmed sure. that, so we knew she was yes. just making shit up. And when she called in, and then at one point you had said it was sexual assault when it wasn't. <laughs> um, she basically just described their bad date. Yeah, and at one point she said that he lifted up her top to see her breast. Yeah, he made some negative because they were like kissing and stuff. Comment about her breast, and I didn't know that, but at the moment I was like, "Oh, that sounds like possibly assault." That was the only time I brought it up in the interview. You brought it up a few times, and you I believe you've, I, you, I, you continue to bring it up over and over again, and you double down to the next time, and you said the fact that he's birth control in his house is like rapist uh, energy. Now, let's be very clear: Myron is a rape apologist, and I wouldn't doubt that he would do something like that to somebody after seeing him tell a girl that's like I was sexually assaulted, like, "Oh." Or she was like, well, what should I do now? I get sexually assaulted then. Oh, well, you should just pick better guys. He's a rape apologist. 
right? So I wouldn't doubt he did that. But like you were, but you doubled, you tripled, you quadrupled down. You, you can't minimize the harm of what you did. Yeah, you know, I said it once. It wasn't a big. It was a big deal. Now, to be fair, any to be to to steel man Ethan here. She came on the show and she was clearly justifiably upset about her interaction because of the way that he treated her. It wasn't sexual assault, but it was shitty because they were in a scenario where they were like kissing and the next logical step was to lift up your shirt, right? Um, Like that's how these things work. But he made like a really nasty comment about her body, which is horrible. Like imagine being in a situation, you're hanging out with let's see her guy, you're hanging out with a girl. And she, she pulls like your, your dick out and she's like, wow, this is small. And she starts giggling. That's fucked up, bro. Right? That was the conversation that needed to be had. And because of that, she had a very negative interpretation of any, everything. Where it was very clearly a cope. Where she's like, yeah, I wasn't interested in him at all. I didn't really want to hang out with him. I was, I was pushing him so hard. I just wanted to hang out with him more because I was owning him in a debate. It was a very clear cope, right? And I could see why Ethan might get the wrong intention because of that. But you fucking quintupled down on your take on this. And I think that it's very harmful. And like I said before, you seem to miss the mark when it comes to these nuanced discussions about uh, these sexual dynamics. Like we said before, you know, you had made the point that you don't think that any rich or successful guy um, should should be sleeping around and engaging in casual sex. That is silly because that, ro that robs the autonomy from the girls who are of, of age and consensually want to sleep with a rich, famous guy. Because some people do. Some girls want to fuck rich, famous dudes. Right, I want to fuck Lucy Lawless. Right now, of course, if you're the person with like the power in this scenario, in some capacity, maybe you have more money or more fame, you should act accordingly. Be intelligent about that. Make sure you 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 leave pathways open for individuals to say, "I do not want to do a thing." A thousand percent agree with that. But again, when you say that rich guys shouldn't uh, have like casual encounters with like non-rich girls or whatever, you're telling that those you're telling us that those girls are not adults. They're not intelligent enough to actually engage um consensually you're in, you're infantilizing them you're getting us you're 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 horseshoeing us to the point where it's like women have freedoms to make their own decisions like, okay your dad has to approve of every sexual partner or your of marriage oh women can make their own decisions oh now women are too stupid to engage consensually with with rich guys that's the problem that's the problem there um that's a problem that we're we're, we're getting we're, we're we're getting here right and that's what the issue is, right? And I, God bless Ethan. I think he, I don't think he's, I think he's trying to stay, say and do the right thing. But like, this is a part that misses the mark and, and kind of ruins the social conversation here. So, and so we're, again, we're going to get to the specifics, specifics of that, but they went okay. on this whole crusade, not just against me, but specifically about the 19 year old girl who they called a liar like disgusting. I mean, they said they were that's fair though, by the way, because I think that they, I don't remember specifically, but when I watched that, it, they were like really nasty to the girl uh, in a disproportionate manner, uh, frankly. Um, and to be honest with you, not to be this cringe lefty guy, but like we really didn't get the female perspective on this topic, that happy on this topic and, and at all. At least I didn't see any of it. It was mostly dudes. It was like myself, Destiny, Abba, Preach, Fresh and Fit, of course. You know, we didn't see, and I know that sounds so cringe. It's like, we need a woman, but it helps to have like a woman's perspective. When my wife and I did the thing together, we didn't post it because it upset her, but. It was a really, it enlightened me. I was like, holy fuck, there are things about Abba's and Preacher's video that I didn't like realize were problematic. Not because they are intentionally trying to be a piece of shit. Um, but sometimes shit just, you just miss the mark a little bit. Right? That's what, the, what it comes down to. So. We're really going on about this girl, okay? Uh, here's, what, here's what they said about this 19-year-old girl. And even if you called in to describe her bad date with Myron. You tell me where's the malice, okay? Why don't you watch the whole video? Another thing, you could have just said that. You could have just said that. Talk, even if he said that. He said that. He made a comment about the movies. Was it worth all the lie? All of that? Now you just look stupid, Danielle. Yeah. I'm saying your name because motherfuckers have to know your name. The same way you try to frame a motherfucker like that, people need to know who the fuck you are. Yeah. Just so they know that you're a piece of shit. You want to frame them as a piece of shit, but the, big, the biggest piece of shit in this story is you. Yep. It's you. Yeah, see, it's this, you, this misses the mark. Like, they're obviously, they're just very wrong about this topic. They don't, like, I, I genuinely feel like this is, like, just really, they, they just really misses the mark with, the, with this situation, blaming her for this issue. I really don't see it as that. You didn't even, <sighs> didn't even say anything to Shit. Story, You're right, that's you a big ass loser. That's you. Yeah. You want to frame it as a big loser? It's all you. Oh. Okay, so thank you for the contribution, by the way, from Preach on that one. Who says, let's sure. let her her picture, by the way, is in this thumbnail. I don't need to show it because there's no reason to even make her further subject. 
Well, not for nothing, but like I don't see an issue with showing her face in the t- in the thumbnail. Like she went on the Fresh and Fit podcast. It wasn't hard to find out who she was. I don't think that there's anything wrong with having to put a face to the name when it comes to like a, when it comes to the conversation in general. I would not compare this to vigilante. This is not the same as your vigilante justice attempt at Amaranth's husband or ex. I don't know what's going on with him. Um. So yeah, but her face is prominently detailed in the thumbnail, and and he's literally saying people need to know your name. What, what the fuck? Now this is malicious doxing. You showed her face and her name, which wasn't public. That's doxing. You make. Did you show her name? Her face was was public. Was her name not public? I feel like it was. It was just in that fresh and fit episode. Am I wrong about that? In private information, public with a malicious intent. Now tell me which is worse. Now wait till I get into the actual facts of this, the basis of this, or this just just onslaught of horrible things they're saying about her. It's a whole bunch of silly fucking nonsense. Because at the end of the day, Myron admits to the worst part. Mm-hmm. What's that? Huh. We'll what's get into all that later. But you tell me what the fuck is worse, bro? What's the worst I mean, part? What? what is he admit to? That's actually nauseating. What he did here. It's dangerous. And it's fucked up. Well, let's see. a straight up army of angry, you know, feminist hating angry men. video game nerds. <laughs> I should be I should be kicked off YouTube for doxing. Go ahead, AB. No, 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 I was agreeing with you. Oh, thank you for agreeing. <laughs> uh, so, okay. you know what I mean? That shit's fucking nasty. Nasty behavior. Nasty behavior. Okay. And by the way, they're talking about they? Myron, a 35 year old man trying to fuck a 19 year old who they don't like and make fun of all the time. But yeah, Ethan also has like a, a tendency of constantly calling people pedophiles that have like when they date young girls. Now, I th- he we've seen it before with other individuals that are not particularly savory. But he has a, he has a he has a tendency of doing that. Listen, I think it's obviously immature to specific, especially date a nineteen year old girl. But it's immature, right? It's not illegal. You're an adult. You're nineteen. You're an adult. You're old enough to make mistakes. It was a mistake to try to date fresh or fit or whatever. But it wasn't going to be something on face value that's going to destroy her life. Though what he did to her uh, certainly is fucked up. I think it was horrible in the way that he talked about her body like that. But um. You know, I think it's immature, really, because like, well, you know, you should be beyond that. You should be, you're old, you're old, you're older. There's no reason that you should, you know, it's weird, but that's fine. Like immaturity isn't illegal. It's not predatory. It's fine. But he also has a tendency of doing that. There's a lot of ways in which he like infantilizes women. A lot of different ways that he does that. Um, <clears throat> when, when when comes along. Along. Solidarity. Solidarity, my brothers. Rock. I hate them, but you know what I hate worse? Feminists. <laughs> we can lock arms in that. That's, that's true. Up. Very interesting, isn't it? So people are saying, why, should, why are they immediately assuming she's lying? Well, I'll go over that. The reasons are absurd. Like, absurd. Okay. And you know what? My only regret, honestly, and this is not defending her sooner, because the way that they fucking went after her for that call was unforgivable. I mean, just fucked. She didn't deserve any of that, man. Okay. Maybe. Ugh, so there it is. Oh, Here's Fresh and Fit. Who, uh, so I mean, you know, I gotta get them mixed up. They're so, they really are so similar. Um, <laughs> it's not helping. I get them. Just, I, I did it before, too, because, like, Fresh and Fit happened Breach, but it gets, like, funny, because, like, uh, why? They usually know black people look the same, Ethan. I just, it's just two names for me, too. I did it before. All right. So here is the anti doxing crusaders. Babylon Reach. One more time for the people in back. The same way you try to frame a motherfucker. All the lie. All of that. Now you just look stupid, Danielle. You look yeah. like a silly goose, Danielle. Here, which, that she did it. She's lying specifically because he made fun of her boobies. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Also, I mean, you did suggest as a question uh, during when you were speaking to her, like, that sounds kind of like assault is what you said. Yeah. And she immediately said no. And so when he's talking about. Yeah, but then you double down and said, no, I think it does. And then you, in the next stream, you continue to double down and say that it was. That was a big problem. Um, so yeah, again, I don't think it was a lie because of like he criticized her breast. I think that that's a horrible, I just don't know how to communicate. That's a horrible experience to have somebody like say something like so personal and intimate and, and mean to you in a very intimate moment when you're about to like sleep with them and to they criticize the way that your body looks. It's like such a horrible thing. Um, and I feel like that's why she had the negative frame. I already mentioned that. So there was no but... framing. There wasn't really even a crime alleged. It was just, he's an embarrassing loser. Was and then you double down on like, like a framing when they're titling their video fake Me Too allegations. When that was, was an allegation. It wasn't a Me Too allegation. Yeah, it, was, it was, I went on a pseudo date with this fucking weirdo right. and it was a horrible experience. And I also, like this it. guy who's like obsessed with being an alpha has no game at all. Like no game. Right. That to me is funny. That's the real yeah. irony and mm-hmm. the reason we found it interesting is he's giving dating advice, but he's zero game. Zero game. Negative person. And so anyway, we'll get more into that later. We'll talk about that whole saga. But here they are saying she lied because he doesn't even eat pussy. They just lie by the safe for revenge, you know, like women do. Was it? He said that. He made, he look at you crazy now. It's gymnastics, bro. Another thing. He could have just said that. He could have just said that. Talks. And even if he said that, he said that. He made a comment about the movies. Was it worth all the lie? I mean, right? He's implying. Mm-hmm. He said that, and then you lied. Was it worth it? Okay. We'll get more into that later. But y'all are killing it. Y'all are just killing it. Mm-hmm. Love to see it. People need to know her name. It's so nasty. You should pull that. Okay. You, know? you say you should pull that. And by the way, just to compare. Amaranth's husband or ex-husband. I don't know what the status is. Was physically? I don't know physically, but like the abuse that she was. Uh, undergoing the control was insane, and it was taking place live. So okay. yeah, that guy is a fucking giant piece of shit. Well, that's where the problem is. You were def- you were worked up because you were defending a woman in the moment, <laughs> where they're defending a man. So, L. and that guy. Whoa, that's really bro. I just um, 
I, I try. I really want to. I really want to articulate it because I feel like this is so. This is so bad and so and so harmful to talk about this. The Amaranth thing. You really have to understand that, like the way that you interacted was so bad. It's not the right conversation or or the right method of trying to like help somebody. I'm not like a fucking super smarty pants or whatever. But I've had deep conversations with my wife about this topic. Um, my wife is a woman, and she's also a behavioral specialist. That doesn't mean that she's always right about everything, but it's a different perspective on this entire topic. And we talk about different behaviors that people engage in in a way that's to meant to minimize harm rather than to maximize how we feel the goodness, um, the power fantasies that we might get. When it's like, oh, I want to defend this person. Like that concept of like, you know, chivalry isn't a bad thing. But like you're, you're prioritizing your feeling. Like really, that's not the way to deal with a situation here for Amaranth. It doesn't help her by going after him. I'm not saying he shouldn't get consequences. But these consequences aren't for us to be involved in. She needs this space to be able to disconnect and, and, and operate the way that is best for her. Right? And I don't think that vigilante justice is going to help that and like you have to start like oh well i was just defending a, a poor innocent defenseless fucking woman like what is it that what's you what are you communicating here like it just sounds like you're trying to say like, i'm a good guy because i helped a woman and it's like okay but like you know you don't always need to help women you know i don't think amaranth is this defenseless worthless person that can't help herself and you know god bless her she seems to have the, the, the some of the tools that she needs to help her and i think that's great and if she needed help you think could have reached out privately anything you need let me know. That would have been great. Did you ever do that? Because he's never mentioned it. Did you ever reach out to her after this and go like, hey, if you need anything, let me know. Rather than, I understand it was public, the situation, but instead of like inserting yourself in a way that could have gotten her hurt more, it's like, what did you, like, did, is it really about her? Or is it about like, oh, I could feel good because this is a bad guy in a bad situation. It's it's just such a, it's just a real thing, man. It's just such a real thing, my brother in Christ. Um... You know, because that's the priority. Because I understand. Let me. Okay. Let me. I. I. Because I, I really want to drive this home, and I, I'm not. I want to talk about this in a way that's like productive. Okay. There is somebody. I don't want to be specific because this is a, like a heavy topic. There is somebody close to me, who has like a very had had. had we're going to speak in a very vaguely, a very um, intense traumatic experience <clears throat> in the past. Right. I remember that person excommunicated that to me. And they expressed it and how horrible and, and, and bad it was. And the first question they asked me after that was like, oh, was, was I actually like assaulted? And that tore me up and I got very angry. Right. And understandably so. Right. And I remember that I got so visibly frustrated and angry. And I said, do you want me to hurt the guy? Basically. And I remember that person said to me, um, they were like, are you OK? And that's when I realized that was a very revealing moment for me. Um, where I realized I prioritized my feelings about the situation over the person in the situation's feelings unintentionally and doing that like that really hurt me right and that's like I'm not the victim of this scenario but you understand my point and so like you know you have to be aware of your feelings in, in response to someone else's feelings about a particular topic and like whose feelings are more valid and what's the goal of this situation and all these different things like that so you know, but that, that, listen, that guy was guilty of shit. Okay, fuck him. Like it's on video. Now we got the. And again, it, not, we're not defending the mistake. Olivia, anything, both acknowledge that that was bad. And then and now, then and now, in the moment, the band reached out was. to the person that was mistakenly identified. Apologize. Uh, I don't. But that's I, not I the issue. Like that is that you call for vigilante justice. So no, no, they're uh, meeting with malice. Right. Their intent is malice. Uh, One more time, I didn't play uh, it. Just so you guys get the impact of this. How fucked is it? He made a comment about the movies. Was it worth all the lie? All of that, now you just look stupid, Danielle. Yeah. I'm saying your name because motherfuckers have to know your name. The same way you try to frame a motherfucker like that, people need to know who the fuck you are. Yes. Just so they know that you're a piece of shit. You want to frame them as a piece of shit, but the, bigger, the biggest piece of shit in this story is you. Yep. And her face, zoomed in, prominently featured on the thumbnail. Awesome. Hmm. Really cool, guys. Uh, so we'll get into that, but good job sending a mob of angry men to harass a 19-year-old. You know, listen, if you think 19-year-olds act wild and are immature, then as a 35-year-old, maybe I'll take them. My advice. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get into this section called Defending Awful People, where I think this shows basically their bad faith okay. attempts uh, when talking about me. When that in any situation, even situations where I'm like indisputably correct, that somehow they managed to take the side of the person opposing me, no matter how obscene it is, right? Only because they think they know that, you know, pro H or anti H3 H3 hate videos get the phone fan click. People love H3 hate videos. Houston. Yeah, they love it. Sure, so, I love it. You know, I kill it, brother, but don't fucking, but you're, you're not being honest. Here they're defending my boys. My boys are defending. He's my favorite. Yes, Steven Crowder. Well, again, mm. not defending, but they're. Saying that we look equally stupid sometimes. Like no, it's getting, it's Let's see what he said. Let's see what they said. I love that one. I see a lot of people don't like Ethan, and that's totally fine. You don't have to like everyone or anything. <laughs> it's worse than that, but you know, Charlie wasn't. Charlie's not that bad. We love Charlie, don't we, folks? Here it is. So I'm hoping, so I went to go watch. I think that Ethan doesn't like Charlie, and that he doesn't feel like he could be honest about Charlie because that would be too much backlash for him to handle. I think that's what it really is. Okay. 
I think I'm right. Get away from me, you fucking bitch. Stop chat laughing. And I'll be honest with you, I think they both look stupid. So here's why I think they both look stupid. First off, on Ethan's part, if you're going to accept the debate somebody, you can't switch yourself off somebody else. Steve, get the rules. Get the rules. Mods, mods. This mods, is, mods, this, rules. It's so funny to me that, again, it's like the sanctity of debate argument. Uh, but you'll see he contradicts himself later. It's so stupid. The Spartans are, that they are like a practice man love with children. <laughs> oh, geez. By the way, I do think that's still a well made point. Man has a Spartan fucking yeah. thing on his desk. And he's like, you know, if you're worried about man love, let's start there, brother. I mean, you got a good point. That's a dog whistle, guys. My wife's boyfriend says that's a dog whistle. Epic, obscure TikTok joke, lol. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's neither here nor there. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. I, what did I tell you? He's going to do anything he could to avoid trouble. Yeah, Ethan is not showing all of their videos. That's true. They, they, he's doing what the other people, what, what he criticizes them for. But... Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, no, Sam Come Cedar. on. Oh, this is internet history. Oh, I, I knew in the moment. I'm, when I was sitting there, I'm like, this is fucking history. This, this, is, funny. this, this is, is history. Like idiot, We're making right history. Oh, it's slimy. Or, again, the I guess slimy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, against, against, against well established rules for debate. The, the, against the courageous ever. Listen, I remember how I felt there. And again, I'm at a point now where I just don't care. I've come to the realization that when it comes to internet situations, you do not have to actually take strong stances. I know that's weird, but I think that there are people on the internet that will take strong stances when they normally wouldn't have because it's kind of expected of you. Here's a topic. Where do you stand? Oh, here's where I stand, right? I get that, but you don't have to really care. I don't care anymore. I don't really give a shit. But I remember when I was watching that, it was like, yeah, you know, you, you said it was going to be like this debate on here and then you just didn't do that. And like, it comes off as kind of like a cringe moment. It comes off a little bit cowardly. Um, for sure, there are going to be some people who are going to look at you and be like, yeah, you know, why didn't you just do the debate yourself or, you know, get co uh, coaching from somebody, you know, whatever. I had that same perspective, uh, you know, so, okay. You're moral, uh, racist, being, you know, Stephen Crowder shall never be slighted. No, I know, I'm being careful, Stephen. Nightmare. I had no idea this was going to happen. If I come to have a conversation. That man literally got, <laughs> was caught on video abusing his wife and having a meltdown four days later. I, we ruined his life, bro. That's a dud. <laughs> Sam Sear called it. Okay. And his response, he said, this is where your life starts to fall apart. He was right. He was totally fucking <laughs> right. That's crazy. It all bore he, out. Said, he said, look me in my eyes, Steven. It all falls apart here. Dude, <laughs> how did he know? <laughs> now I see why all the conservatives are so scared of Sam. Yeah. He's the king slayer. <laughs> he really is. Velveteen, Velveteen rabbit, 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 rabbit eyes. I've seen some Sam clips on like TikTok and stuff. He seems like a pretty interesting smart guy, I will say. Decode that one. <laughs> You and then someone else comes in. I'm gonna feel some type of weight off the top. Yeah, that was the like, point, dumbass. That was the whole fucking point. Because Crowder's a detestable human being. We don't and respect him. I don't exactly. Yeah. I literally yeah, don't respect him. him. And the whole premise of him challenging me to a debate was silly. Because I'm not a political commentator. I, I, people know that. I'm a comedian. I don't know shit about. That. Well, you, you know, uh, has, uh, Crowder isn't either. Let's be real. <laughs> He's just kind of a goober. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nobody. And okay. so the whole premise of him wanting to debate me was, what, as he said, oh, it's just gonna be an easy layup. So you know, the man he he fell to his own hubris, sure. his own arrogance. He got on a call with me. I don't respect him, and of course I did a ruse. Fuck him, and fuck you guys too, actually. <laughs> you got yeah, why would you? Yeah. Have <laughs> as Carter put it, please stop laughing. Bro, you never you never done a goof. What about it? I thought jokes were harmless. This is a joke. Mm. This is a joke, bro. Interesting point. This is a fucking joke. Uh, scientifically, it's been studied that um, violating the rules of debate actually leads to real world violence. So oh, maybe check yourself. That's true. Actually, I remember that saying. Oh no. <laughs> actually, so violating the rules of a. Uh, the potential of debate actually leads to people so liking trans people dumb. less. Trans, 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 Right? Fair? Which, no, in Crowder's defense, I, I do think that was a slimy move. Like, and I think Ethan, I when we were kind of having a conversation, I was watching, I was like, do you guys not recognize how slimy that looks? Yeah, yeah, dude. Yes, it was the intention the whole time. We love the I was time, scheming. Folks. I was yeah, scheming. I was scheming for weeks. You know what I mean? <laughs> we even had Sam record a fake episode to go live to trick Crowder. <laughs> we were scheming and scheming. The slime was oozing out of my oh, core. Slime, I love it. Oh, I love it. Don't you think, Ethan, it was just a little bit inconsiderate of you? Uh, I mean, please, spare poor Crowder. Uh, we shouldn't embarrass. We don't lie. We do not tell lies to Steven Crowder. How dare you? Okay. Why does it lie? Why does it lie? Like how smart you were being the whole time. Like, listen, you need some people around you to tell you're being a little bit ridiculous in that moment. Well, that's that's a, he's attacking you guys now, boy. <laughs> what other show? I honestly don't like uh, Abbott without his hair. He looks a little silly. He can't pull it off like Papa, the old Papa Gut can. I'll just say that much. Soup bro super shattered 99 cents. Thanks for soup bro chatting me, bro. <laughs> Crew have a button to silence the host. Yeah. Oh, I tell Ethan, he's being, <laughs> I tell Ethan he's being ridiculous pretty much on a daily basis here on the show. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. But that's okay. They don't watch every episode. Yeah. Yeah. Know that. The, the epic uh, you need a room full of people to tell you not to be a meanie to Crowder. Because Crowder deserves respect. Yeah. He deserves to have a, a clean, sanctimonious debate. Sanctimonious? Yeah. And I've seen the science on that. The science backs. You know, all jokes aside with this whole Crowder situation, I really do hope that like this, this guy gets help. Crowder, because watching that video, obviously it's not everything. There's more context, is, I'm, so, I'm sure, missing. But from what it looks like, this guy is, is abusive. Um, the way that he talks to his wife and the way that he seems to like infantilize her and treat her like she's some kind of a kid almost. And, you know, the way that he punishes her and whatever, I think is just disgusting. Um, and I'm happy that she's divorcing him because if they stayed together, like her, his kids are going to pick up on that really inappropriate bad behavior. And God, like, good for her, you know, good for her. But I hope that he gets his shit together. I hope he goes to therapy. I hope that he works through it. Because listen, I talk about it. I've had, I have, I, well, I mean, you never don't have anger problems once you have them, you know? And I went to therapy for years as a kid because I was an angry kid. And, and you know what? I'm still being, I'm still trying so hard to just be uh, the best ber version of myself.
you need to really because you don't want your kids to pick up on those habits and think they're because if they stayed together like the Endurit crowd said, what's well, going to happen? You know, the, kid, the, the, the kids are going to think that the, if you have sons, they're going to think that that uh, behavior is appropriate to enact onto a partner. If he has daughters, uh, they'll think that that's behavior that they should be able to put up with and whatnot. You know, because your father teaches you how to, a, man, a young man how to act and a young girl how to be, be treated by men. And the same thing with the mother in the reverse, right? And so I'm happy they're disconnecting. I hope he gets help because for the sake of their kids, because, you know, it's good to have both parents. I, I you know, uh, but you really got to get that shit together. You know, you have goblin problems, true. You know. But you need to take a, think, a, a debate that follows the safety yeah. of regular. It's just, I love that we, it's a really an effort here to highlight. I'm going to fuck They really are good bitch. at this air, this smugness of just being above everything. Uh, and just they're always right about everything that seems to be the vibe. You do but they're really the just morons. Air, so. And they're hateful morons. They're hateful, bigoted <laughs> morons. And uh, they're pandering. Pandering. They're not serious. Pandering. And they're bad faith, just like I said last week. But Andrew. I'll continue because it gets better. All right. No. Okay. So, so it's now. so it's so interesting how like both sides are saying the exact same thing: pandering, not serious, bad faith, uh, ignorant. Uh, uh, they're they're basically proud. They think they know what they're talking about. Uh, you know, I have people saying the exact same things about Ethan in my chat. It's so there's there's some there's truth in the middle there. There's truth in the middle there, and I think that it's brought to you by Popeye's chicken because that's what I want to eat right now. For some reason, that's my craving. Sorry. Now that they've criticized me. What's up? Yeah, therapy? Did you do? I don't know. I was a kid. I was just a kid. I went to therapy for like 10 or 15 years. I was like a fucking kid. I don't know. Behavioral therapy? Maybe CBT? I don't know. I was a fucking child. You know what I would do in therapy most of the time? I would go and talk to my therapist. They would prescribe me medication uh, because I had like behavior problems and I had like ADHD. Well, I have ADHD. Uh, uh, and then for one, I would play chess for a long time. And then I would talk about my feelings at the end. I was a kid, right? I don't know the specifics of what it was, you know? <clears throat> on, because they don't like Stephen Crowder either, right? I think they I stopped when I was in my teens. Teens. Both sides. <laughs> Now here. They explain exactly years. why I was justified in doing a ruse on Steven. Listen to this. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking about you guys whole like internet war because Wait. the most corny shit on the foot. This is not the right though. Corny. True. Uh, Goral. You know what the most? You know what the best corny shit on the world is though? Doritos. Sweet, sweet chili Doritos. The best corny stuff on the internet. So here they the go. The theme is a, is a series called Change My Mind. We go on college campuses with your binder full of facts. Okay. <laughs> and then you just railroad people, strangers with zero following because it's good for you. And here you got somebody who's true. You know, Knows their stuff, who follows the lingo, who follows, has a, you know, yeah, he has like a million subs, you know, majority report, and you won't do it. And I'm just like, well, what? Why would you go out of your way to debate people who clearly don't know the subject matter? But you that's fair, that's a very fair point. And you're not going to do it ever. Can we be with the way that he was, was doing things was a bit like, eh, eh. That, that's another one of the arguments. Point. That very strong point. point by I, I have to pull that. I battle there. That's amazing. That's so I'm telling you, when you watch their videos, they deliver a lot of their most poignant uh, arguments in such a, eh. <laughs> Laughter, eh! After, after stuttering for like 10 seconds and then hit him with eh. How do I criticize him in a succinct, eh! Yeah. Nailed it, bro. Or uh, speaking floorboard, you know? Mm -hmm. right. It's interesting though, because everything that Abba said prior to that, it sounds like you get it. Like, that's exactly why we did it. That explains sure. why what I did was so funny. It was a good joke. I think that they understand. Just but because they're so bad faith. What the fuck's up? They're so desperate to appeal to the fallen fan uh, that they can't possibly ever take my side on anything. Uh, but that's weird because that, that's a, you, you're quoting their video where they're basically steel manning your perspective. I, I, I hate using debate terms, but I did. I don't think that, like, that you can have both perspectives. This is their perspective. Like Sam Cedar, or excuse me, uh, Crowder tries to talk to people who are unprepared for conversation, and he thinks he could get like a, a win over. That's why he doesn't change my mind. He goes to random places and he fucking uh, college campuses, and he talks to like young people who are already a little bit dumb. No offense to young people, or like they're not super educated. They're still experiencing the world, and he's very flushed out in his talking points, even if they're wrong. And that's what he does. And then he was kind of trying to do that to Ethan because Ethan's not a political commentator, right? Uh, their point, I get it though, what, as to what like, you made a promise. It sounds very cringe, but it's like a very man take. It's like you said you were going to do this thing. You were going to do this debate and you faulted on that promise. And I think that that is bad. That's their take. I can, I can identify with that take. It's a, it's a morally, uh, it's like a moral take, right? You could disagree and be like, no, I think that I prioritize the right thing. That's fine. But their take, but you can't just say that they're being dishonest. I don't think it's an anti-Ethan take. I think that that's just a common thing people feel. Like, men feel like, hey, you made this promise and you broke that. That's it. It's not like this super fucking deep thing. So. Uh, that they've, they've wrapped themselves into a pretzel. On one hand, saying that I'm a coward and slimy. But on the other hand, perfectly explaining why what I did was justified. Eh. Sure. <laughs> well, it's slimy and stuff like that. Now you just prove it. Now you really just want to battle people that don't have a following. So that you're doing this and stuff and then it's blown out of proportion. People know about that. Jason Satterfield super chatted $4.99. Papa, have you considered having another convo with Destiny? No. It would be interesting. So watch you guys talk. If I'm I'm sure. You totally get me. I don't think so. But there's nothing that I think that we would have to talk about. You know what I mean? I don't want to just go in there to say, hi, Destiny, can I orbit? You know, it's like weird. I don't think that there's anything that we would have to talk about that would be productive. 
one, you want to get someone that has a less substantial <sighs> following than you so that if ever you say something that's out of hand, it doesn't get exposed like that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But when you're going to get someone that has equal following than you, then, then you're going to be like, nah, you know what? Yeah, you guys totally get me, man. It's incredible. It's like we're <laughs> Awesome. Although, did you consider this counter argument? Eh! That puts things in perspective. You know what I mean? Moving on. Uh, also, let's interestingly, move on. Let's move on. Yeah. They, this line I just thought was kind of funny. I mean, because I was like, yo, I've been watching you guys this whole like internet war beef is the most corny shit on the fucking planet. Like, I know sometimes we've been like covering people world. multiple times. Like, oh, it's a beef. Yeah, we just cover it because it's relevant and people want to see it. People think going back and forth is just a war. Like, I don't know. To me, that's just cringy language. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you use the most violent, like, oh, I got bear smoke for them. Intellectually. Like, kill yourself. Actually, kill yourself. By the way, oh. that was a little much there. I remember listening to that. And told me to kill myself. Any bleep to kill? Like, what kind of bitch ass fucking loser are you? <laughs> just say it, you fucking bitch. <laughs> if you're going to tell someone to kill themselves, don't bleep the kill. Just back. No, I wouldn't want to orbit Destiny because I would pull him off his orbit because I have so much gravitational pull. But also, I've been doing a pretty staunch, like, I don't really want to interact too much with other people thing um, as, as my current protocol with the way I interact because it makes things more drama free. So. Yeah. Oh, YouTube's gonna demonetize. Shut the fuck up, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, also, wait. Destiny is horrible in conversations when he's not interested, and that's like, uh, you know, uh, it's it could be like a little weird. So, it's ugly. You're baby. disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. You know. Yeah. Whoa. Dr. Okay. Phil's got kahunes. <laughs> So you should be permabanned, right? You should be permabanned for a mistake that you clarified, but but it's okay for them to say shit like that. <laughs> kill yourself. Bleep the kill. That makes it clear. That's, that's fair. fair. I think that's too well. I don't know. We don't know that they said kill. Right. I hope yeah. you're yeah. Let me try to have to say this. I'm not saying it should be banned. I'm just saying irony is uh, interesting. Yeah. Look, I don't care that they told me to kill myself. I just think it's fucking embarrassing. And this god, the Lord's year. This was five days ago. The Lord's year of 2023. You're on YouTube saying kill yourself. Like, bro, it's time to grow the fuck up. Okay. That's true. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. But bleep, but don't bleep the kill. Do us all a favor. It's not a Here, you know, you know. Hey, I get in trouble all the time. I got a button. At least I say what I mean, bitch. You'll see me bleeping words. I, I, guess, he's got a point. <laughs> I guess Ethan's got to write about that. He does say whatever he's feeling. Uh, he's got a point there. He got to give him some. <laughs> he got to give some credit for that, even though sometimes it's a little fucking crazy. Not that oh my god! Yeah, coward, loser, dummy, moron, idiot, pussy, pussy, bitch, uh, I'm a bitch, I'm a dumbass. But that's funny. And then at the same time, they're like, debate is so silly. It's so silly. Uh, but you know, when it comes to Ethan and Crowder, it's a wholy sacred thing that we cannot possibly just. Uh, you know, oh, I get the point. So now we're gonna go on to, make there, to I guess. potentially. <laughs> the I don't think it's about the gonna... sanctity of the debate. I think it's just about like the, the, the weight of one's word, right? The fatter you are, the, the more weight your word should carry, okay? That's why my weight carries a lot. My word carries a lot of weight. Damn, messed that up. It's, uh, Defense Sebastian, the TikTok alpha male, who by all accounts was came on the show and eviscerated. Yeah, I'm probably just going to agree with Ethan pretty much the, entirely on this point here. Um, Abin Preach didn't watch the full conversation, and they did leave out some context towards the end of the video. That would have like framed it. They were having a conversation about basically like dressing, like the way that people dress or they in relationships, right? And there was a comparison between Ela's workout progress and Sebastian's workout progress. And Sebastian said his workout progress was appropriate, but Ela's wasn't because it was making her dress like too scandalously or whatever. And the whole conversation, while it was messy, central, well, not the whole conversation, but that part of the conversation centralized around that point of like the double standards for men versus women. And Ab and Preach just didn't bring that up for context in their first video. And then their response, they brought it up at the end as if it was like not a big deal. But that was the video. That was most of it. I watched the full podcast uh, episode. I, I really, you know, can't. Uh, I, there's really nothing you can really side with, with Ab and Preach on here. Um, you could say like, oh, I don't think it's insecurity to blah, blah, blah. But it is insecurity if you're okay with you posting your workout progress photos, but you're not okay with your partner doing the same. That is an insecurity. So... And, and hey, and being insecure is okay, guys. It's okay to be insecure, All right? It's true. It's true. You know, and I'm not tooting my own horn here. Maybe I'm a little bit. Right, you gotta take listen. You gotta take your dubs where you can get them. But they saw that and said, "Oh no, Ethan's the one that's embarrassing oh. in the video title." Ethan's embarrassing. I just want to be left alone. So let's see here. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to keep bringing you up, brother. It's just hold on. Okay. <laughs> want to be left alone? <laughs> um, that's like one of my favorites. So they remove. So here's the thing that's interesting. In talking about this, they remove the entire heart of the conversation and straw man my whole argument. The basis of this conversation with Sebastian started from a TikTok in which he said, "My woman should not dress sexy unless she's with me," which I found to be a loserish thing to say. Well, I, I generally agree with that take, though. I generally with that take. You could, you know, um, like whatever. I think it's fine to set like standard boundaries, and it might be a boundary uh, that comes from. Uh, insecurity, but that's, I think it's everybody's right to be insecure if they want to be a little insecure um, in a relationship. Who cares? Right? <clears throat> say. And I even say it here uh, because he starts to walk that back okay, during this conversation. You can see it right here. What's the problem? <laughs> well, it just, it's a little insecure. No, it's not. It is a little. It's a, it's a preference. Well, no, no, it's, it's not a preference. preference. Well, in this video, because you're kind of walking it back, so we can move on if you want. But so I says, look, you're walking it back, so the conversation's kind of moved, and we can move on. But we continue to talk, but they, they remove the context, which I think shows the whole basis of their conversation and instead of that they make they try to present this opinion which i do not have which is that partners aren't allowed to set boundaries and if you're 
you need to let your significant other wear whatever they want all the time or you're insecure, which was obviously not my point. Like, clearly, you know what I mean? That's, that's silly. But uh, that doesn't keep them from taking out of context and being bad faith actors and giant uh, losers. Here it is. Whoa. Got him. The whole genesis for this was he put out a video on TikTok, like, uh, something about, like, how women should dress. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? No, no, no. No, no, stop, stop. You see the way he really did it. No, no, no. You see the way he really did it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're doing it again. No, 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 no. Uh, the original TikTok, that's like he said, if I'm with a girl, he didn't tell other people how they have to dress. He didn't tell women what they have to do every day. Yeah, I didn't do that either. Nowhere. And so they set up this whole straw man, argue against something I never said or claimed or think. Uh, and then they go, oh, look at idiot. Uh, look at Ethan, such an idiot. He's not telling everyone, get an open relationship. He's saying, I like open relationships. That's okay. okay. I, I want to run out of yeah. relationship this way. Yeah. Okay. You, listen, this is so stupid game. Where the way two people want to legislate their relationship and the boundaries of them is between the two people. Yeah. Of course. Right. Why would I disagree with that, you dumb? It's like, bro, just engage with oh. me honestly. If you want to actually, you know. But well, it seems to be a lot of uh, dishonesty going back and forth between <laughs> every party, maybe, uh, in general. So, oh, this guy's not going to help me. Fuck. Even when there was I wanted to do that, but Okay. Okay. What's the problem? Well, it's just right. a little insecure. Listen, people know. Dude. Okay, so without the context, you know, here. Oh, here, let me keep playing it, actually. <laughs> Didn't he say he's going to go back and play the original TikTok? He said that, right? Did I show that part? No, you're not showing. Okay, okay, so it's like the things that things are aware, they're gonna get a different reception from people. Yeah, I'm with a woman, and she's out here just like she's going to King Coop tomorrow. I'm gonna feel a little bit like that shit's off. Not because it makes me insecure. He is insecure, by the way, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's okay to feel insecure, and you work with a partner. See? But anyway. That's how you know that Ethan watches my content. Because it's okay to be insecure, guys. Wait, anyway, that's not the point here, but he is insecure. Both of them are deeply, deeply. Actually, you know what? I think they have, they have issues, but eh, they strike me as confident dudes, to be honest with you guys. Confidently wrong, confidently stupid, confidently hateful bigots. Here, you're 100% insecure then. Yeah. You can't handle it, dude. <laughs> that means you're insecure. You just fucking outed yourself completely. Sorry, it does. The things that they they're gonna get a different reception from people. Yeah. I'm with a woman, and she's out here just like she's going to Cancun tomorrow. I'm gonna feel a little bit like that shit's off. Yeah, yeah. That's your problem. Look, it's your preference if you don't want to be with a girl who's comfortable doing that, right? But the, but the underlying emotion, which was trying, was trying to coax out with Sebastian, is that what is that feeling of feeling off? It's disgust. I love this. Ah, that's a crazy thing to say. It's disgust. Okay, loser. Disgust. I'm These guys disgust are so about my wife. Here. They're like, no, it's disgusting when I see a woman's cleavage. Disgusting. It makes me wanna. It makes me wanna. It makes me, it makes me wanna circumcise their vagina. <laughs> makes, <laughs> makes, makes me wanna ge- mutilate their genitals. What do you mean disgusted? Chill out, dude. I think it's disgusting when someone wants to be that trashy looking. Okay, now the context of this is really important. Yes. Now, as we're talking, um... Oh, I think he was talking about a girl that's like dressed as too uh, provocatively. Like, yeah, sure. In the general, like, that's fine. You're allowed to think it's disgusting if a girl drinks too. But I think, I don't think anybody said uh, that, that. Nobody really brought that specific point up. So it seemed like a little bit of a reach. Uh, oh, no, I'm doing the Ethan thing. Ab and, bre- and reach. No, but it does seem like a little bit uh, uh, misrepresentative, we'll say. Uh, just like I'm going to die right here. Oh, I think because we said guy. we cannot, uh, hold on, I'm a little off. Because we say that, you know, slutty or dressing like a hoe, C-A-P-O as you actually said, a member. Thank you. I mean, so we, we use this your baseline as an agreeable starting point. You don't want to be with a girl who's comfortable doing that, right? But the, but the underlying, <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, these links are all crazy. Yeah, thank you. That's, what, that's what's thank going you. on in my brain. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know if I got the wrong URLs here. Okay, let me go back and try. You are L is a, you're a loser. <laughs> okay. Let's start over. He's gonna show this. And be like, he's, he's flustered. I just got the wrong URL, though. We got it. You know what I mean? Let's start over. Let's so here. I called him out for not walking back his argument. Here he apparently. Let me pull this one up again because I missed it. the whole genesis for this. Was he put out a video on TikTok like uh, something about like how women should dress? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? No, 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 no stop, stop. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is why I wanted to show. You see the way he really said, you see the way he really said, I'll play the original TikTok. That's what I said. He says, I'll play the original TikTok. Notice, he does not play the original TikTok, actually. He uh, Ooh, he does not, him. but I will because I'm not a coward and I actually would like to engage with got the facts of this conversation and not be a little bitch that just wants to get hate views off of, off of me. So let's go ahead and see the original oh, TikTok you are trying to get hate views of this dude. He's defending. Today. So here's your boy, uh, Sebastian. The girl's there. Oh, if, she if she's dressed provocatively and I'm not with her, there's absolutely no reason why she should be dressed that way. You should only care about my time. <laughs> if you're my wife, there should be no other attention from a man that you should care about other than mine. Why would you wear a dress that oh, makes men look at you and be like, fair oh, point, so, like, when you want to be hot, I get it, but you should only be hot for me. You should only want to be hot for me. Hmm. That's girl, your boy. I, she I wish you would have showed that because it shows what a child. I mean, honestly, rewatching that, I mean, maybe I disagree with Ethan more now. Because <laughs> that's fair. What's wrong with saying that? Like you don't want your your, your the, the the degree of provocativity. I don't know if I said that right. That could be a problem. Like they they established like again, Sebastian is hypocritical when it comes to the degree of what is considered provocative for men versus women. Right. That's definitely true. But just that on his face, like what's wrong with that? What's really wrong with that one? Um, what's wrong with that? Like uh, like I when my wife's with me, she better. Not dress for sexual attention. Like, what's the problem with that? Like, who gives a fuck? I think it's fun. What insecure, stupid fucking point he's trying to make. Which is what I was asking about. But he didn't show that. Why? He said he'd replay it. He did not. They may have played it before, but he did not replay it when he said he would. So, um, is that normal behavior? I mean, this is insecure man-child behavior. It might be. No, but again, like, who cares if it's... You just said it's okay to be insecure, though. And this is, like, a problem. It is okay to be insecure. Like, and, like, yeah, if you don't want your partner to dress very sexually, maybe that's rooted in some kind of insecurity. 
But like you said, that's okay. So then why are you now saying it's not okay? You got to be consistent. It's not really man-child behavior. It's pretty normal behavior. And the same thing goes for me. Like my wife is allowed to say, you can't wear this clothing out because of this as well. Like it's not, you know, and I would say that as long as the the, the boundary goes both ways, it, that's something too. So Man, I know she wants to dress hot, but she can only dress hot when she's with me. Okay. Like that's, a hot that's pocket. Scary, right. I got to help. And then guy. he goes on to say he feels disgust. disgust. Now this was the baseline example that me and Sebastian Come. agreed upon because co slutty provocative, whatever, sexy, obviously varies from person to person. So I said, okay, take this picture of my wife, for an example, as a baseline. Mm. And he said, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't want my significant other just like that. Thank you. Okay, so this, this is what we're talking about when he says disgust. Here's a clip of me and Sebastian agreeing on this baseline. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's, fair. Not, no, that's fair. If you have that understanding with your partner, I think that's totally fair. But this press- It's not insecurity either. It's, it's, it's not insecurity. It's just, I don't, I don't it like is. that. I don't want it. Like, let's follow the no, thing. Because you're, you're basically- no, you're would, you want, would you want your wife out there? Okay, would you want your wife out there dressed like a hoe? Like a hoe? Well, slam dunk on me. Which is <laughs> what they say. Show. They think this kid's got me. Oh, the definition of a hoe, I guess, is. By the way, was it, was it deal actually making OnlyFans? Or was that just a joke? <laughs> Asking for a friend, guys. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. <laughs> but you just answer my question. Would you, would you want her out there dressing or wearing as minimal clothing as possible out in a club? Would I want my. Well, hold, hold on. In a club. Oh, yeah. not no, a club. No, 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 now, obviously, how could, I don't know what he means by hoe. Clearly, his right. idea of inappropriately dressed is going to be a lot more conservative than most people's. That's true. So I want to establish yeah, a sure. baseline. Well, let me show you this. Like, okay, hold on. Is my wife dressed like a hoe here? Because I just want to get your. She posted this to social media. Would, would you go out to dinner with your wife dressed like that? Of course, you wouldn't go like that. I mean, why? I didn't say that we don't have boundaries. I'm just using this baseline. Okay? You know what I mean? Hold on. That's sure. okay. You good? All right, Ethan. Okay, so that's our baseline. And then this is how uh, oh, no. Badlow reacts. Oh, no. To my wife. Oh, Look at the amount, not to my wife, let's say, but the amount of clothes she's wearing. Preference if you don't want to be with a girl who's comfortable <laughs> doing that, right? But the, but the underlying emotion, which was try, I was trying to coax out with Sebastian, is that what is that feeling of feeling off? It's disgust. I think it's disgusting when someone wants to. I don't oh, think you, you just call disgusting. your wife disgusting. <laughs> I really don't know what to say. It's disgusting. This is disgust. I'm disgusted. That's the feeling. Go ahead. Go, go on. It's disgust. I think it's disgusting when someone wants to be that trashy. Oh, that Fuck. It? Same way I think it's fucking disgusting when I see dudes sag their pants and have the boxers hanging out the ass cheeks. Can I not be disgusted by something? Yes, you you can be disgusted. I don't think that he was specifically referring to your wife there. Disgusted by anything you want, dude. But it just, I mean, you're just a fucking, you're a loser. You know? Also, sagging pants is not the same as like showing a little cleavage. Be nice to people in the chat. Right. Stop being I'm silly. disgusted. Okay, dude. So then they continue on uh, to yeah. uh, defend our boy Sebastian, the enlightened, the great Sebastian. Um, here's, here's where I think this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Would he be interested, or Sebastian, love the idea of women policing how they dress? No tight fitting clothing, no watches, no rings, nothing to show his status. Sure. Or not even nice shoes, bro. Not even a nice jacket. You know why? Because you are projecting into the world that you have status, that you have wealth, and obviously you're just doing that to attract other women. Why the fuck would you want to go out and wear a nice watch? It's disgusting. I'm literally repulsed by you wearing a nice watch right now. Oh, okay. My man must go outside wearing a full hazmat suit, or otherwise he's cheating. Would you entertain that? Would you ever argue? Yes. That? Yeah, I understand. And what's fun is that we totally expose Sebastian in this moment. Hey, being a little fucking hypocrite. And they do not show this. They do not care about this. Watch. Bro, this is, yes, dude. This is unacceptable. That's a thirst trap. That's yeah. like your, well, yeah. that was that was before. Jesus. That was before. So how long have you been with your girlfriend? About you. And it was also, I mean, pretty inspiring, I would say, considering I was women can be inspiring with their bodies. Pretty inspiring. I mean, there's nothing inspiring by taking off your shirt and showing your tits. That's, that's what you're doing. You literally just put your shirt on. Do you not think this was interesting, relevant at all to the conversation? No, no. It's also the single dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I'd say this is a pretty significant part of the conversation that like Abin preached did leave out until like they referenced at the end of one of their videos, which again. CPO just gifted. Five hey, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. I appreciate that. Um, which I think like hurts the narrative. Again, rewatching it. The original TikTok that Ethan made, you know, that one specifically Oscar seems fun. Oh, I'm going to skip through. These are members that I've gotten from the gift. Thank you so much. Um, you know, rewatching that, it seems like um, this really kind of... Uh, the, the start. Why would you push him all the way back? Isaiah McDonald became a member. Okay. Well, now he's free. <sighs> Sorry. Anyway... Uh, I think that Sebastian's original, original TikTok was fine, but he had a lot of problematic uh, takes in, in his video in, in, in that capacity. But <clears throat> more than that, like the do the uh, the double standard between like men dressing versus women dressing, like that was an issue too. Dude, I can't believe this could save them. There's nothing inspiring about showing your titties. He goes, yeah, look at me right there. It's That's inspiring. The Some girls do it. It's so ugly. You know, you did, you did lose a lot of weight since around the time of that episode. So I don't know. Maybe maybe this mm. maybe this photo this inspired you. Oh yeah. my god, you might be right. It is inspiring. But it's also disgusting. What else? Yeah, yeah, but the difference is, is I trained extremely hard. Well, what about girls who train extremely hard and then post? Like Hila is training right now with a trainer. Yeah, she's exactly what Hila's photo was. That she's showing off. Okay, I didn't know that. That's great. Oh, because every time a girl posts a photo of her body, it has to be sexual. It can't be that she's achieved something. Yeah, he's so obviously wrong. And the way they go in and frame this, again, it's just pure bad faith, right? Yeah. They straw man me something that I don't even think, and then they omit Sebastian looking like a total fucking hypocrite dumbass. Super inspiring that she did that. I'm sorry, bro. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to work through this, and we hopefully don't talk about you anymore. Hold on. You good? Right, Ethan. All right, cool. Yeah, you see how silly you're being? Don't you see how silly you're being? You go, oh, I didn't know that, but it's like, but like, 
everybody who's posting pictures, like a lot of them just feel good. They want to show it off well, all their no, hard work. There's, there's different contexts, right? These things are a lot more nuanced. Like if you're so again, in fresh and, or they are fresh, fresh and fit, light diet. Um, Babylon Reach. They agree with that. Babylon uh, Reach. So my question to them is, are you okay with women policing how you go out? Because that conversation never happens. That's a good question. And I would say, yeah, I don't know if they reference that in their video or not. Um, but yeah, women should have the exact same, like in a relationship, women should get the same say of like what you wear and what you don't wear. In fact, I'd say women already do because who, what, who do you think dresses me in the morning? <laughs> now nah, I'm just kidding. I dress myself all by myself and I don't, and most of the time I don't even put my shirt in on inside out. But when I go out to like events, she will we go to a funeral or a wedding or something where I have to dress nice. My wife tells me what to wear. Uh, last time I picked out my outfit, my wife, uh, my wife repicked it out. And in her defense, the colors did clash a little bit. But yeah, that conversation needs to happen. And I think the wearing the watch and the nice shoes and all that shit—it's the exact same thing. You're trying to you're trying to attract women with that. And I've seen the science on that. It's conclusive. It's conclusive. If you believe in global warming, yep. yeah. then you yeah. must believe I, I that you are trying to cheat if you wear a nice watch outside. I read a study on it. I said men's tits uh, are inspiring. I, I don't really think that the watch is a proportional thing to, um, I, <laughs> I don't really get the whole watch thing, but okay. Sexual. They're disgusting. Yeah. Disgustingly sexual. Mm -hmm. So again, bad faith, that, fucking losers, a straw man, you know, get, get up. Dude, y'all are so lame. Again, if Abba you want to talk, at least engage with what I really believe, because this is just low-hanging fruit bullshit. And I know these guys post a lot, they just want content. You, yeah. you know what I mean? They're desperate for content, and that's what's going on here. Same here, guys. But I need to do three videos a day. Don't act like high mighty when you're just straight up lying about what happened. Fucking dumbass. And this is going to be a solid three or four hour video, even at running it to X speed, so, you know. So, uh, moving on, here they defending um, Jordan Peterson, yes, friend of the show. We all know and love Jordan Peterson. All right. Was well, it when Jordan was crying? One of the great men of our time. Uh, LOL. Breaking down and crying. Let's be real. Listen, Jordan is a is a damaged soul. He's a smart guy. He really is a smart guy when it comes to like his stuff. But when it comes to social issues, I think he really misses the mark. I'm not a big fan of the whole uh, trans conspiracy theory that people are just becoming trans to make money uh, so that like medical institutions can make money. I think that's an incredibly dangerous, harmful, and unintelligent uh, perspective when it comes to like these issues. And he's just wrong about the topic. There's tons of research that goes against what he says, and that's why we have uh, this institution. Um, so like, I can understand why people would feel like, yeah, fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to laugh at Jordan crying because he's been very invalidating of a lot of people. Um, but I can see why you would also be like sensitive to it as well. And to them, this is just a beautiful moment, a courageous moment. Sex. And it says a lot about women and, and feminists and liberals or else Jordan Peterson breaks down crying in the internet. Cheers. The title of this video. Let's take a look. Okay. People Let's make some mistakes as they sound. Cool. <laughs> Jordan, it's been a fascinating interview. Thank you very much. Wow. But it's so funny that we live in a world where every feminist and their girlfriends talk about men do this, men need to show more emotion. Dude starts crying about how sad and lonely men are. And we're like, you fucking loser. Again, like, I, I don't, but that's the, that's the problem here, right? It's like, even if you think that's bad, they're not making fun of him because he's a man crying. They're making fun of him because he's an asshole and he's invalidating us when it comes to social topics. Again, smart guy when he sticks to his field, but like, that's why people are saying the things that they're saying. So it's the intentionality isn't to diminish a man. The intentionality is to diminish a person that people think is bad, um, which I think that context is necessary. <laughs> this is what I've always known to be since I was a young man. All this talk about feminists are for young men. Oh, by the way, they're showing like one like random tweet. I'm not even gonna, it's like, what, what are you trying to show? I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> Why would you need, they didn't even show the likes on this one. What the fuck? Why would you need men's rights activists? You better see it right now. I swear to God. They're right wanting to be more vulnerable yeah, and thinking. They are showing some very low view. <laughs> Tweets, okay. I swear to God. Now, uh, y'all y'all don't really want it. No. So, as someone that made fun of Jordan Peterson, this is not about men being vulnerable. This man is an unhinged lunatic. That's like the tenth time he's cried today. He's not vulnerable. He's unstable. So you're not doing a good job promoting your point. It's, if you if the reason that you think it's okay to bully somebody for crying is because they cry a lot, I mean, it based. Uh, tell that to my wife. Uh, no, but that's not a good justifier. Very dangerous ideology. <laughs> all does it. And this is another thing that there you they're go. making Jordan ideology Peterson thing. very sure, pal sure. palatable, whitewashing him. He is the most, one of the yes. most hateful, disgusting people on the whole fucking internet. He is just openly transphobic. He's like, no, yeah, I don't like trans people. Just straight the fuck up. He is, that's like his whole thing. He's with the Daily Wire now. It's interesting that he uses the word whitewashing. That seems very, uh, that's what Hassan said to Jiddy. I wonder, bro, I have conspiracy brain, so you just take this with a grain of salt. But do you think that he watched the beginning of my video? about like Ethan and Avin preach where I went on like a tangent about that whole situation where I, I said that whitewashing sounds like a, a way to say that like Gideon is making content for white people and like it was essentially a form of racism. And then some people are like, well, that's not necessarily what it means. And I was like, okay, that's fair. Uh, you know, because it's just like, why use it now? Like why use that term now? Does he use it a lot? I don't really watch, I watch Ethan a fair amount of times, but it's just, it's just weird to me. You know, yesterday, Trisha Paytas steals my podcast idea. Today, Ethan's using uh, these particular words. It just seems so, it seems... It seems too, it's too convenient. It's too convenient to me. It's too, uh, am I, am I, am I just being a little stupid? Am I being a little stupid here? You got to tell me if I'm being stupid. And this whole fucking thing is, uh, just transphobia. That's Auschwitz. It's Auschwitz. 
And um, he's he's also homophobic. He advocates same, for conversion same. therapy, which he called being against conversion therapy is uh, virtue signaling, apparently. Um, okay, so to be charitable, from what I remember, the, the uh, Jordan Peterson's conversion therapy take, okay, and I could be wrong. My understanding from looking at it at the time, and this was before he like had like his unhinged meltdown, um, <clears throat> was his issue with the conversion therapy bill was that it was so loosely uh, worded, I think, that it potentially didn't leave the pathway open for people who were diagnosed with gender dysphoria um, or people who went in to get a diagnosis to be like rejected or to not be diagnosed. Okay, so okay, let me try to be better at this. I think it opened a pathway potentially, or at least that's what he thought, and I could just be wrong. He might just be lying. Where, sorry, I have to close my eyes because I gotta like really think about this one. My brain is melting away. I streamed for like nine hours yesterday, which was a lot for me, and I did like a lot of talking. And then today I'm like back at it again. Um, and we're like an hour and forty minutes into this video. I believe what he meant to say is that. It doesn't leave the door open for people who are diagnosed with gender dysphoria to not get gender affirming care. I know that sounds bad, but I remember talking to a therapist who dealt with trans people, and he said sometimes, very rare, but sometimes people who have gender dysphoria, the treatment method is not to get gender affirming care. Sometimes for them, it's best to actually um, engage in different like like methodology. You like you still maintain the gender you were born with. That might be safer uh, option. It's very complicated. I'm not a, a gender therapist, and so if I'm being charitable, that's I believe what Jordan meant, but I could be wrong about that. Does that make sense? Um. So yeah. <laughs> and so if you isolate this one uh, instance and say, "Oh, all feminists, all fucking libs are weaponizing men being emotional," um, is insane. Libs. It's dishonest too. Because you Lib come liberals. On. Come on, you know George Peterson's a piece of shit. At least, Every budding beauty. Or at least you know yeah, people aren't making fun of him because he's crying because he's vulnerable. Stop being fucking obtuse. Stop. Ouchie. I heard this man read a fucking excerpt from Pinocchio and start crying. It's not vulnerable. It's weird. Same, same, same. Just fucking weird, man. <laughs> here, I'll watch this. Like, be picky. That's, that's well, I'd like to see what he's crying about because I'm sure it's some weird dumb shit. Here, let's watch. I want to ask you just quickly. Uh, <laughs> Olivia Wilde has a new movie out. She, yeah. she says it's based on you, this insane man, this pseudo intellectual hero to the incel community, incel like these weirdo loner men uh, who are. Well, I would be upset too if somebody made a whole movie about some guy that's like an inspiration to incels. Then I was the I was what it was based off of. I think I'd be upset too. Like, Despicable in many ways. <laughs> Is that you? Are you the intellectual hero to these people? Sure. Why not? You know. Um, People have yes. Been... Are you the intellectual hero to these violent, psychotic, uh, school shooting misogynists? Yes. Maybe. Listen, not to be, not to be, to, to give uh, incels too much credit here because a lot of the shit that they talk about is bad. But it, to be honest with you, from a behavioral perspective, um, actually, from a behavioral perspective, sorry, I'm being stupid. From a behavioral perspective, it's individuals who feel like they've been kind of cast away by society and are struggling with their loneliness. And uh, Nathan Fielder, they're the wizards of loneliness. And you turn into a wizard if you are a virgin by 30. You get magical spells. Shadow wizard money gang. <clears throat> so, like, it's fun to make fun of them. And obviously there are some people who do horrible things, um, you know, of course. Uh, and I understand that as well, right? And you can't be charitable to those people. But just in general... Um, I think it's good to try to open like a pathway for somebody who maybe is very lonely to have a little bit of self discovery and become better, right? If it's hard for you to follow at the speed, it's because you didn't watch from the start, brother, and it, you get you get used to the the increased speed. Don't worry. Play Heroes of the Storm and you'll get used to it. And I think that would be good, right? So if you're an insult watching this, take a shower, <laughs> work on your mind, body, and spirit. Your body could be weightlifting. If you do that, five by five strong strong lifts by Mark Ripto is a great resource to start with. Wendler 531, Alan Thrall, YouTube, the air technique now. Or you could dance or walk or whatever you find, uh, you know, shower, try to approach women. Be okay with failing. You know, you're not you're gonna fail most of the time when you approach a woman. Women start approaching men more. Yeah. Men start to cry. That's right. And I gave him the gun. I'll tell you what, when my grandmother's pubes brushed on my face, tears started running down my cheeks, and it occurred to me okay. men just want their grandmother to force themselves upon them. Is that too much to ask? No. And so I say, women need to give it up. Men, you have a vagina. Men deserve no. They're entitled to sex for and, sexual kick. And women just keep—they don't give it up. Okay. Yolo bitches, get some. Hit me with the, the audiobook. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother sitting by the bank of a swimming pool, which was also a river. Her okay. genital region was exposed dimly. It had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. Inspired. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. She walked over to me. Why didn't they play a handful of pubic hair compacted into something resembling a large artist's. You should play this when you talk about she pushed this at my face. I raised Howard's? my arm several times to deflect her hand. Finally, unwilling to hurt her or interfere day? with her any further, I let her have her way. That's all a man a boy wants. Let his grandma insult him sexually. <laughs> what the fuck was that? 
<clears throat> what the what the fuck was that? Was that like a real what just happened? What was that audio thing? Wow, that's horrible. Jesus Christ. So yes, I am their heroes. They come bring it all together. Now for me for a long time by because I've been speaking to disaffected young men. You know what a terrible thing to do that is. Nobody's mad that you're speaking to men is what you're saying. Come on. Quit speaking to you. Maybe. And to be absolutely real with you, there's definitely criticism delivered against Jordan. Why didn't you just talk to the guy instead of like disavowing him? Why not talk to him? Try to get, try to get into his head a little bit. Try to have that conversation. Try to like you know you could have had Hassan there with you. Why do you not believe in your ability to communicate as a human being to such a degree that you would just disavow somebody that you were formerly a friend with rather than like, let me see if I could talk to this person, see what they're about before potentially disavowing them. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but it just seemed kind of lazy and shitty <clears throat> that you would do that. You were you were friends with this person to some dis uh, extent when his message resonated with you. And then once you were done with him, instead of giving him a little bit of charity and talking to him, whether it was privately or publicly, you just decided to take all of his videos down and say, he's a bad guy, fuck him, and kind of move forward and just dehumanize him wholly. He is shitty, especially when it comes to his trans shit. I understand that. For sure. So I can definitely understand why a trans person especially wouldn't want to engage with Jordan Peterson because Jordan Peterson uh, will, will will debate the validity of your existence. But, you know, why not Ethan? Like, are you actually so morally outraged uh, on topics that, like, don't impact you in that way that you, you know, you take it too personally? Or is it just lazy? Like, I don't I don't really understand it. You know what I mean? Like, you know. That's the whole point of like allies, isn't it? Is that there are people, let's say in this instance, trans people who are they have they have their existence and it's valid, and they they communicate that the best like they communicate that, but they somebody like myself who has formerly not gotten it, I can probably communicate to a transphobic person better than somebody who is trans because like I was a bad I'm a bad person, right? <laughs> so I know what it's like to be a bad person. So that's kind of the whole point of allyship, right? Is is like, hey, listen, like people who will listen to to the words that are being said by a particular group, um, people that will listen, great. But then there's some people that like need to communicate to people at, with different frames of thought that might be like a little bigoted in some capacity and need like an extra walking and uh, you know a little bit of hand holding. I'm not talking about trans people. I'm talking about the the people who don't like trans people and like that. You know, that's what you're supposed to be if you're like a if you're an ally. Me personally. Me personally, I play Horde, so I don't have to worry about that. Right, so that's my that's what happened there. It's all just intentionally obtuse. <clears throat> and why is he crying? Pull your shit together. Well, marginalized. You know, if a woman started crying too, I'd be say pull your shit together. Not to do with gender. So we're supposed to have a voice. Oh, but they found three tweets of random twitters with zero to one like of them saying is he on estrogen or something. Uh, there was a fourth one that I had points. Making him up okay, three or something. That's science. That's back by science. <laughs> so that one. Yeah, that's settled. Go on, you know. Which place? Nice very difficult to understand. How demoralized. Yo, they got that crying cam on him. Yeah. The way they got him looking over his shoulder. That was wild. That's stunning. Uh, 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 cut, cut to the crying cam. You know Jordan beforehand, he's like, I want you to set up a crying mm -hmm. cam for me. I'm going to cry about 20 minutes in. <laughs> so here it is. Cry cam. Cut, cut to it. Oh, God, you know. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> he's checking his light. He's making sure. Oh, God, that, was a good, that was a good one. How demoralized people are. Uh, okay. And certainly, many young men are in that category. Oh, yeah. You get these casual <laughs> insults. These, these incels. What does it mean? It's like putting these men there. They don't know how to make themselves attractive to women who are very picky and good for them. Women like be picky. That's, that's your gift, man. Demand high standards from your men. Fair enough. But all these men who are alienated, it's like they're lonesome and, and, and they don't know what to do. And everyone piles abuse on them. You've been so controlled today. And yet in that brief moment, you got very emotional. Why? It's okay, whatever. So they make a whole fucking big deal. Wait, what's the way? I never, I don't think I've ever listened to that before. That was kind of real, man. Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. I got it. You don't like Jordan, but that's like a real thing. And that's not even like sexist. What he just said was women have high standards, but I still understand why men are feeling so frustrated right now. Have high standards. Demand a lot from your man. Be absolutely. Thousand percent agree. But hey, it sucks when there's like a lot of young men who especially come from like a lot of fatherless homes who, you know, don't have that positive male role model to teach them how to, you know, effectively communicate. And that sucks. You know, loneliness hurts. Loneliness is a horrible thing. Um, And like he was speaking to that. And like, why? Why make fun? Why make fun? There's like a cruelty there. I mean, obviously, we have a bit of a tortured soul here. You don't have to like the guy. I'm just, I'm just saying that. Like, what was so, what's so joke worthy about that? Like, that's a real, that's some real shit, man. You know? Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked again. Farming the views on this dumb fucking shit, making Jordan Peterson look like a victim of bullying. Imagine that. The dude who like, what is it he said about Elliot Page again? That was like so obscenely fucking violent. Remember, he said that like pride is one of the sins and it's bad. Like absolutely bad shit. He's an idiot, but for sure. Phobic. I remember he said, remember when pride was a sin. That was my yeah. Uh, yeah, pride is a sin. Gay pride is a sin. Pride is not a virtue. This this poor guy's being bullied. Is that a cardinal sin? Like pull it together, man. 
Okay. Do your fucking research. You're embarrassing. Going out here like this. Come on now. Your Remember research. when Clyde was a sin and Ellen Page just had her breast removed by a criminal physician? Yeah. Let's let's prop him up. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, He's that a was a dumb perspective because it pushes this idea out that um, it it pushes out this idea that. Like it's like trans people. It's like a for-profit business, trans people, because they've made more money because more people are transitioning because they have the access to the care. Uh, when the actual solution, if you think that there's a profit problem when it comes to trans people, is like some kind of universal health care, silly goose, you know. <clears throat> you can't show him some grace when he starts crying. You know, because all these feminists, I tell you what, man, mm -hmm. feminists be, be wild. Yeah. yeah, they do be they shopping. Them, by the way. I know right. I can shut up. I'm one of them. Okay, back to Olivia. Olivia. She's a loser feminist yeah. researcher. Who I don't think that anyone who's just not like an obedient kitchen dweller is a feminist. Mm -hmm. he, he throws that as a, quite a broad label. Make their mistakes as they stumble up hills. Jordan's been fascinating. Even, even the creaking there in, this, in Morgan uh, <laughs> Pierce's studio? What the hell? Interview. Thank you very much. But it's so funny that we live in a world where every feminist and their girlfriends talk about men do this, men need to show more emotion, do start Wait, did you say every feminist and their girlfriend? Uh, every feminist and their girlfriends. Every feminist and their girlfriends. I think girlfriends like the friends. Okay. Very much. Okay. But it's so funny that we live in a world where every feminist and their girlfriends talk about men. Do this. Men need to show more emotion. Do start crying uh, about how sad lonely men are. Gay representation. <laughs> Let's see these ones people. I don't even care. I mean, these people don't. No one has. No one has. Telling people that George Pearson is helping you become a man is possibly one of the most embarrassing cell phones. I agree. Yeah, she's right. That or is also not about crying. Nope. Well, the quick question is like, who would you? Uh, who else would you point to? Because I don't. I. I think. Uh, well, to be honest with you, I think Andrew. Uh, excuse me. Jordan Peterson is much better than sex trafficker Tate. Um, much, much better. Much better than that. But like, who is a good positive male role model that young people would would identify with? To be honest with you, I think that Jordan's the probably one of the better examples. Um, as flawed as he is, and honestly, I respect flaws in men, uh, because I'm a flawed man, right? But I respect introspection and, and trying to change that uh, more, though, of course. Um, but like, who's who? Who do you would you say? It's you know, there's not a whole lot of good men. There's a lot of disappointing men. Um, who is it? You know, I mean, is it Ethan? I, I don't. Based on the way that he's acting here, I I don't know if I would say that. Is it Hassan? I don't think that he's particularly genuine. I don't think he cares about anything that he has to say. I, you know, he's, he's very quick to be dismissive and, and judgmental as well. You know, I, I don't know. It's not, certainly not me. <laughs> I'm fat. No, but like, I don't know, man. Like, who's who's somebody that would be considered like I don't know the decent male role model? Uh, John Goodman as Dan Connor, unironic, yes. But I don't know, man. Dan John Goodman. We don't need more John Goodmans. We need more Dan Connor. Dan Connor was a good guy. He was a good guy. He was a good guy. So that was a word of quote tweet. Yeah, it right. should be their fathers, true. But, you know, unfortunately, that uh, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of those around anymore. A lot of deadbeats, pieces of shit. Or or calling him a pussy or a bitch or whatever it is you're saying, actually. Yeah. It's a pretty general statement, so I don't see this supporting your, your claim. This is what I've always done to be true since I was a young man. All this talk about feminists are for young men. I can watch clips of Pearson crying all day. Feminist for Not really a criticism. I mean, he, there's got to be Jordan Pearson crying compilations. There's dynamic he clips. He, he cries readily. Yeah. Not Jordan Pearson literally crying over the plight of insults. That's fair. It doesn't really support your, your argument that people are calling him a bitch or something. No, I, 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 swear, I swear to God. I swear to God. Does Jordan Pearson take estrogen? I can't imagine someone who's forced to have so much testosterone crying this often scientifically. This one maybe supports their claim. The only one. I think they're being ironic, though. Uh, they're joking. Sure, scientifically does, is fine. Or is you it? could just say that that one is bad. Um, you know, you don't have to agree to everything that's against Jordan Pearson. Say scientifically. So what's the deal? Is this joke okay or is it harming men? Fucking idiot. Don't ask. Literally, literally no consistency in your arguments. But right. anyway, so let's just say this one, you guys, I guess it has no likes. So you even cut out the engagement uh, uh, intentionally. Need, why would you need men's rights activists? You guys are seeing it right now. That's what I swear to God. The only thing that's keeping me going every day is the knowledge George Pierce is going to put out another strange video of him crying about a weird verse in the Bible about how young men are pressed by blue jeans or something. <laughs> really? That's supporting your thesis? That's a funny tweet. That's just a joke, brother. I don't know what's your problem, bitch. You crying here about a joke, loser, idiot. Pathetic. Wanting to be more vulnerable and sink healings. I swear to God. If I choose between food, water, and videos, George Pierce crying, I'd probably start. <laughs> wow. That is offensive stuff, man. Feminism has gone too far. And this is the worst stuff you could find. Y'all don't really want it. No. Y'all don't really want it. Jordan Pearson crying makes my day. Because time to time, no. whenever that happens, y'all weaponize that bitch. Yeah. Trust. Okay. It's not I that don't. a man is crying. It's that an asshole is crying. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. A serial sure. sober. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Ethan just makes it so bad. They're like, yeah, it's because he's an asshole. Okay. Good point. Yeah. He cries too much. Okay. Well, that's, again, like that would, <laughs> that doesn't help your argument to say he's crying too much. That just makes you, it means you seem a little silly there. Uh, but okay. Here's our, here's our boy. Uh, sorry, not beautiful. <laughs> no amount of authoritarian tolerance is going to change that. Yeah, dude. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's too damn far. Shit, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> sorry, beautiful. Like, what the fuck, dude? This guy, he's just a hateful fucking misogynist. Yeah. He's he's your guy. Guy. Uh, what did Jordan Pearson say about Martha Stewart on the cover? Because that shit was, that thing was thangin', boy. Pretty weird. 
Weird man. So the way they're framing this is like laughably silly. And by the way, as I don't weaponize men crying. I think people are touched when men cry. In general, people find it endearing. Mm -hmm. Find do me show me a whole bunch of examples, or even two examples of a man who's having a genuine heartfelt moment crying and it being used against you. Cried. Uh, I mean, I, what are we just generally speaking to men crying? I mean, there are some girls who will berate a man for crying for sure. Um, there are some girls who will, you know, a man can be emotional or might open up to them in a relationship and they might berate them. There's men that do the same to women. Just don't do that. There is such thing as like crying too much, right? But there are reasonable times to cry. Relatively recently on the show, and I don't think I, I, don't, think, I don't think anybody uh, actually, held that against you. Actually, the only people did was as, a joke as long as you don't cry at the expense of like your strength. Like you can cry. Like, I, I, I I've, I've never cried before, of course. But in the moments that I've uh, I dreamed about how I cried, my wife doesn't lose respect for me because when I need to be strong, I'm strong for her, right? And that's really what it comes down to. It's okay to be vulnerable as long as you're still strong. So. The chestnut mm -hmm. song, and that was too far. Feminism was too far. <laughs> too far. Yeah, I got the chestnuts. I got a good one. Uh, Michael Jordan crying, and mm -hmm. it became a meme. Right, that's true. Feminism went too far with that yeah, one. That's fucked up. Hey, dumbass and leech. Here's only some large dumbass body of research that suggests a strong relationship between misogynistic humor and R word essay and crimes against women. Hold on, hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That does, that's impossible. That's totally contrary. Because I believe in I believe in climate change. Right. So how are you so getting hit with this fucking thing. random? Effective sexist humor and types of R word on men self-reported R word pro proclivity and victim blaming. Oh, Talking so gender equality, subversive humor against sexism motivates collective action. Men and women with weaker feminist identity. Sure. Lights on at the end of the party. Our lads, mags, mainstreaming dangerous sexism. I mean, I, I don't know what this oh, is. Oh shit! Get him. There's probably. I mean, never mind. There might be some studies out there that find the opposite. I don't. The, I, don't. I, I mean, I, don't, I, I, I would, would be though. a little bit surprised if there was. There's but a study that said, I don't know all jokes, be, jo jokes, be, <laughs> jokes are harmless jokes and they're harmless. harmless. Yeah. All jokes be harmless. The point is, is that it was being presented as if this. What's happening right now? What the fuck? The Jordan crying thing? Is that what you're talking about? I hit the button. Why? Why? Wait, don't Wait. I guess it. I. Uh, why do you have the I don't think I needed to, but you guys were giving me cricket, so I panicked. <laughs> you didn't say I'm anything. <laughs> I was just saying, I'll just say it again. Just say it again, because I, I don't. I don't think women are the, just to be serious for a I don't think women are the ones perpetuating, like specifically feminists out here being like, look at we guys, Michael Jordan. It's like a sportsman. Yeah, no, right. No, I know. Yeah, I know. Like, 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 you, guys, like, like, you guys gave me cricket. We didn't react. Right? I mean, I want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's what I expect. Thank you. All right. So good. So good. I think the issue is that they exclusively blame some uh, for why men are lonely or don't feel that they can be vulnerable when there are many factors. I mean, it could be one, but. It, they make it seem like they're the only one, I guess, maybe. That's what I expect from my uh, friendly neighborhood feminist loser. Yeah. yeah, like in this instance where it's like, oh, women. Oh, feminists. I thought you were for guys, but you're not. And it's like, well, you know, feminism isn't really for men, but it can potentially help young men, especially ones that may not necessarily align with, with the traditional idea of a masculine man. Right? Hey, thank you so much, Linda, for the six months medium gut. Hey, Papa, got six months woo. How you doing? Yeah. All right, can, you, uh, can you guys hear that? We gotta get the four fixed in here. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that was... Um... <laughs> That was the most unneeded panic <laughs> button so far. Okay. I had to do it. I got mad yeah, with that. I had to yeah, do it. Idiot. And, and, and Frank, to go back to what you were saying, uh, yes, I, I agree. And it's interesting that, um, yeah, I, I do think that the societal pressure to be a man and toughen up and not cry is definitely coming from other men primarily. I, I don't know why they have this argument that like men, women don't have Sure. Like, let's be very clear. Both men and women uphold the society that we live in. You could say, like, well, men started it. We all were born into this society, and everybody will uphold in different capacities, different uh, standards. So, like, let's not just say it's all men. I understand, like, well, men created it, maybe, but I, check this out. I'm 33, and people are at least 34 years old. Um, we've been around for at least 34 years old, 34 years, because I'm 33. So I didn't create it. I was born into this particular system, right? And so, like, yeah, maybe, like, men and women both are upholding the, you know, the the uh the sussy buckery whatever the fuck the patriarchy excuse me <clears throat> absolutely for sure i i found that term to be just so cringe but uh yeah for sure why uh, yeah but damn getting dumpstered i'm losing so hard today it's so smelly oh fuck um but like we can't just blame everything on men right let's just be clear about that i mean because we could we could do that if we wanted to but we probably shouldn't Actually want I don't men. think it helps to, to say that all men are basically aligned with uh, the creators of a, of, a, of a flawed system. And so because of that, like, because they come because then like once you kind of like other, uh, you know, uh, I guess other men in this capacity, you start blaming men for like all these problems of them. They don't have like they didn't start it. Um, it becomes more about pointing and saying that bad group is bad rather than saying like that ideology is bad. Right. That's a, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, when your when your ideology focuses more on breaking down another group rather than building your own, I think that's where things have gotten pretty out of freaking hand. Um. So, hot take. Weird and un, it's not really reflected in the real world. 
Um, what do you mean emotional? Like unhinged? Or do you mean like someone who's comfortable talking about how they feel about things? Right. That's, that, that's I think, an important distinction to make. I, I, women, I don't think, want emotionally unstable men. Right. And I don't think I that's men that's emotionally far. unstable women right. either. I, I, want, kind of I want unstable right. women. I thought this comment was pretty good. They're easier to manipulate. Behind their friendly demeanor, they are rarely easier to manipulate. Ever sympathetic to women or LGBTQ. The platform and content are all geared towards men like Pearson's audience who struggle to find validity in any non male centered cause. The central theme of modern women bad can be seen through their channel. They just pander to male loneliness while subtly implanting centrist takes about SJWs. Yeah, that's pretty spot on. Maybe. All right, so now we've kind of set the atmosphere. So let's get into Humble responding word, directly so. uh, to, to their recent video. So Damn. me and Hassan talked about them briefly. On it was actually be Hassan and I. Last Thursday. Okay. But, by the way, just yeah. before we get into this quick aside, I'm, I'm seeing right. in the chat again, people are having their... YouTube's having like serious problems today. Oh, no. The app is like nonstop uh, yeah. crashing for people. For me, it seems chat. like it's fine on desktop. I've seen lots of people say I'm watching on desktop, no problem. There seems to be a problem with the uh, mobile app. Let me open and see. Uh -oh. live. Yeah, it's working fine on my phone. Raid Shadow uh, Legends is taking all YouTube waves, bandwidth. Like, I, I'm we are coming in waves! We are coming in waves! I beat you, Zach. You motherfucker. <laughs> uh, funny stuff. All right, so let's, let's, let's keep it going, because I wasn't kidding when I said I have a lot to get to. Like, a lot. We're almost done, though, right? No. Uh, we still have for two hours. We're not almost done. Oh, God. Look at the document. Bro, we go hard in the paint, all right? Really? Listen, uh, listen. Wait, they have a whole document on this ship? This kind of seems like it was just thrown together last minute. Like I said, uh, uh, Babylon Reach uh, season is open. <laughs> If I'm gonna talk about it, I'm just gonna talk about it. Crying Jordan, the other I'll try, to, I'll try to pick up the pace though. There's a fucking lot left. All right, let's There's more left. Let's go, let's go. 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 let us go let us go let us go let us go how long is 290? I gotta wrap up tomorrow's show at some point. All right, I mean, no, that's five hours. We could do five hours today, no problem. Easy, <laughs> easy, baby. All right, let's let's try to move on now. Hey, can you please not make fun of Jordan, uh, Ian? Uh, please, if feminism has done enough to that poor man. What is the origin of that image? Can you put that back up right now? So stupid. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's like a stock photo of a, of a man going through it. All right, so let's get. So yeah, me and Hassan talked briefly about them on Thursday. I was venting a little bit yeah, about so what pieces, pieces of shit they are. Sussy. And of course, as they usually do, they made a 26-minute video about like us talking about them for a brief amount of time called. Either Glenn Son threaten us with war and go on an unhinged rant. So let's just, I'm gonna react to this video now. Okay, no, I'm sorry, y'all guys get in front of the camera and talk like your His definition of unhinged. How far into oh, We're like halfway. Holy fuck. He's just saying that trans women don't belong in women's sports. The, Whoa! Point. And don't make me roll that fucking video again, brother. Well, Ethan, do you think that trans women. I really want to know, does Ethan think that trans women should go in women's sports? Like, what is he actually. I don't think I've ever seen. Maybe I'm just an idiot and I forgot, but I don't think I've seen him actually make that point before, what he thinks about that topic. They're always constantly trying to downplay their transphobia, like blatant transphobia. Maybe, hey, a, hey. maybe. maybe a, <laughs> sorry. Maybe, but what's your perspective? Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, I said, a dude who just who just transitioned this morning shouldn't be able to compete against women. What do you think about trans women in sports, Ethan? Be a, be a, come on, be an adult. Tell us. Don't make me roll it. Don't make me fucking roll it, bro. I'm rolling it. Roll it. So, uh, I've been banned from. You did more than that. Be honest. You did more than that, dude. Be honest with us. Be honest. Don't be a coward now. I never really dissected this, but I love this moment where he's like, y'all, nobody really cares about y'all. Okay, anyway, everyone's talking about you, but like, it's all your own fault. Okay, let's talk about you. The reason why folks talk about y'all is because you guys put yourselves out all the time and the constant demanding change for everybody. You did more than that, bro. Don't be a coward. Don't be dishonest. Oh my god, sorry. So if that's the point they're making, it's an interesting point because like it almost is kind of true if you interpret it a, a specific way. Conservatives are fucking obsessed with trans people, but nobody's really super concerned about trans issues. You should be in a way that is affirming of trans people, but for the most part, most people in their day day to day lives aren't really worried about it, except for the people who are like caught up in like unhinged conservative conspiracy theories. Because conservatives have nothing else to go by now, um, except for trans bad, gay bad. L literally last li literally last year, they were trying to ban gay marriage. They were trying to overturn the Supreme Court ruling so that they could make it so that gay people couldn't get married in their own states. Trying to make it seem like, no, that's reasonable. You could still have it in your state now. That's stupid. Separation church and state is literally uh, anti-American to try to stop gay people from getting married. And now since they can't do that, they obsess with drag queens. I understand that there are some inappropriate drag shows, but overall, who gives a fuck about some dude in a dress reading to your kid? Stop. It's really not a big issue. Um, this kind of shit is like not impacting anything, and they're obsessed with that, and, and trans people, and this and the other thing. It's, it's obsessive like nonsense, and they're not proposing any other ideas. It's not like they're like, trans people, let's talk about that. And also, uh, let's deal with homelessness, poverty, you know, blah, 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 blah. I said that I've proven with scientific certainty that they've done more than just say trans people shouldn't compete in sports. Thank you. I rest my case. Also, global climate change is real. Science is gay. Science is gay, also. Whatever that means. Um, okay. I accidentally closed the document. Ah, the boss is over. I don't know. Record scratch moment. I sent in this word. I got it. I'm just trying to Okay, so let's keep it going then.
So people disagreed with me on this take, but here's what they what the Ethan seemed to uh, Ethan's desire is to emasculate Evan and preach. And people are saying that that is linked to some level of like homophobia, which I understand where that comes from. I mean, you know, again, I'll bring it up. I brought it up before. He was talking about James Charles's booty hole <clears throat> being loose, right? Little joke. But then somebody came in, a gay person, and was like, hey, Ethan, I find this problematic, which is perfectly reasonable for them to find problematic, of course. Uh, but the biggest issue is that Ethan kept berating them over their sexual preference. Oh, do you like, uh, do you like, do you, oh, are you a bottom? Do you, are you power bottom? And when the guy was like, it was set a very firm, solid, respectable boundary. If I don't want to talk about that, Ethan kept pushing past that boundary, uh, which you could argue was sexist because he would never have done that to a woman. Let's be absolutely real. <clears throat> I don't think that he would have sat there and asked a woman if she likes to get, if she likes to ride dick with her asshole. <sighs> Let's be real. Let's be real. Which kind of sticks in line with the inf in infantilizing women take with, uh, you know, rich but famous men can't date, can't consensually engage with, or uh, can't hook up with with non-rich women or whatever. Um, as well as the focus on the Amran situation being himself feeling good and morally virtuous over her actual concern because he has to protect the damsel in distress. <sighs> that being said, I believe where Ethan was actually coming from was, hey, I perceive these two as manosphere, which they are somewhat manosphere adjacent, and so I think that emasculating them and would be a big insult so it's one of those things where like if i called steven crowder gay it would insult him because he thinks gay is bad right or something like that or ted cruz whatever you want to say whereas i love gay i love i love the gays there are gay people are all right gay people love me if i'm being honest with you gay men or i could make an only fans career tomorrow millionaire gay men it's true I still today have gay men DMing me about how sexy they think I am. Um, and I like it. I like the attention, to be honest with you. I, pr I appreciate the attention. I appreciate that attention. Yeah. Which gets into another interesting conversation. And I'm sorry I'm going on tangent, but do you ever see these red pill manosphere guys? And they'll say something along the lines of like, oh, women have it so easy in dating because it's easy for women to have sex. I was like, that's interesting because women may, it might be easy for them, but they want relationships, right? So it's easy for them to have sex, which men want, but it's not easy for them to get relationships. But still, it's easy for them. That's their privilege. But it's very easy for men to have, to have sex too. Get to fuck a gay guy. Oh, well, I don't want that kind of stuff. I don't want that. No, just in the same way that women don't want to sleep around. You generally, some women do, they want relationships the same way you don't want to fuck a guy. Right? So just because you might have the privilege to be able to do a thing doesn't mean, well, that's a, doesn't mean that that's a thing that you want to do. So it doesn't really make it a privilege, does it? <sighs> In this capacity. Boom. Hold on, what was that response? I think, I think it demasculates them, and that's why I like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yo, they said action, and then he did that. <laughs> it's not like he was shot or something. Like, ah! They're yeah, so fake. They're such phonies. That, that dude literally said action, and he goes, ah! But anyway, listen. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. They're right. I'm actually going to eat crow on that one. It, it's not a good name. And after doing a little bit of research, they do seem comfortable in their masculinity. So I assume that they were like other red pill guys who are like deeply, deeply insecure in their masculinity and are always trying to, you know, act macho and stuff, overcompensating. But I was totally wrong about them. So I'm going to agree wow. with everybody that peaches and cream, not a good name. And I'll even take it a step further. I didn't know that Fresh and Fit called them apples and peaches. And that Ooh, just makes me embarrassed and ashamed of myself. Cringe. Like they, they changed their channel icon to peaches and cream. That's how not offended they were about it. And that's fair. It wasn't a good. It wasn't a good. Ethan, but, Dan, Peaches and cream sounds <laughs> sexy. So he's apologizing because he didn't come up with a good insult, or because he was trying to emasculate them. It reminds me of that BTK song. <laughs> that's what it always makes me think of. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking back. I'm officially taking back the Peaches and Cream moniker. Just rewind time. And we are officially endorsing Babel and Reach. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So you guys, you guys definitely got me on that one. But what's super interesting is they go on and they totally lose me and see if you guys can spot what I'm talking about. Here now, now listen carefully to our boy Reach, who, in his namesake, but he's reaching straight into some doo doo, straight into a flaming <laughs> bag of doo doo. Oh, you know what? They didn't date that LGBTQ mumbo jumbo, whatever the fuck. And then hold the fucking phone. When did let I? Him go. Okay, let, let, him go. Go. let him go. The first chance you get to weaponize that bitch, you do it. Then you go, Ethan. I'm soft. Okay, you a bitch. You a whole bitch. You and you instrumentalize all that shit. That's what you do. Oh no, gay this, gay that, equality, all that good stuff. But the minute you want to weaponize this, I tell you, all the people from the LGBTQ community, just notice this shit from people that say that they're allies to you. Okay, hmm. watch how they move to insult other motherfuckers. Yeah, That's the you. Are you done? It's an insult for them. When well, you got a bunch of people on your side, um, and they're like, yeah, man. Some gay people think that being called gay is an insult too. You know, I don't know. At least the gay people I know, they'll call people other gay people <laughs> stuff. <laughs>
Not me. I'm a casual observer. Uh, can we? Can someone cut him off? Uh, preach. Maybe someone should. <clears throat> uh, what? Well, 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 Bro, you, you probably taking it. Preach, you gotta get a break. Preach. They taking what you are. This is a button moment. <laughs> they taking what you are. Bro, when did I say anything about gay people? Nobody called you gay. Dude. Nobody Nobody called you gay. This is the biggest fucking self report <laughs> possibly of all time. I said that they're soft, and I wanted to demasculate them, and he interpreted that as me calling him gay. You gay? And went on an entire tirade about how I secretly hate gay people. But why is it that you think that being gay is synonymous with soft and unmasculine? Can you explain that to me? Because I don't see any way to interpret this. And by the way, they both were there, edited it, and kept this in. They th he thought he was doing something here. Explain to me how this I is kind of the craziest, most homophobic rant I've ever seen. <laughs> how the fuck did you just, how did you just do that? Uh, one more time. You get to weaponize that bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Thank oh, you, Hassan. Really like not good. Okay, I think, I think it demasculates them, and that's why I like it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, what Ethan's saying is, is correct. Like, it's not, it doesn't suggest that they're gay in some capacity. It just, it's an attempt to demasculate them. A failed attempt to do so, but that's the attempt. And somehow it turned into, like, a gay conversation, which was weird. <laughs> He's doing the gay voice that you got canceled for, by the way, I think. I didn't do that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> okay, well, Rich, okay, you're right. Rich Lux, if you're watching, here's your man, here's your real man right here. Yeah. He's doing the gay voice. You get him. Yes, I was waiting for that. Dan, Rich. is jealous of me? Dan is jealous of me? Rich, if you're watching, get us a sound drop if you're saying, I can't stand Babylon Reach, and we'll play that on the show. And Dan ruined my heart. Yeah, well, Dan did block me from being able to to comment on uh, on on the podcast. So, you know, L Dan, am I right, guys? Lan. But frankly, I probably would have blocked myself as well. So. Disney trip. <laughs> I love him for that, to be honest. Like, Dan? Uh, but it's hypocritical when Ethan actually uses being gay bottom as an insult. Uh, maybe. Let me sit on that for a little bit. You may, maybe that's right. Maybe you have a little bit of a a point. Um, maybe. I don't know. Why do you say that? I want to think about that. Uh, I disagree. Demasculating or removing a man's masculinity is like calling someone a sissy. But it doesn't make them gay. Just because that we we associate, so that's the problem is that we associate like you guys are associating um, being emasculated with being gay. Like right? that's kind of like that's in and of itself is like misogynistic. When being less masculine doesn't make you more gay. Um, <clears throat> maybe, yeah, maybe. Sissy is not homophobic and so pop out. Well, he's not calling anybody s uh, sissy, so. Uh, but you get my point. He's he called them he masculating them isn't the same thing as, as yeah. Um yeah, okay. But, jealous of me? I love that for them. So that's emasculate them and that's gonna be bro, So gay men can't be masculine. Right? That's literally what he's saying. He's equating he's, he's equating masculinity with You ever seen any of these bears, bro? They'll they'll break you in half, brother. <laughs> I haven't seen you know what I mean? What the fuck? And soft. All gay men are emasculate and soft. They straight up just said that. Also, just, can I draw attention to the irony of him wearing a Rage Against the Machine shirt yeah. while he's going off on this homophobic yeah, no. rant? <laughs> Noah, Noel Diesel is a, is a very good example of a very masculine uh, a gay guy. Um, what was it? Noel O E L D Diesel. Right? This, is, uh, this is a gay person. He's a gay, right? He's a gay guy. Very masculine. Very sexy. Very Sorry. Very not to me. <laughs> Explicitly left this like communist rock group. Like, why, why are you wearing that? They, they would not like you. I'm curious what Tom wrote. Like the, 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 there's so much irony kicked into the scene. Yeah. He goes on about Ethan pretends to support you, but he hates you, and he'll use you against someone at at the drop of a hat. It's like, Strop when the fuck did I say hat. anything about gay, bro? That's what you're doing right now. The irony is like it's, it's powerful. Well, you know? I mean, you generally align yourself uh, like it. it, it You do generally try to align yourself with like like actual political left ideology, which is fine. Um, because I do too, of course, and I make like edgy jokes about like everything, and I do advocate for everything. But like, yeah, I mean, you can tell that my jokes are not like not poorly intentioned. Um, but then it does seem like maybe sometimes you pick and choose whether you're like a, an advocate or not. I guess I don't know, you know. But you are effectively like a loose political commentator. You have a political commentary show with Hassan. You're trying to be one. Um, yeah. I think that's what maybe they're speaking to there. But again, this instance is emasculating somebody doesn't mean that they're gay, so they're kind of missing the mark. Oh, it's mother hold on. It's funny how motherfuckers yeah, I think the is like, actually gay, yeah. Oh, you know what? Gay this, gay that, LGBTQ, mumbo jumbo, whatever the fuck. And then the first chance. Mumbo jumbo. No, he goes, he goes, nobody really honestly cares about this stuff. <laughs> he's what he's saying. Trust me, nobody actually genuinely cares about the LGBTQ. He's only tokening you. And this is proof of what I've always known. Nobody cares about this shit. You get to weaponize that bitch, you do it. Then you go, Ethan. I'm soft. Okay, you a bitch. You a whole bitch. I'll be a bitch, but you're a fucking. You are just like coconuts in Barbados right now. <laughs> you talk, who are you talking to? No, he doesn't. What? What do you mean? I know you're not talking to me. Like, no, this really, this really just sums up the whole kind of thesis of this: is that they, they love 
They love to make something up and then get mad about it. It's there the straw man. Yeah, like that, that's the classic move. Is 100%. Something that yeah. didn't happen and then, and then go on a rant about it. And then to their fans, it seems reasonable because they're like, Roll oh, if he did say that, then that's, then yeah. But, uh, penetration. Actually, I didn't mention anything about Gabe. I, I mean, have you seen Hunger FF? That guy's masculine shit. He takes hands like elbow deep up his ass. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. That man's got a prolapse the size of a goddamn Mount Everest. Yeah. Wish my wife would. He's got the, the Mount Everest of prolapses. Yeah. King. He is a king. Yeah. But, uh, wow, this is amazing. This is, this is really amazing stuff. Uh, it's incredible. Is he wearing a holster, by the way? What's going on there? I've been wearing that the whole time. I don't know. Right moment. It's hard to tell. I don't want to put that on him because. I'd be surprised if he was, but I don't know what else. What are those suspenders? Uh, not suspenders. I think it's in Canada. You can't. It's not this. You can't really. Well, personally, I like when I would. I used to wear suspenders a lot for work because to keep my pants up better than a belt. I would wear them over my shirt. You know, it's kind of part of the look. Kind of part of the look. Uh, the uh, the look. You know. No, the pretty loosey goosey uh, with. Oh, they are. You're giving Ethan too much credit. LOL. He clearly meant to demasculate them and even called them peaches and cream again, calling people fruits is coming home for that. Maybe that one. The, the peaches and cream is uh, maybe that one again. Emasculating somebody is not the same thing as calling them gay, but the peaches and cream maybe. I don't know if I would get that woke. I think if I had to get woke enough to say that he was calling them peaches and cream to call them gay, I would have to get woke enough to think that city by Karen's racist. But you might be right. You might be right. I think it has to do with the fact that it rhymes, um, and it's. Uh, but maybe, I mean, maybe it rhymes. You know. Um, peaches and cream. But then again, peaches and cream, that reminds me of R&B. Maybe he's just being racist. He's just like peaches and cream because they do like R&B, you know? Because that's like an R&B. You know, like when I, when I think R&B, I think of peaches and cream. I don't, I think that that's fair. Whipped cream, peaches, condos in Manhattan. <clears throat> Baby girl, what's happening? Right? So, um, yeah, I think we're getting a little too woke here. <laughs> I, I can't tell if it's a peaches and cream doesn't flow at Avon preach. That's actually a good point. I literally didn't even think about it like that. I'm not even kidding. I was just like, okay, that makes sense. But it actually does not work. You're right. We're getting too we're getting too into the names. It is a bad nickname, actually. You got a good point there. Peaches and cream Avon preach. Yeah, maybe that doesn't that doesn't work pretty well. Um, pre, peaches does not uh, rhyme with Abbott. That's a good point. That is an excellent point. Uh, R&B root beer root and beer that's what I meant I wasn't talking about um, black R&B music I was talking about root beer um, yeah what it is. also I just want to say he does seem very sensitive to being called gay I didn't say that and you just got like way sent off brother his little strappies make him feel masculine his little strappies he doesn't need anything in it when I do my strappies real tight it makes my biceps look big what it's just like a weird comment um crazy and before y'all try to be like, oh, they're classing me, bro, y'all are millionaires, stop. Fix your floor. You got no excuse. <laughs> you just suck at making videos. Receive your views. Yeah, yeah stop it. Stop it. You like all that shit. That's what you do. <laughs> oh, no. Gay this, gay that. Equal. What? Did you see the City Bike guy's new receipts? He didn't take the bike to go home until 8 o'clock. What a fucking asshole. Whatever. I don't care about City Bike Karen shit anymore. I'm over it. Enough of that. He, he, all that good he's stuff. doing something. We have to stop. Right now. Straight up, cut people. Maybe tell me if you're not going to look at you. People that say that they're allies to you. Okay. Watch how he moves and talks about you. Who are you talking to? Is he an insult for them? When you got a bunch of people on your side, no. and they're like, yeah, yeah, oh, what, what's wrong? Yeah. This man just built like a whole Lord of the Rings multiverse <laughs> from me saying he's soft. You probably taking it yet? What? <laughs> they take it? Uh, there's only uh, one canon universe in the Lord of the Rings. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'll back it up. Legendarium. Yeah, this man just went from soft to you take it in the ass. Dude, chill, bro. Chill. Well, you did just talk about prolapsing Abba's anus, I believe, if I if I heard that correctly just before. So maybe he kind of guessed that one correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he talking about how Abba has a big prolapse anus from having a fist up there? I swear to God, I heard that. So maybe he might have actually read you pretty well there. He's a little bit of a self-report there, brother. Oh, preach. You, or Abba, you better step in on your man, dude. You got no... What you are? They're taking what you are and then using it against another person. Homie's just on his phone. He's like, bro, I, I don't care. <laughs> they, they react to the videos on the phone, to be fair. Yeah. Nah, he's browsing Twitter. He's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> here he goes again. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, they, they react to it on the phone. No, 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 no. Let's just also appreciate it. their way to insult us is to make us sound more feminine. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Never said anything about feminine. I said demasculate. Did you see how? That would be generally feminine, I guess. Um, but okay. Ignorant. Whatever, who cares? You are? <clears throat> demasculate doesn't mean feminine. Yeah, like that's on the sliding scale of masculinity and femininity, I would say that like it's one side and then the other. Um, so if you demasculate somebody, you would increase the femininity, unless they're two separate sliding scales and you could have a proportionality of femininity. Men. I don't know. I guess it's oh, this is dude. I don't even like. I don't want to engage this deep into a in, into this in a Ethan Klein video. You know what I mean? As I lose my balloons game. Can I, I have to say something. Okay. You demasculate isn't a word. Demasculate. Thank you. Yeah, you said in the original video. Demasculate. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm fucking not paying you to correct me. 
<laughs> during this live show. All right, Sorry. I was, I was trying to work together. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to follow their advice. Well, loser loser loser. On Reddit. Loser. I'm trying to follow their advice and not surround myself with, uh, I guess he would be following their advice, whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's feminine, so it's soft, so it's bad. That's you! I don't even care! Dude. I don't care, but that's you! They gave Ethan the idea of peaches and cream one. That's what you do! I don't care. I just gonna rant about it for three minutes about some transphobic, misogynistic freak shit. I don't care! I just called you soft! And here you are! Fully triggered! We don't care! I know, I know, I know, I believe you. I believe them. They don't care, I believe them. No, you guys don't care. Absolutely. <clears throat> I think it's funny when someone says, like, people, it's funny because the red pillars do the same thing. Yeah! This, this is my favorite. They, yeah. You are red pillars. You are red pillars. They, they, this is part of their shit. This is their shit. They're like, no, 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 we're above all that. No, you guys are red pillars. Hey, don't try to make you sound more feminine, less feminine energy. You do the exact same Never thing. Never said feminine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pillars are two sides of the and again, they just associated feminine with being soft. Or, it seems to think weak, weak, and soft is a feminine feature to them. But I never, I never said feminine. So, I'm not sure where this is all coming from. Same point. When it comes down to it, they get upset, they use the exact same language. Notice, we never said okay. that it's a feminine type of dude. I didn't say that about you. He could have done that. No, because I don't anything wrong. If you're a, a feminine man, this is like a straw man of all straw men. I, you know, what the fuck are you talking? Who are you talking to? Who are you fucking talking to? Yeah. You know, yeah. How much yeah. you any of these virtues? When it comes down to it, when they gotta get dirty, they use the exact same ammunition. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Are you done now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You should have erased that whole part. <laughs> Why did you keep that in? <laughs> and then, of course, this is like the classic tactic of Ethan said something offensive about gay people once therefore all of his opinions are invalid. Uh, again, I didn't even mention gay, anything gay at all, which makes me again wonder why That's this is true. here. But I'll play it because, um, what is this? Oh, I see. Sorry, I lost my spot in the dark. Um, so I don't, I, I'm not afraid to confront my, my wrongs. That's quote controversies. That's you know, rewatching this clip yeah. is it's very embarrassing. It's very dumb. It's very offensive, and right. I don't know why. Let's I see what Ethan, what Ethan's problem with the clip is. Let me see if he gets because last on the Amaranth thing, he didn't seem to understand why he was uh, the criticism came from. So let's see if he knows. He's, let's see if he gets it here. I, I, I can't imagine why I did that, and it is coming from a homophobic place, and I, yep. I greatly regret it. And I'm, I'm actually happy to talk about phones. it as often as I need to, right? To to make that clear. So yeah. after not yeah. mentioning anything gay, they're apparently trying to prove that I'm homophobic. Times, I think yeah. I think one that comes to mind is Jordan Peterson that you described as probably being someone that would be a bot on. That's the one I can think of off the top of my head. But like I've heard. I'm just showing this in the interest of like. Being fair, okay? I did this. Times when you say like, oh, this is gonna be being transparent. You can't always tell like who's the top, who's the bottom. I'm gonna be offensive really if I say I'm like, like oh, so he's probably the bottom. Is that the problem? To make Absolutely, it's offensive. Um, because the game already, you have to you have to deal with certain assumptions about femininity and masculinity. I mean, it is fun though. I just that's not what I'm asking. I have to be a little more conscious of it. I, so would you consider yourself a top or a bottom, or you don't do that? The labels. And, I mean, this is all peace and love, and with respect, even it's not your business. But you have a preference one way or the other. But that's so you can tell which is the bad Ethan based on which one is more overweight. <laughs> Now, you might just think that I'm being fat phobic, but if you actually pay attention to media, you would realize that anytime they want to make a character bad, the quickest way to do so is to give them some kind of thing that's considered a character flaw, whether it's a some kind of a uh, something something that would be considered non congruent. They could be overweight, might be missing a limb, they might be ugly in some capacity. And that's generally how we represent villains. Look at any movie with a villain, Ursula, BBW, <clears throat> Captain Hook. She he does got no hand. Um, what's another movie, Disney movie? The Lion King. It's got a scar. Um, Pinocchio. I think the guy's the, the, the bad guy's like a pedophile, right? Like he tries to bring him to Good Boy Island or something really creepy. Um, who, uh, what, give me, I don't know any other Disney. I know there are a lot of the, Fro, uh, Fro, well, Frozen is not really that, that transparent. It's more of a historical thing. And her, Ursula could get it. Though, for sure, doggy. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Let's keep. Let's continue. Another dangerous assumption too. Can you know, I guess? Don't. You tell me if it's right. If I guess it's right. Embarrassing. Yeah, you know, it doesn't mean you're like our beta. You yeah. be alpha and also still be on the bottom. Uh, but but if you were, does it does the poop pass like any differently from before? Is it all normal functions? Like, yeah. I, I get it doesn't leak out, but I wonder if it just comes out a little. It's got to come okay, out a little so, easier. Anyway, embarrassing. I don't like watching it, but there it is. Just being fair. Now back to them. Why did they show this? Oh wait. It's got well, what's about? I, I just I'm, I'm just curious. Like, why do you find that embarrassing? What is it specifically? Because it's totally possible that Ethan's come to terms like, hey, that was kind of shitty because, again, he harassed a guy about his sexual preferences. That's cool. But, like, I feel like when people apologize for a thing, it's good to explain why. Why don't you like that anymore? Like, what do you feel was so bad about that? Uh, you know, what's the, you know, that's where I'm kind of at more than anything else. Like, what is it? Ursula can't get to do it. Anything. And this is trying to prove, well, prove a point of yeah. something I never said. Right. That's their, they're the straw man. Yes. I right. guess he's not going to go on for five it. minutes talking about something I never fucking said. But, um, yeah, this is, this is a tactic where people go, look at this thing that Ethan's apologized for and talked ad nauseum about and, learn, and hopefully learned and grown from. Uh, but here, here, here's Has he, though? Has he talked specifically about how he was harassing that guy? Or no? I, I don't remember that specifically. Maybe I'm just wrong. But it would be good to bring it up here again because he doesn't sound like he's, he's not giving us an explanation. He apologizes in an episode. Okay, I understand that he apologizes, but, like, what does he apologize for? Like, what is the specific thing? I don't really remember that. Um, you know? That's my question. If he never gave an a reason why, then like it's like, what does the apology really mean? 
you know if i fart uh, you know what i mean like uh, yeah i would want to know the specific thing potato um, chip super chatted four dollars <laughs> and 99 cents ursula is the reason i love larger women but she could get 100 percent thousand percent brother thousand percent i agree with you a thousand percent which means that's a thousand plus a hundred percent times a hundred percent which is a lot of ten a hundred thousand percent that he did therefore opinions uh, invalid about anything forever nice <laughs> Because I'm saying, like, I don't really care. Like, call pieces of cream, apples, and tea, whatever. And the reason you do it, I think nicknames doing. like that are funny. You guys constantly police other people's language. Talk about this is transphobic. Bro, you gotta chill out. They really called you soft. Not that serious. Okay, so uh, then he goes on to say uh, that the uh, internet beef thing is cringy. Mm, that's interesting. Well, bro, have you heard yourself? Thing about Abba and preach that they don't know about me. They, they haven't. Uh, they don't bother me enough yet. But I'll tell you this. <laughs> but I will. This I'm is a joke moment. And, right. and if you want, if you want to do the war thing, that's my favorite thing in the world. Uh, this is just so cringy. It just is so, dude. This really just reinforces the vigilante justice thing. If you want to go to war, motherfucker, I'll go to war. It's like, come on, why, why? But I'm oh, they're, they're just they're, they're pathetic. They're liars. They're dishonest, and they're phonies. Phonies. They're not even genuine. That's the thing, right? Here, look yeah. at this. So I, I hope that I'm proving that statement. But uh, I will admit again, I, guess, I got a little carried away. I, I agree. It's a little cringy the way I was talking about it. I get, you know, I get into this whole this war thing is kind of a meme on the channel and the whole crazy Ethan Goblin mode Ethan's uh, kind of a meme. But I, I'll agree that everything it's everything's just a joke. I get into this whole this war thing is kind of a meme on the channel and the whole crazy Ethan Goblin mode Ethan is kind of a meme. But I, I'll. I have to. I have to just be thinking. I my. Um, I have to be thinking. I'm too much of who the fuck I am or something. There's. It's. I, okay. Trisha steals my podcast. <laughs> Ethan uh, says whitewashing after I bring it up in like a one like a video two days ago. Now he's talking about Goblin mode. If am I, I am I I have to just be going fucking crazy, right? Like it's not me. Like it's just it's just all coincidence. Did I coin goblin mode or did maybe Ethan did? Or like it just feels like there's too many things. Maybe I don't watch this stuff enough, but it's like hitting me in a weird way. Is do I have a secret watcher? Um I don't know, dude. There's no way. Could you imagine? Like, nobody likes my content except for, like, fucking Trisha and Ethan or something. Uh, Trisha's podcast name is Oversharing. It's my wife and I's podcast name. Okay. He co he's been copying me. He's trying to steal me. He's taking my flow. Well, you know what? At the beginning of the segment, I said that I was the more masculine Ethan, so I've already gotten my revenge. <sighs> This is a term people use. Maybe you're right. I've been using it for so long that I feel like it's mine now. But maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just being a stupid idiot. Um, I might just be stupid. I agree that I'm it's cringy the way I talked about it. For sure. But the way that these guys try to act now, that they're not like tea kings. You guys are the brewers themselves. Your whole channel, even more than me. People call me drama. You are a straight up gossip channel, my dudes. I guess. That's what you do. Probably not. Like I mean, they mostly... Well, like when they when they well they do some tea stuff sometimes, and they'll find some like weird feminist thing to have like dunk on randomly sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I want to be involved in this nonsense. Like, yo, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This whole like internet war beef is the most corny shit. On the no, I'm not gonna be involved with any argument. You even the slightest bit asking you cut twenty videos about it. So you're fucking tea kings. You guys are master brewers. You know what I mean? Master brewers. Let's do a tea ceremony. Fucking together, me and you. Let's just be real about who we are. Again, this is the, just, him acting like he's above it. Like he's better. Look at their channel. It's all tea, brothers. Fucking plain. Ian, chill. I guess. Okay. I don't know. Ian just uh, sneezed. sneezed. <laughs> the first time I heard a uh, sound from Ian all, all episode. Like, I know sometimes we've been like covering people multiple times. Like, oh, is it beef? Yeah, we just cover it because it's relevant and people want to see it. Mm -hmm. People think going back and forth is just a war. Like, I don't know. To me, that's just cringy language. Mm -hmm. Like, people use the most violent, like, oh, I got bear smoke for them. Intellectualists. Like, yourself. Again, like, I didn't oh say God. that. I don't consider myself an intellectual at any capacity. Actually, kill yourself. That's like the classic kill yourself line where he blurs the kill because he's a giant fucking bitch. Who even only says, Ooh. just say you got a rebuttal. Just, you're just using words. Just, I have a rebuttal. Is that what you guys do? <laughs> Excuse me. I have a rebuttal, Ethan. Again. Is that what you're doing in this video, you dumb fucking hypocrite coward? So stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Intuit. It sounds a crowder. Intellectuals be like, we're gonna verbally joust in an intellectual warfare. Like, shut the fuck up. How? Yeah, I didn't say there are no intellectuals involved in it. There's so many men with anger problems on the internet. You know, I wonder what's going on there. What's going? What's up with that? What's happening there? You know. I guarantee. Or, uh, I guarantee. I'm not intellectual. Nor have I ever claimed to be. Stupid, That's the last thing anyone should consider me. You're YouTuber beefing. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Are you? What is this? What is this? This is like a manga for like YouTubers. It's Digimon. No, this is like a whole thing. Like this. Oh, like Digimon is based. Yeah, we're serious. Yeah, I don't know what that means. They just say anything. Uh, I don't think they, I didn't mean to say anything. Again, this is the guy who says this whole internet beef is cringy. I have not done a proper video about them. 15. 15. Right. 15. Digimon are the champions. You're the team, brothers. Digimon, just, just digital. Nails emojis. You know what I mean? Let's talk shop. <laughs> Change your name to Ab Abba and T. I don't know. Oh my god, this is the T. Seriously, yes. just stop it. I mean, you guys dead. will weigh in on a lot of T stuff too. You just decide not to talk about this topic for whatever reason. Sure. You're, you do more drama than anyone on the internet practically. Good. At least I own it. I love the gossip. I love the game. You know what it is? 
But now they go, uh, I thought this next part is really interesting. I have a good oh, life. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody, life, nobody gives a fuck about any of this. People go out to their jobs. None of this matters. So just yeah. calm down with the whole war. I mean, look, yeah, so <laughs> this thesis of his, I go outside, nobody cares. Jokes are jokes. It's science. Um, again, this man has made 30 plus videos on trans people, and he's going to sit there and say, nobody cares. Everybody goes outside and nothing matters. That's uh, fair Well, point. dude, that's a nice privilege to take. That's a fair you point. Say, it doesn't affect me. I don't care. But meanwhile, trans hate crimes and suicide rates are way, way, way up in recent history. But guess what? It's trans people's fault, according to them. Trans people are over four times more likely than cisgender people to be victims of violent crimes, according to UCLA School of Law. Okay. Transgender yeah, hate crime statistics from the FBI show a 587% increase between 2013 and 2019. Increases are also seen in data collected by non-law enforcement agencies as well. With the Human Rights Campaign noting a record 44 transgender people killed in 2020. In 2021, that number rose to 50. I'm so glad for you that you go outside and none of this matters and it's all good. Because jokes are jokes. It's science. <laughs> it's just science. I mean, and then I keep going back. I guess he's making kind of a decent point. I appreciate people don't really care about these topics, but it's the only thing that they seem to talk about really. <laughs> or not the only thing, but it seems to be a, a rather large portion of their, their stuff is... Uh, so like a, a trans person did a bad thing or here's a bad thing and then they go like well nobody really cares like and then i have heard abba say that like he doesn't really care about trans issues and whatnot you know which is fair you do you but it's interesting that you talk about it so much for something that you don't really care about <clears throat> um you know he says it's transgender people's fault though well yeah no i don't think that Abba ever blamed the trans people for their violence that's caused against them that's a bit disproportionate but the other point makes sense. They're, they need the trans activists are doing this to themselves. You know, if you weren't so visible, if you weren't always talking and like trying to defend your right to exist, and maybe people shut up. You so much. Like, Jesus, just shut, shut up, up, dude. You know, it's a really good way to make trans people less visible. Transphobes, gender affirming care. Then you wouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> That's why I am a I'm a staunch as a transphobe. I am a staunch supporter of gender affirming care. So I won't be able to tell anymore. Isn't that fucking base as hell? It's incredible stuff. According to the National Library of Medicine, the suicide rates attempt among trans people, this should concern everybody. 50%, up to 50% across countries. Wow. You think that's fucking funny? You think that's like cool? That you just keep making trans people like the punching bag, the butt of all your fucking jokes? 30 videos, bro. You think that that doesn't have an effect on the millions of fucking like conservative, uh, aggrieved men who watch your videos? You don't think it affects them at all. While 50%, up to 50% of transgender people attempt suicide? Oh, shit. That's nice for you. That you walk outside and it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Like, fuck you guys. I don't jokes and stuff being silly and showing like Hey, thank you so much for the large job, brother. It's our, but this is real shit you're doing. Y'all just want views and clicks, but trans people are the. You think that Ethan's like really passionate about this topic for some reason? Because it just seems like uh, interesting. I wouldn't expect it from him. You know, maybe he really is, or maybe it's like a weird performative thing. But maybe he really is. I just I'm a little surprised about it. I wonder why. You know, maybe he's got like a trans person in his family or something. You know, so uh, God bless. All your jokes and fifty percent of them up to try to kill themselves. That's fucking. Pretty funny, dude. And yes, I believe in global warming. Whatever that has to do with anything. That's not just in the U.S. UK also reports crimes against transgender people saw the biggest rise ever over the previous year. 4,355 reports. 56% up. Where also, he told me to kill myself. So clearly he doesn't... Where, where does that start in there? Because I imagine that the... Well, it might be because this is a really big topic for people to be talking about. And so it could be because of that. Be because of that. Or it could also be because people were like home in the pandemic and that created a lot of different problems. <clears throat> Take it seriously at all. This man told me to kill myself. He believed to kill because he's a fucking bitch ass coward loser. They won't Ooh. even say anything with his chest because he's a bitch coward. Whoa. Told me to kill myself. Why? Uh, because you were cringy. Because I was cringy. Yeah. Cringy. With, like yeah. trans people. To be fair, you were a little cringy, so. All right. I guess I know what I got. Maybe he has a point. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool dude. Wow. Abba saved the day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just... I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. He's gonna try to say that he wasn't talking to me when he said kill himself, but like, whatever, bro. Kill yourself. I don't care. He, oh, I, mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to take it. Stop. Stop saying that. Like, yeah, he's talking to me. Too fucking much. About me. Fucking to me. Too much, Ethan. Cool. You're going too crazy. Cool. 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 Keep, keep putting that out there, bud. Stop, awesome. Ethan. Okay, so now these guys have this whole thing about they're the great Hassan defenders. They keep bringing this up. We defended Hassan. Why doesn't he thank us? Why don't they mention it? So I'm bringing this up just to show them I don't fucking care. Well, I, mean, I think in the in the first instance, it's like uh, you're only bringing up the negative examples of their content, but you're not bringing up positive examples when they try to be impartial and fair to you. But a counterpoint to that would be that... Um, oh, dude, I have such a brain fart. I'm so sorry. We've been doing this for a while. For the most part... Uh, people only cover each other when it's like a negative thing that happens. Like that's one of the interesting dynamics, the ways that we engage with content. Because uh, that's like the one defense of Hassan video of like a sea of others. And that's fine. But it's the interesting, the way that we engage with each other's content is only when we disagree with each other in a lot of instances, especially when it's across different spheres of people. I do it too. And it kind of gives you the perception that this person is like really a bad person. And one of the things I try to keep in my mind is that there's probably a lot of good too. Uh, from content creators that make stuff, you just disagree with this particular uh, thing. So, you know, it's like, hey guys, I, I talk about, let's say I talked about Hassan once a month. Let's say Hassan streams every single day. Like, am I really ca encapsulating everything that Hassan's saying and doing? It doesn't mean that I can't criticize, but that's just something to keep in mind. 
Uh, not ignoring it. You guys <laughs> are such losers. Watch this. Part of this is that like a lot of the people what that they feature in their commentary are uh -oh. people that like. Hold on. Don't You're getting roasted here. If you play Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. You pass on the other one that we uh, you a bitch. You saw that, right? You Let me go back. Did you see? I literally scrolled down looking for any video about Hassan so I could click it and watch it. A lot of the I don't. I still don't even see the video they're talking about. Where apparently. Wait, they, let's look at the people that they feature. I, I don't see it. Are Wait, oh, so people, this is the first one I saw and I clicked it. People that they feature. Back in the video, a little bit more. So we go to the yeah, yeah. Watch, watch it just totally. Part of this is that like a lot of the people that they feature in their commentary uh, are uh -oh. people that like. Hold on. Don't want where is it? Oh, here. The first one. Does it even? Is it even on the screen? Again, what? Are you I'm really trying to give them the benefit of <laughs> I'm looking carefully, but I'm not seeing any other one that we skipped. Again, I'll, I'll watch it again. You guys. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. You guys, because they go do a whole big thing about I'm a whole bitch for ignoring watch it. Watch it just totally. Part of this is that. Do you okay, hold on. Looking carefully, but I'm not seeing any other one that we skipped. Again, I'll watch it again. You guys, because they go do a whole big thing about I'm a whole bitch for ignoring. Watch it just totally. Part of this is. Dude, I gotta, I gotta play this on regular speed for a second. It's gay, guys. You ready? It's gonna go on regular speed for a second. You ready? You guys, because they go do a whole Whoa, big thing about I'm a whole so bitch slow. for ignoring you. Watch it just come there. Part of this is Whoa. Well, I, Ethan's in the way. So nothing there, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Not there, not there, not there, not there. No, 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 no. Maybe it's behind them. That, do you, not there. You guys fuck. Oh, I don't even see it on the screen, actually. Yeah, is it even there? King. Right at the very beginning, there's a top row. Is there? No, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's try that. Here, I'm gonna go frame by frame for you. Oh, they might not yeah, have yeah. even. You let's go frame it. by frame, yeah, frame for you guys. Fucking mm -hmm. crazy. Just because you watch, you watch it just thumbnail. Part of this. I don't think that you could see okay. the thumbnail there. Right at the beginning. I don't see it there. Okay. No, it's an entertainment one. Frame by frame for you guys. This is all for you guys. Because I'm a whole ass bitch for skipping it. I don't see it. I don't see uh, it either. Still don't see it. Still don't see it. Uh, yeah, I think we can put that to bed. I, I'm not seeing a video about Hassan. Uh, Chat, it, uh, we're like missing something obvious. Please yeah, it looks, like, I, it looks like it's not there. Uh, he skipped it when he first looked at their channel. It's not this time. But they made it seem like it was happening live. Uh, apparently I'm a whole he's, ass bitch. He's, he's saying it so often. So now listen to them. This is what they do. They just present. Well, the way that they, they say it, is as if he skipped right past it and he and he saw it. This is, the, this is the first one I saw and I clicked it. People that they feature. Back up the video a little bit more so we go to the yeah, yeah. Watch, watch it just totally. Part of this is that like a lot of people that they feature in their commentary uh, are uh -oh. people that like Hold on. Don't want where is it? Oh, here. The first one. Does it even is it even on the I'm trying to figure I'm trying to like in their commentary are in care. I'm not ignoring people that like Hold on. Don't you getting roasted here. If you play Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Okay. You passed on the other one that we uh you will be people that like Hold on. But yeah, no, they make it seem like it was there. They were talking about it the first time they went to their channel, but this is the clip that they looked at. So, are such losers. Watch this. Part of this is that like a lot of the people that they feature were, was it there? No, I'm not. Okay, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm not saying they didn't defend Hassan from Lav's allegations. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is it doesn't look like they've scrolled and bypassed the video. Um, he did in the beginning. Where? This up just to show them do I have to go back care. to the core video? To, 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 such do I have to go back to the core like video? A lot of people that they Jarvis? In the um, pull up the Abba and Preach video <clears throat> where they make this claim. Uh, silly Goose. Silly Goose. Pull up the pull up the clip. Pull up the epic clip. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Probably go back to when Ethan pulled their channel before he scrolled. They passed the video. I'm confused, dude. Yeah, because it released after the Hogwarts Legacy video. Was it? Are uh -oh. people that like hold on? Don't You're getting roasted, them. losers. Watch this. Thank us. Is it in this video? Am I, am I just fucking blind? Is that like a lot of the people that they feature in their commentary are uh -oh. people that like hold on? You're getting roasted them. here. If you play Hogwarts Legacy, wait, wait, wait. No, no. You pass on the other one that we uh, you... Ethan, did Ethan clip it out? Okay, let's see. Right? Let go did you see? I literally scrolled down looking for any video about Hassan so I could click it and watch it. A lot of I don't. I still don't even see the video they're talking about. Where apparently they. Wait, let's look at the feature. I, I, I don't see it. Are, wait, uh -oh. this, is, this is the first one I saw and I clicked it. Wait, hold on. <laughs> said that I was uh, implied that I was pandering, or I was. Oh no, sorry, I was uh, patronizing to him. Hold on, I didn't imply you were patronizing to me. Multiple people. I was. <laughs> Yo. You don't think so? Hold on. I didn't mean it, bro. It's just still from the same video. So I just take a moment to be right on the first time I get to just see the whole channel. Like, oh shit, is this what y'all see? I just, I have seen, you see, like, all the thumbnails. I'm like, damn, how terrible is it about that? It's by somebody else. He really won't come on. He's the false accusation. I'm still easily proving about that. Okay. I don't know. I don't see it in there. Um, 
people that are future. Yeah. 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 They may just have not seen it, and I feel like who gives a shit if I'm like harping on this point? It doesn't matter. Like a lot of the people that are future in their commentary uh, are uh -oh. people that like hold on. Don't want to... Where is it? Oh, That's the first one. Does it even? Is it even on the screen? Again, why don't you? I'm really trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm looking carefully, but I'm not seeing any other one that we skipped. Again, I'll, I'll watch it again, you guys, because they go do a whole big thing about I'm a whole bitch for ignoring. Watch it just tell me. Do you guys fucking right at the very beginning? There's a top row. Okay, okay, let's try that. I'm gonna go frame by frame for you guys. Let's go frame by frame for you guys. Does he watch it? Watch it just tell me. Okay, right at the beginning. I don't see it there. Okay. Frame by frame for you guys. This is all for you guys. Because I'm a whole ass bitch for skipping it. I don't see it. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Yeah, I think we can put that to bed. I, I'm not seeing a video about Son. Uh, Chat. Uh, we're like missing something obvious. Please tell us. But apparently I'm a whole he's, ass bitch. He's, he's saying it so confident. <laughs> so now listen to them. This is what they do. They just present stuff as this, as if it happened. But, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Here, watch. Uh -oh. People that like, hold on. You're getting roasted here. If you play Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. You bet on the other one that we, uh, you a bitch. You saw that, right? You a bitch! You a what? Like, what? What other ones? What is he talking They made a video defending Hassan against a false accusation. They're accusing me of scrolling past it. But in the video, it's not there. It's just not there. So, yeah, I'm again, not seeing it. They just, uh, I'm just going to start doing that. Like, I mean, I think, yo, I saw these I guys. Top right, to be honest. Wait, is there? I don't see it. I mean, fourth top row. This is Andrew. Andrew. That's the very big. Back up again? There isn't like a row that we already passed? I no. should watch each individual video to see if I find it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. This is such a non point. I don't care. Not a, yeah, um, out here. This is the this is where it starts. No, that's the Andrew Tate on the top right. It says Andrew Tate terminal lung cancer. Okay. It seems like uh, they didn't see it uh, based on the scroll. So. Video top row. I think you, well, if you're going to Adam Breach's actual channel and channel. you click their latest videos, the one that they did about Hassan and Ethan on leftovers is top right. Okay. Okay. So, I know. I think everybody thinks that. The video defending Hassan is six months old. Where you're at on their page right now is two months ago. Thank you. Yeah. There's it wasn't on the page. Oh, yeah, you know what? People saying top right. I'm very. Okay. It looks like Hassan, but it's Andrew Tate. Is that what they're talking about? That looks like Hassan in the top right, but it's not what they're Andrew Tate. It's not on the screen. I don't see mom. Just not here. We said, oh my bad, bro. Okay, so maybe. So here they are again. Making shit up and going on this whole fucking tirade about how much of a bitch I am. You guys are bitches. You guys are fucking liars. And I'm gonna start just making shit up about y'all. Yo, I saw Fresh and I saw a Babylon Reach in a coffee shop. Yeah, the video that they're talking about, Evan Preacher talking about, is from, like, from like six months ago. So if they're looking at their videos in order, then they wouldn't see it there. So people, bro, um, I saw it on YouTube. <sighs> and so now I'm gonna go on a 20 minute tirade about how they spit on trans people. It seems like a nothing is silly It seems like they made like I don't know how many uh, Hassan videos. Let's say they made like 10 Hassan videos, and one of them was in defense of like, okay, cool. It doesn't seem like it's on the page. They may not have seen it. Like I. It's just a weird issue to focus on. So first, when I looked, but like, so now, got confused by that, so I now that we have resolved that it's not on the screen, okay. let's okay. watch their reaction. Okay. Like a lot of the people that they feature in their commentary are uh -oh. people that like. Hold on, you getting roasted here? If you play Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. you bet on the other one that we are. Uh, you a bitch? You saw that, right? You a bitch? Do they lie? Do they just lie? Like nothing. There's no Maybe problem. they got confused by it too. I don't know. Uh -huh. Apparently, a lot of people thought that was the son in okay, the thumbnail. Well. So. I'm being charitable to them. Maybe he saw that and also thought it was. A I would expect them to know their own channel. Better. Yeah, right. But right, I don't right, think they can chat like off the screen. screen. <laughs> their, their chat is too active. There's too many people who like Ethan. I can't watch the chat at the same time. But if you're gonna go on this confident of a, of a rant, I mean, be right. Please. When we defend the dude that's next to you and you went right to the other, wow, you a bitch. You are. Yeah, that didn't, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Actually, didn't happen. So who's the bitch? Actually, who's the bitch? Reach. Hey, can I hear what's going on inside his head right now? He is reaching a little bit. <laughs> Ethan decline versus. Yeah. This is his thought process when accusing me. What is Abba? Yeah. Arthur and Reach. Yo, it's actually insane how this is made. Okay, so you guys are gonna walk this all back, right? What the fuck is Abba? You guys are what is he? Walk this all back and, and now you need to call me genuine. You need to call me the most what genuine motherfucker. Uh, Abba and Breach. It is actually frightening. It's actually frightening. Babble and Reach. We literally see him scrolling as he's lying. It is crazy. And you calling us a liar? Yes. Also, what did you lie? Yes. Even if that video was there, what did you lie about? What? I'm, what is the lie that you're referring? They're saying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing, right? Like, but I'm calling you guys a liar. Yes. And thank you for proving my point. He's scrolling as he's lying. It is crazy. And you calling us a liar? You're lying right now. <laughs> okay. Bro, don't you see how fucking silly you look right now, creeps? What is delusional? Babylon freaks. Yeah, hey, you a bitch. Like, oh, I got. That's right. Are you done? Wait, it is a, it is a holster, isn't it? Now he's lifting his arm. Wait, he's wearing a holster. Stop. Hold up. You better stop that silly shit right now, brother. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, it's a phone case. It's a, it's a phone holster. That's worse. Bro, that's worse. <laughs> what? Listen, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you want. Well, except that rage against. Oh, it's sage against the machine. Oh, interesting. Sage. Look, it's not actually rage against the machine. Sage against. All right, the we're gonna issue a retraction right now. You can wear they, they, they hammer you hard on that. They will hammer us super hard. Yeah. So, are you guys done with this uh, lie? Let's do it. Right. Okay. Uh, you're right. Dude, they, uh, so they're obsessed with this notion that they defended Hassan. Um, here's the context on this Hassan allegation before we continue. Billy D covered it. So and they showed this too. So we're all on the same page here. So let's watch this. Are as any of the specifics here. It all appears to start with a Discord message from a stream by the name of Lavaloon back in September. They're saying there, I think Hassan's outraged about everything is really funny because he slept with I don't friend. think that like a single person was against Hassan at this point, to be honest with you though. Like everybody was against like before Hassan because it was like so crazy. And um, to be honest with you, I think that the only reason why ABBA talked about it is because Lav also leveraged like the same, a similar accusation against Destiny. And it was more of like an anti-Lav more than it was a pro Hassan thing, just to be just to be contextually accurate in the situation, guys. So he was 17 and 24.
Are we about to debunk Ethan Decline, dude? Holy fuck! I've got to. We got to. We got to pull one for Babbler and Reach, and we got to. We got to name it. 1842. That's when Columbus sailed my poo. It's in here apparently at 1842, guys. All right, this is. I'm trusting you. If you're wrong about this, you're done. I'm taking you out. Oh, certainly. And they're they're capitalizing on it. That's what it's the market for. Because of our politics. You have to help me find it. You know I'm stupid. Yeah, like it's no, just they're, like, they're, it's low they're, hanging fruit. There's a market for it. Yeah, oh, certainly. And they're they're. Do you guys see it? Capitalizing on it. I'm at 1842, bitch. But like, you're. Re where is it? Which one? Where is it? I don't see it. Where the fuck is it? You said it's at 1842. I'm at, oh, no, I'm at 1840. Certainly. And they're, they're capitalizing on it. You say it's right here. Where is it? Am I stupid? I don't see it. <clears throat> I don't see Lav there. Oh, well, that's no, but you can't. That's you're being silly at this point. <clears throat> no, you guys are being silly. No. This isn't this isn't the Hassan video. This doesn't have Hassan in the thumbnail. That's like a follow-up video for something else. They didn't skip over that. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me see if I can find the original video. Uh, this is the actual video thumbnail here where they defended him from six months ago. This is some follow-up where he had an issue with Lav. This isn't the same thing. What do you the lab who cares about the Lav video? This isn't what we're talking about. What do you mean? Where where is it? Is it like am I dumb? Where's the video? It's not here. That's not Preach's point. Like you wouldn't uh, No, that's not Preach's point. And if it is, it's a stupid point. There what? No. That's not his point. What do you well, uh, what is the lie that the So you guys are gonna walk this all back, right? No. When I mean, I to uh, he made that point, but that's not maybe what it is. Maybe they got confused by it too. Like, so maybe, uh, how they spit on. Hold on, let me. Maybe. Okay, so. Yeah, you know what? People saying top right. I'm very confused. It looks like a song, but it's Andrew Tate. Is that what they're talking about? That that looks like a song in the top right, but it's Andrew Tate. Hold on, let me just. Okay. Oh my god. It's not the good point to operate on. Like, yes, they look at the thumbnails, but how would you know that this was a video that defended Hassan? But it's not because it's a follow-up video about something else. That's what it is. Like, but you're you're right in the way that like I see. And sometimes hey, how they can make them there. How about you find in the video where they go off and talk about so how he many just things and lied about that? That's that's a that's a desperate cling. Now maybe the way Abba edited the video was incorrectly and they actually saw it on the screen, but it looks like they didn't see it. Um, they didn't show the video about. Hassan, there. This is a whole. This why are we? There's so much effort. It's such a dumb point. <laughs> you pass the dumb but if you're gonna go on this confident of a, of a rant, I mean, be right. Oh, it's at 22:27. Guys, we're gonna we're we're deep diving. 22:27 is when this moment happens, I think. Um, let's see what we got here. We got. Because you watch you watch it just turn there. Okay. This is that like a lot of the people that they feature okay. in their commentary. Two months ago. So are. Okay. Uh oh. People that like. Hold I on. Don't you getting roasted them. here. If you play Hogwarts Legacy. Wait, wait, wait. You pass on the other one that we were. Ah, uh, you a bitch. You saw. What did they mean? Yeah, right? You a bitch. That's you pass the thumbnail when we defend the dude that's next to you. And you. Oh, no. So they're objectively incorrect. You're weird narrative of like, no, this is what happens. Or you guys are, are. You have like a confirmation bias. Right, you got to be aware of this kind of stuff. They are specifically saying it's the allegation with Hassan one. They're wrong. And then you brought up one that had nothing to do with it. And you're like, no, no, no. That's what they're referring to. You're wrong. They made a mistake. They were wrong. They made a wrong. And that's fine. We all make mistakes. I only make oopsies. Okay. I, we literally fucking, we really deep dove onto the stupidest fucking point of this whole entire situation. We did a fucking deep dive on the dumbest fucking point. <laughs> Out of the whole fucking thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. You guys are <laughs> you guys are fucking driving me up a goddamn wall. <laughs> you pieces of shit. I'm sitting here like I gotta I gotta prove it. I gotta figure it out, guys. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> we sit like fucking 15 minutes on this point.
Oh my god. Oh my lord. My lord. Okay. All right. All right. Let's keep going. When we defend. The blah, 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 blah. We already want to do that. Bro, don't you see how fucking silly you look right now? Creeks. Babylon Creeks. Babylon Creeks. Yeah, you a bitch. Like, oh, I got. That's right. Are you done? Wait, it is a, it is a <coughs> holster, isn't it? Now he's lifting his arm. Wait, he's wearing a holster. Stop. Hold up. You better stop that silly shit right now, brother. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, it's a phone case. It's a, it's a phone holster? That's worse. Bro, that's worse. <laughs> what? Listen, oh, okay. you can wear whatever you want. You can wear whatever you want. This is a little worse. It's a phone it's a it's a phone holster that's meant to look like a gun holster. How is that even practical? Is this practical? Is this practical? What is that? Well, except that raging. Against... Oh, it's sage against the machine. Oh, interesting. Sage. Look, it's not actually raging against the machine. Sage against. All right, the we're gonna issue a retraction right now. You can they, they, they hammer you hard on that. They will hammer us super hard. Yeah. So, are you guys done with this uh, lie? Let's do it. Dude. So they're obsessed with this notion that they defended Hassan. Um, here's the context on this Hassan allegation before we continue. Yeah. Billy D covered it, so and they yeah. showed this too. So we're all on the same page here. So let's watch this. Yeah, let's watch. As far it. as any of the specifics here, it all appears to start with a Discord message from a streamer by the name of Lavaloon back in September. We were saying there, I think Hassan's outrage oh, yeah, 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 really yeah, fun. Do you know this? Many were pretty skeptical about the because Lavaloon apparently has fought with streamers in the past. And then as it started gaining traction, she changed some of the details in her story, saying that since the tweet, the relationship between Hassan and her friend was legal. Saying their comment was about Hassan allegedly taking an adult relationship with a woman five years his junior. They're going on to say on Patreon, Hassan packed with my very young friend when he was not so young. It was legal, but he's denounced men publicly for doing much less. I don't care about it, and she's never going to come forward. The fact exists nonetheless. An example of hypocrisy. And I want to be clear, she's not coming forward because she doesn't care because none of this was a big deal. It was legal. I barely cared. Hassan did nothing illegal. Probably nothing. What the fuck is a tactical phone? And surprisingly, all this makes its way back to Hassan and he responds to the allegations in the street. And there, saying the woman in question was 19 at the time of the relationship. Such a ridiculous, so slanderous lie. This person makes it. I think it was 24 at the time or something too. So on its face, in the reporting, it's being debunked. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That we both saw yeah, the same video. So now yeah, they expect yeah, Hassan yeah, 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 to yeah, yeah, yeah. get on his fucking knees and kiss the ground they walk on. Like, like, Hassan would never do that though, because he would never walk on the same road as a black person. So they're accusing me of scrolling past that video, <laughs> right. ignoring that I guess they defended Hassan, yeah. which is I guess hypocritical because I criticized them. I understand everything at this speed. I'm adjusted to it. I'm a fucking menace. Them for defending Shh, That's up. the theory. I see. Yeah. Okay. I just passed through the original video leftovers again, and I, I don't see it anywhere. Just it's not there. Just that's that's a good idea. Yeah, 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 it's not, you, you jump scrolled for a it's second. It's fantastic. I mean, it's just it's, the irony is just fantastic. You're a liar, bro. You called us a liar. I'm gonna tell a lie about you. And prove you wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he was like, yo, it's so crazy. They no, what we just defended was you making up false accusations. So I someone come on, make false accusations. It was easily proven to be a liar. Okay, that's mm -hmm. what we talked about. The same way when the buddy sitting right across from you, Hassan, was accused by somebody else, even though we don't like him as an individual, I'm still defending. So value. because on principle, the person who was because on principle, we always uh always defend the man. That's basically our guy. No, I don't think it's because they always like I said before. I think this had more to do with going against Slav than for Hassan. Um, because like most of your content is against Hassan and there's plenty to criticize. Um, but I don't necessarily, uh, I think that this communicates that you're always fair to Hassan. I mean, not that I've seen anything unfair towards Hassan. <laughs> so I don't think we, yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Lying against him. Uh, what was that? And I hope that Hassan actually says something about that. Because when yeah. he was accused of something, he didn't mind when other people went after that girl and said, yo, she's lying. But then yeah. when it starts to fit all of a sudden, we're evil people for doing the exact same behavior. It's a bit bizarre. It right? is. It is a bit bizarre that you make that point. So, so uh, do you find it odd that, like, it's almost like they're motivated? Like, they made, first of all, they covered this story for content. Let's not fucking pretend like you did this altruistically. Right. Well, that's what we all do, no? And if you're going to make that argument there, then that means that the only reason that you tried to call an act, of, uh, to call uh, an act, what would I say, a call to action against Amaran's husband is for content. So you can't just say everything's content. Or else you have to hold yourself to the same standard. In the video you watched, Philly D debunked the whole fucking story. Okay, nobody cares that you defended him. He didn't ask you to defend it. In fact, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy if you didn't talk about it because you're just signal boosting a bogus story. Okay, so why is it that you think he needs to thank you? Is that why you did it? So that he'll thank you? Uh, what is this behavior? You know what I mean? It's... Okay, gotta get that bag though. You know what the fuck? You owe me a debt of gratitude, my friend. Women lie against Hassan? Question mark. What? For talking about this non-story. It's weird. When it to fit all the he didn't mind when other people saw actually said something about it. Because yeah. when he was accused of something, he didn't mind when other people went after that girl and said, yo, she's lying. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, dude. Fucking weirdos. Yeah, their default position is just women be lying. I mean, to be real. So, not that surprising. It is true, though. So but then uh, they lying. go on and they say the fresh. And men are tigers. No, lions are better than tigers. Men are elephants. What's cooler than a lion, though? It's a fucking liger. Men are ligers. And fit accuser, which we'll get into soon. <clears throat> and the Hassan accuser is the same behavior, which. Was okay. let's, let's take this out. And I hope that Hassan actually says something about that. Because when he was accused of something, he didn't mind what other people... Uh, Ab and Destiny are close. Lav did a lot to, to, uh, to Destiny. And I don't think that the claim Abba covered it just for views isn't accurate. Isn't accurate. So you think it is accurate? Maybe. Oh, so you're saying that they have a crossover audience and so he thought he would make views talking about it. Maybe. Okay. People went after that girl and said, yo, she's lying. But then when it starts to fit all of a sudden, we're evil people for doing the exact same behavior. It's a bit bizarre, just be right? lying. Like Cappy Barra. Like I said, so the girl who accused his son, which was basically not even a first-hand account, she To said, be fair... None of this matters, and we're fucking deeply diving into a bunch of people who do nothing positive for society. Me as well, by the way. But, like, you know, what does this really matter? I have a friend who slept with him when she was underage, but she doesn't want to say anything. Versus a girl's first-hand account of this experience she had with Fit. That wasn't sexual assault. That was vetted beforehand. Is the same? 
I mean, this is very telling. Well, you, you falsely claimed it was sexual assault, which, to your defense, you're just kind of a silly goose and don't really know anything about these very complicated topics. Something about how he views women accusing <laughs> It is. It's very telling. But one also would be a crime. One is a crime, sleeping with an underage girl, and the other one just called in to share a bad date. Mm, yeah, no, but both are going against men, so both are bad. But you I said it was rape. There's something and in the you, like, you doubled down on it. Multiple times, quadrupled, octupled. Is that a word? What? What's going on here? I mean, not they, not all accusations are created equal, right. but they want it to be that way because yeah, it's easier to dismiss because the real ones. Well, no, but you you, you leverage a false accusation against uh, 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 people. Like Myron. all these people are Myron, the rape apologist, because he is still a rape apologist because he tells women that for sexually assaulted, that's their fault for being bad men. So we're gonna go and harass this woman who's already dealing with something so personal and so hurtful versus this girl made something up about a friend of hers. Like even the, the, it doesn't equal. It, it doesn't. Well, she came on a sh live show to talk about it publicly. So, you know, she's opening herself to criticism. It's, it's not a first hand account. No. And it's a crime. So again, it's nice that they have this tendency to be like women yeah. be lying, essentially. Um, um, this is a so now we're going to get into the, their defense thing, of fresh and fit. Okay. And we are, we're actually, I see the end in distance here, Dan. So don't panic. I thought we were talking about this. I've just learned that DeSantis just had his Twitter space with Elon Musk. Oh, oh that's that's that was live. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I know Rush Twitter. It's like been a disaster. Has it been? Yeah. I've been watching it live. listening live. What happens when two charismatic juggernauts meet? Two black holes in charisma. There's just so much merge. Black holes emerge. Hassan has been watching for the past two hours. Oh, man. Over and over crashing. Tracy and I have a lot of things to say, but it's so sad. So, anyway, let's. So, here's just a little bonus clip before we get into that. I thought you guys would like this. What is that? He says that. He's implying that. I'll play it. Okay. Let me take a step further. She recorded another dude before these two, right? And everybody celebrated her. Go queen, you're so brave. She told us the details of the story. You know what happened? This is what happened. She said she went on this date with this dude. They were flirting, went back to his place. And then I, and then I made a, and then I, I made like a joke about it. My first video was like, LOL, that one time when like a, this like a LA comedian like kind of forced me to eat his ass when I was like pushing Ooh. against him, LOL. Ooh. Um, and it was No, like, this is about me. Just like a funny video. When no, you made it funny. That's yeah. not really extreme. <laughs> Might be fucked up, but like, I feel like eating ass has got to be one of the hardest things to force someone to do. Like, watch. <laughs> I don't remember this. Oh my god. Of, there was a lot of pressure on my head, and he was like keeping my mouth full and making sure that he was not making eye contact with me, so I couldn't say no. Like, it was very weird. I wouldn't say that he was to me, but it was definitely like, a very strange situation. And basically I think I might have been there for that. I don't remember. Because she was pissed off at me because she told this story about Gabriel Gundecker, which maybe I'll go find. Because I, I popped into the stream at that point, and she told a story about Gabriel Gundecker. Or rather, she's like, Papa Guts, that guy uh, that invalidated my sexual assault claim. Right? So, like, a year ago. I'm going to put it in the description so you can watch it and make the judgment for yourself because it's a lot. And I was like, oh, I don't think so, but I'll take a look at it again. And I took a look at it after. What it was is she she talked about a weird situation where she went out with a guy consensually and had sex with him. And he asked her, like, eat his ass or whatever. And, she, like, she did it or whatever. And then she, and she was like, yeah, it was just weird. And then after everybody told her it was rape, she's like, I was raped. And I'm like, I don't think that's what happened. It seems like it was just a, it was a weird situation. And now you're claiming that it's that. That was my video. Which, considering how often she uh, constantly lies about being sexually assaulted, I mean, not sure to be rude, but she's made so, so many false accusations. It's a little bit in line with her character. Not sure to be rude. Um, so... <laughs> So yeah, I, that might have been about that might have been when I joined in and she was describing the situation. Um, I have to go back and see. It may not be exactly that 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 instance. I, I have to I'd have to go look and see if I can find that. Um, oh, it was. It absolutely was. Yep, it absolutely was. If you see, this is my video. I'll put this in there. This is my the conversation where like we talked. Well, we talked about it in this stream. I don't think I have it in this uh, video, but this is the What's background. The fact Shut up! This is the background here, and it's the same background here. So it is. It literally was about me. That was I. I somehow made an appearance in this fucking video. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, so this was uh when I popped into the stream. Uh that was she was bringing that up because of that. And you didn't get my sexy beautiful voice in there, Abba, you fucking piece of shit loser. Keeping my mouth full and making sure that he was not making eye contact with me so I couldn't say no. Like it was very weird. I couldn't say that he was to me, but it was definitely like a very strange situation. And basically she was even from the back and then she went home. <laughs> so his thesis is that he knew she was lying when she said he forced me to eat his ass. Right. And it's just giving me very much giving me King Star. Like, well, just okay. I, you're objectively incorrect about this, Ethan. I, I know, I, you know, I know you're wrong. It was more complicated than that. I was there. It was about me. I'm never wrong. No, but seriously, in that instance, like she described on TikTok, this is what happened. She put it on her TikTok. Hey guys, I went out with Gabriel Gundecker. She removed the video, by the way. And it was so weird because, like, I got, like he wanted me to. He put his head down to eat my hit my his ass, and I did it, and it was weird. You being weird or uncomfortable, uh, being uncomfortable or being weird is not sexual assault. Then she even just even literally says it wasn't sexual assault. She says it in the video. 
And then they're like, yeah, that like basically she she sensationalized that sort of make it seem like it was sexual assault. And he's just like, oh, it's giving me uh fucking Heemstar vibes or whatever. What are you talking about? And I don't like Heemstar. What does Heemstar have to do with rape? Like who what did he would he rape? I don't get it. Um Maybe the Logan Paul thing. He said he went, I guess. Zuzu, were flirting, went back to his place. And then I and then I made a and then I, I made like a joke about it. My first video was like, "LOL." That one time when like a this, this like me, LA comedian like kind of forced me to eat his ass when I was like pushing against him. LOL. Ooh. Um, and it was just like a funny video. Wait, and no, then you made sound funny. That sounds yeah. really extreme. And it's funny. fucked up. But like, I feel like eating ass has got to be one of the hardest things to force someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Of, there was a lot of pressure on my head, and he was like keeping my mouth full and making sure that he was not making eye contact with me, so I couldn't say no. Like it was very weird. I would oh, okay. say to me, but it was definitely like a very strange situation. I wouldn't say rape me. Yeah, so that there's a lot more to that. I put in the description. I don't feel like uh, talking about this hobby anymore. Right. And then <sighs> very much giving me king star. Like just close your mouth. Well, like, the logic is oh, actually, okay. Never mind. He's he's right. He did say something like that. Uh, I need to do a drama today on the Jake Paul sexual assault allegations. I just play the sound. I don't watch this whole fucking video. You got to just close your mouth. Yeah. And quite frankly, we must. is there really no way to just close your mouth? Oh, right. Just close your mouth. Close your mouth. It's in, it's uh, it's absolutely irrefutable logic there. Yeah, no, it's shit logic. My my true question is though, like, why keep breathing life into that person if they're your mortal enemy? Like, why keep talking about this topic? Well, it's almost like you want to keep your your nemesis alive to be able to have somebody to constantly go back and forth with. Like, why? Like, why? Why do that? <clears throat> uh, hey, revenge is a dish that best served cold, though. So, yeah. Like, I feel like eating has got to be one of the hardest things to force someone. Yep. Therefore, she's lying. She was lying, to be fair, that girl. But the logic is uh, fantastic. So let's move on. Okay. So this girl who called into our show uh, was the was the subject of. Really extreme ridicule by them and fresh. Yeah, I went to, so I went to kindergarten with Lav and she stole my pencil. It was incredible stuff. But... Okay. Now, just um, as an important atmosphere, here's Abba talking about how he was on the receiving end of a false allegation when he was in the army. And I do think this is important yeah. atmosphere. Like when I first went, they say, don't get involved with female members. It's very risky. Well, I mean, if he was in the army, you know, uh, there's a lot of assault going on with women. I took that shit to heart. And I had an incident where I never even came in contact with somebody, never even close to them. And they tried to make some story. Thankfully, there were multiple eyewitnesses that I had, complete strangers who were there who vouched for what happened. But I remember just being so angry about the mud that I got dragged through. It's hard to let go of that kind of angle. When you didn't do something, somebody says you did it, it's a tough thing in my stomach. So this is one of those things. Fair, so, I get if that. nothing else, it proves his bias against women accusers, right? <clears throat> Maybe. Yeah, it could. It could do that. Um, but so far, it could do that. Maybe. Because I remember that video that they did on that girl, 19-year-old girl. Like, again, Ethan fucked it up by calling a sexual assault and like quadrupling down on it. But they were also too hard on the girl. That's fair to say that he has a bias. It doesn't mean he's wrong, but yeah, no, I think that he was disproportionately too harsh against her because she didn't leverage a false sex was all the claim. She, um, she told it in a way where like she tried to be a girl boss where she was never really interested in him and blah, blah, blah. And I wasn't interested. I was just hanging out with him to fucking debate with him more because I was owning him with facts and logic. Um, and then, of course, she told the part about how he like criticized her, her body when she got like took her shirt off, which was really fucked up. Uh, and then Ethan decided that was sexual assault or something. So, I don't know what happened. He says it didn't happen, so fine, whatever. But I mean, that's understandable what he's saying. If that happened the way that he described, he's falsely accused of something, but then was cleared, that would be upsetting, sure. Right. Yeah, but what he says so. here is interesting. It's hard to let that go. Right. Which is fair. Sure. But it all, a little bit. It proves it a takes one or two. Yeah, so this is, this. this is a good atmosphere, in my opinion. Because at a sense, I go, why are they so anti women accusers? Like mm -hmm. every time. And it I guess is, it's an interesting insight into the psychology of it. <laughs> so here is um, how they describe that phone call, first of all. And I'm going to try to work through this fast. They say, Ashley goes after Fresh and Fit with fake Me Too claim. Again, straw and man. Uh, no, it's true. Thousand percent. Never said it was a Me Too. She literally. You thousand percent said it was sexual assault and you doubled down on it. Called in to share a bad date. So the way the frame no. of this is, is already super fucking dishonest. No, it's not. You thousand percent leveraged a false claim. Fake me too. Shut the fuck up, losers. What I think of Ethan's video overall, it's fine. I, this it's whatever. It's what I expected from Ethan. It's, but this is you have to stop being like. There's no true accountability from Ethan here. No, like this is the problem. He doesn't understand what was wrong with the Amaranth situation. He didn't explain his, his issue with his take with the, the gay take. He's not understanding that this was like really bad. That he doubled down on this constantly. He intentionally didn't like uh, interact with the live stream that Fresh and Fit put up to prove their innocence because they had a ton of information uh, to completely deconstruct her narrative. She was never interested. Um, he's he, he. This isn't him taking accountability. This is him trying to rewrite history. It's not because she didn't act like that and that story didn't go unfold. It probably unfolded the way she says it unfold. But my girl, this is on you. But it's on you, girl. So, so Babel or Babylon Creeks says that I believe what she said, but it's still your fault. Did you catch that? Let me go back. Act like that and that story didn't go. Unfold. The girls that age. Because of when I was working with, him. Damn does this make sense to anybody? Listening? What about the friends? The friends are looking at him like with a gun to her head. I believe what what you say happened. He believes it happened. How progressive of them? Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up. Okay. Goodbye. No. Because of when I was working with in, in social services and stuff like that. Blah blah blah. They act like that. Who's they? The girls that oh. age. Uh. They act like that. They really do. Now it's yeah, not because what? she did act like that and that story didn't go unfold. It probably unfolded the way she says it unfold. But my girl, this is on you. But it's on you, girlfriend. Just uh, Hunter, letting you know you're wrong. He is. He didn't just suggest it. He doubled down on it and called them. I'm letting you know. 
we're, 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 you know, facts and logic, silly goosery, okay? I was very close to the story. <laughs> he certainly said it. To be clear, you say it happened like that. You're not saying that it was this weird creepy thing. You're just saying that the girl she thought it was, she thought oh it was creepy goodness. and still went with it. That's what I think. I'm, no, I'm, 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 so, so, this is, this is fantastic. So he goes, I believe her, but it's still Let's her fault. Then Abigail goes, Somebody asked you. me to go and, and look it up, and the, the, my, my investigation team, my unpaid investigation team, um, said, look up caller Hello? exposes fresh Hello. and fit. And go to 5645, okay? Let's see what he says. Beep, boop, 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 beep, bop, 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 bop. Here we go. Suck, bro. Right. You suck. You suck that bad that you have all those things and women still don't want you. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That you're, I mean, I didn't want, I didn't want, it sounded to me like he assaulted her. Yeah. Yeah. Unquestionably. Uh, basically, that's what it sounded like to me. This is the first time okay. we've heard this story about him, but I'm, I'm going to bet right now it's not going to be the last two. <laughs> You know, yeah, that part's probably true. Again, he is a rape apologist uh, uh, fit, so he, he you know, we've, sure, we'll sure there's a good chance. If but yeah, he he said it. You know, that's where it is. He said it. He said it. That's what it is. He said, "I think it sounds like." Um, this live is wild, bro. <laughs> and it's still her fault. I, I think this is a whole fucking lie. It's a work. Uh, is this a lie? This is how dumb this whole thing is. Upload. It literally can't be possible for someone to say this goofy shit and it happen the way that they claim. You don't text a guy. So that, you... That's a really nice nuanced take on the situation. You know, Sorry. Ends no. up changing his opinion. He goes, yeah, you're right. She's yeah. fine. Yeah. But I love that he said that. He believes her, but it's still her fault. Uh, we'll get into the details of that, of course. Uh, they say it's her fault. She was there. She has privilege. This is low budget and my shine a lot. He's been telling you, you claim, okay, I'm not on your side. You claim he's pushing. He constantly tells you, he says, I want to bring you back to my place so you can see what I can handle. It's 5 a.m. He picked you up from the club, took you back home. I remember, like, the next stream, too, he brought up something where, he, like, he showed, he's like, you have fucking, or something. He's like, you have birth control in your bathroom. That just confirms you raped her or whatever. Some shit like that. I forget the specifics, but. Girl, every indication said that y'all was fucking tonight. Guys, relax. Just stop dogging on Hunter, okay? Hunter is okay. I like Hunter. Oh. Relax, guys. You may have got it wrong. We all got things wrong. You guys are going fucking crazy. Chill the fuck out. Oh, my God. And yet, imagine a world where she's still not obligated to fucking... Crazy, huh? And then you guys want to say, if you're going to read the room, why the fuck are you there? Jesus, guys. Oh, you can't ask that kid. That's victim. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. That is the most privileged position in the world, where you can walk through life and think you can make the most crazy, crazy decisions after being told this is what's going to happen. Maybe don't date a 19-year-old girl. <laughs> oh, my God, what? I didn't get that the first time. Yeah, no, the, the Adam Preacher's video was dog shit on the topic as well, though. Yeah, so, wow. Peak privilege is, uh... It was just some, it was slightly better than Ethan's, but you know, cause there was no false accusations, but they, they go in too, in too hard on this girl. Is being able, is having expectation that I can say no to sex. Okay, that's, that's a privilege. That's that's the height of privilege. Guess what? Guess what happens when you're 35 year old and you're famous? People might want to fucking uh, hang out and see what your studio's like and all these kinds of shit. Uh, privilege, girl, you should have just fucked him. Let's be real. You owed him. Uh, she awesome. probably wanted to fuck him until he criticized her body. So it really didn't hit me. So They're awesome. No, they, they really are. They got her good. And wait till she wait till they she sees. Hey, wait hey, till hey. we. I'm telling you. Relax in the chat. See what they say. She's lying about. You come back to my place. We go make out. We go fuck. You just know all this. You show up. You're like, whoa! He tried to fuck me. <laughs> I know he told me for the last hundred times he was gonna try, but he really tried. Okay, there it is. Very nice. Love that. Yeah. Got me good on that. I mean, that, that I think that that video, that, uh, Ethan might be right about the the, the bias against uh, women when it comes to sexual assault claims. Again, they're right about it being a false claim, but I don't think that they're properly encapsulating what the situation is and what her actual perspective is. And not to be a cringe lefty, but again, I think it's because like we didn't really get a female perspective in on this topic. Bro, there's so many fucking planes flying by my house. It's insane. There's uh, what's happening? Jeez, it's not even September. Holy fuck! Right. Uh, then we're moving on. Here they have a moment where they she says something really important, and instead of actually responding, they just laugh. They just laugh. That's their whole response. Check this out. Well, right, I'm sorry. I should, right, right, right. Let's not relive that moment. So I just push him off. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the balcony, and he goes, oh, "You need mouthwash." Yeah, and what? I was, yeah, I was texting him the whole time. You see me say, like, he just told me to get mouthwash or something. Yeah, let me pull this text. Again, so guys, you have receipts. This is fully vetted. Bro, mine just grabbed me to make out, and he goes, get your listerine. It tastes like alcohol. No, he obviously knows you came from the club. He's disgusting. So I come back in the room. And yeah, just to be clear, like, I painstakingly watched, like, the six and a half hour Fresh and Fit live stream where they showed all the text messages and, like, her, her narrative that, like, they, she wasn't interested at all was, like, debunked. And, and just letting you know, I fucking sat here. I actually watched it on increased speed, but it was a six and a half hour podcast. I remember going through it. I gave like a rundown in it. Just letting you know. And then I go to the bathroom, like in the kitchen. He's like, that's not where the mouthwash is. So I was like, oh, okay, um, where's the mouthwash? Hunter, my brother in Christ. He said he thinks it's sexual assault. He, that is him making a claim. Him saying, I think it's sexual assault is still saying that it's sexual assault. He's like, I think that that's sexual assault. I think that you stink like poop. I'm still making the claim that you smell like poop, right? I'm making you aware that it's my claim. But it doesn't mean that he's not saying that it's a sexual assault allegation. And he doubles down on it after my brother. Flush. Ah! Did I miss something? Yeah, he got shot again. Ah! It sounds like a fucking Wait, war. Oh, that was the sound, wasn't it? Holy shit, that fit in so yeah, perfectly. Well. I thought it was him. Apparently something really funny happened. Yeah. But this is the whole response to that part. I think they're saying because she asked where the mouthwash is that, that she was into it. That's my interpretation. 
That's why they're finding this funny. I mean, again, <laughs> oh, this is one of their this is one of their evidence that she's lying. Is because a 19 year old girl who you said is immature, you guys like yell at us with 19 year old girls who's yeah. been taken to a 35 year old guy's house. Yeah, again, she's an adult, so. And he goes, Yo, you need to take mouthwash. I mean, yeah, she might do the mouthwash even though she doesn't intend to fuck him. You know what I mean? Sure. But again, one of the one of the discrepancies is that. When they just when like they didn't work out, she's like, "Can you drive me home?" And he's like, "No." And not to, for nothing, but if you were so unsafe with him, why would you want to, you know, have him drive you home? I'm not trying to be rude. I looked into. I should probably go and, and link it in the description, like my coverage on the situation. Oh, um, but like her narrative overall was debunked, like and just collectively, um, in this situation. I'm just letting you know. I can see gonna... that. Yeah. It's not that funny. Actually, it's not funny. <laughs> We need to fix things. We need to fix things. We yeah, need to fix like things, that. bro. Maybe floor, man. Wait, yeah, we're looking down the floor. Maybe you were so close to getting the truth. <laughs> oh man, you got so the drill. Got the drill right there. Tighten up the screws. Oh well. Can I get an insight into uh, Reach's uh, thought process on that one? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's thinking hard. Oh, He's thinking hard, but nothing happened. So that's their whole response, and you, this that's is it. That's, that's all they said. It's about. self-evident. That's it. We need to fix this. Excellent. Uh, Abba's conclusion here is a. Uh, this and now let me remind you them. this is their reaction before Fresh Fit ever put out quote receipts or anything. This is just their snap judgment. This is just straight up be like she's lying. And again, wait, how do you watch any of this as somebody that doesn't like Fresh and Fit and have made fun of them and criticized them in the past right. and not I see this just... as a story that's showing, <coughs> confirming your suspicion that Myron is a fucking loser? Like, he has no game. He is he a loser. That's he, true. This girl didn't want to sleep with him. He's doing all these Dude, things. She has fucking like, that part's not true. Like, if you actually engage with it, again, it sounds like she's coping. Um, but I do have the two videos. I'm going to put them in the description. One of them is uh, H3's bad take on the former Fresh and Fit guest. There's so much stuff that's going to be in this fucking description, so you'll have to look through it. And then there's the follow up. I actually watched a six hour live stream, but I, I, I broke it down. Into a 33 minute video. Uh, I didn't actually, you know, watch the react to the full thing. It was wild. So let's continue. A lot to take from this other than, oh, this fucking bitch is a liar. You know what I mean? Like, she said she found a stash of plan B in the bathroom. Yeah, that's crazy. Like so, dude. Oh, that's no. crazy. Like, but y'all know, why? because they're, again. And again, they called it a Me Too thing. It's just like, it, all, all that yeah. happened, right, is that you at one point said. He said that he raped her. <laughs> that sounds like that might be assault. And she said, no, I don't see it that way. I'm going to show that coming up when we that's watch the second like, video. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it's strong. And you doubled down on it and said you're not going to watch his full video because you don't care. And man, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's like nobody says fucking. And then you and the whole thing it. is like that I'm trying to persuade her consistently to save essay. There was one brief moment where she said he lifted up her top, and I was like, yo, that sounds fucked up. You came to his place at 5 a.m. Okay, <sighs> made the most basic things I've ever seen. And validation looked like you guys were gonna fuck. Then oh, you said, no, how old are you guys? They're like 33 and. Okay, let me see that one. Yeah, Them in their 30s dissecting the social like implications of the way a 19 year old girl is like showing her interest is so embarrassing. Yeah, 33 and 39. It's so embarrassing. Yeah. They, they, again, he's such a coward, right? He spells it me too. I'm assuming intentionally wrong because he's like being a little baby. Well, like, I'm not going to ask you to because YouTube thinks it's naughty. At their big age, you would think that they know that. Oh, because he's a TW. Someone wants to have sex with them if someone tells them that they spell. want to have sex with them. They don't know that. Yeah, they don't. And it's embarrassing. They are straight up default position women are lying. Yeah. And despite their mortal enemies, fresh and fit, they're ready to ride. <laughs> based on nothing, you know? Really? Just based on a feeling. Not really. There was and a lot they have this fetish for. Shitting on me too because they defended Crowder, so this is like right up there. I guess they hate me more than Fresh and Fit. I, I don't mean shit. I don't know. Yeah. Really yeah. Okay. Them. I think it was because like your your contribution to the social situation, Ethan, was toxic and bad, and they were probably just criticizing that. Um, okay, give me a ride. No. Why does he owe you that? No. You can say he's an asshole. You can say it's a douchey thing. Mm -hmm. We agree. Why no. is this a YouTube video? And actually, who gives a fuck if the man is douchey? Why is this a YouTube video? The reason why you're airing this out is she's making accusations. That's the, again. I mean, that's, who cares if the man is douchey? I mean, that's, oh, and man, that's the whole thrust of all the fucking videos. It's like all your all your content wrong. is like this guy's a people. Yeah. Weren't you that I was like, it's not that serious. We're just beefing. What the fuck is your point? <laughs> There's no consistency to anything you say. You guys are phony as fuck. You okay. pander to your audience. You have no convictions, right? Yep. That's all you are, and you lie all the time too, which I've proven, by the way, either intentionally or not, just from straight up fucking negligence and ignorance. In predator. That's why you do this. So basically, honest, the reason why this is being framed this way, okay? This is a regular encounter with a dude's mad and not getting laid and says, leave. Who cares? He was just a dick. You yeah, that's why we that's why she right. called. That's, yeah, yeah. That was the why she called. He's somebody crawling on the internet that we beef with. So and we thought it was funny that he had a port of plan B in his fucking drawer. Yeah. That, I mean, come on. That's awesome. awesome. They really want to try and say that that's I think this is a little bit of the of the stream after the fresh and fit. A nice thing. young lady, smart, eloquent, who told a story about how fit from fresh and fit. Uh she doesn't want to characterize it as essay. So out of respect, I won't say that. Oh. But let's just say he had a really, 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 really bad. Yeah, it seems like he's doubling down a little bit. Time, time with okay. Finn. Yes. Um, and they're preparing a response. Here it is. Of course, it's got me in a diaper. <laughs> you know, which is basically, is it a total dunk? A girlfriend. And I don't mean her fucking loser. And by what a beta he is. He actually made all the money. She's told how to be better people to give you dating advice, like to look up to. How about people that actually have been in a relationship before? <laughs> Accusations debunk with facts and evidence. And they put the clown emoji on her. It's a nice, like, bro, you guys getting your story straight or what? Oh, wait, they already recorded it. We have a trailer. Oh, okay, so it's from that. Yeah. That's her username. Yes, 11 pages. Me too. It's you know, too somebody said you, uh, she had a bad day. I mean, okay, that's fine. So, guys, we're going to go. Right, maybe he wasn't, uh, maybe he didn't double down on it as much as I thought. I could have swore I remember him doubling down, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, I I oh, oh, he just adds so much to the show. Yeah. yeah. Realize. He goes, he's like boom power. That's it. A fed, yes. Mm -hm
don't know what that is. I can take a look after maybe. Fucking department. And he's fucking friends with human traffickers. Yeah. That part is true. What's his relation here. to the other guy? They're just friends? Yeah. yeah, he's been on a bunch of times and they love him. Hey, man, as y'all know, um, Ethan let a girl call to the show that had been on the podcast before. She said a whole bunch of fucking lies. Yeah, I don't know where she got from, man. I, I don't know. Biggest... Yeah. What the fuck was that? I, I understand you said, I don't know where she got all that stuff from, but the second uh, part... Maybe he didn't double down as much as I thought he did. Yeah, yeah, okay. the the bear, the bear. I didn't know that stuff, man, but I didn't know that. Maybe I was wrong about that. Why did I think that? It's like, you're on a podcast, bro. You can't even speak. You're doing a show where you speak and you can't speak. Mistake is she doesn't realize that, and I'll tell you this there's a reason she sent text messages, there's a reason why she was very ambiguous what she did, and there's a reason why she sent screenshots versus the entire conversation. So I got all that stuff because I always keep receipts. And also, and listen, if you weren't doing what you're doing, I wouldn't be so paranoid about keeping all the receipts. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you'd be like, yo, I better after that encounter, I better save all the correspondence in case, she's, in case she talks about this. Also, how do you share somebody? It's uh, not in this episode. Oh. It's search your video H3H3's response to fresh and fit. Time. Holy fuck, dude, like you're crazy. Okay, this guy's in here like debunking me, debunking myself. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. He responds to Fresh and Fit. 1031, bro. We're so, this is so deep. This is so deep that we're going to get through it. Hold up. So at the end of the night and upset her, and then she kind of seemed to want to, like, take him down. That's, that's what I get out of this. I'm just going to say straight, bro. Like, I'm not fucking watching six hours straight. No, no, I, 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 I just, I think that, like, <clears throat> then you shouldn't be talking about it anymore. I, I, it's, listen, fair. this guy's smart. Like, you, if you're not going to watch it, don't talk about <laughs> it. Throw. Um, don't talk about it. You can't talk about it. You don't have the right to. You can't say, I'm going to talk about a topic and not do anything. <sighs> It's, it's so interesting because, like, Ethan, when Ethan first started making content, he would do his research on everything he talked about. You know, he, we should just watch the original. Okay. Wait. Holy fuck. He would watch his content and then react to it. Now he watches it while reacting, which I do too. No, no criticism. But now he won't even watch the content to react to it. You don't have to watch the whole show. You don't have to do it on stream, but you could have, you could have paid somebody. It's interesting that Ethan used to do the work himself, and now he has t the resources, tons of money to have someone else do it, but he refuses to have them do it. It's an interesting, uh, very privileged perspective to come from. Where, like, originally, when he didn't have the money incentive yet because he wasn't rich, he's like, I know I have to be 100% credible. I have to do my due diligence. Now the guy's rich and doesn't even have to do it himself. Four, he can't even do that much. Three. So it's really. All right, so 149.01 is when we start having this conversation. This is after the other one we just played. <laughs> Holy fuck. I any of you guys to watch that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I mean, six hours. Like, to me, now, but I think from what I, the snippets that I've got, it's basically exactly what I predicted. Where it's like, she was texting me, she was nice, she wanted to hang out, she came over to my apartment. It's like, bro, none of that fucking changes this anything. Uh, okay. Sam, have you talked to her? Is she doing okay? Yeah, I have. Um, I've been in contact with her. She's fine. Um, she's getting some hate, you know, to be expected from their fans. But other than that, I think she's doing okay. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything they said would convince anyone other than people that are already so far gone down the black. That's people not true. Black but... building, you know what to say. Here's one moment that did stand out to me that I thought was pretty funny. They had the cap counter for every time they got her. Uh, what, did it, what did it finish at? Like, 100... Where does it say in here that, that she doubles down, he doubles down on that? You're 20 or something? I don't I'm not kidding. It was, I, that, I, it was that obscene. Yeah. It was that obscene. What do you guys think about this moment, though? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm excited to do these types of shows. Wait, because guess what? This has happened to me before. Girls come out with crazy alligators. How many times has this happened to you? <laughs> like, I'm just curious. Here. It's never happened to me once. I'm right, yeah, I'm the same age as Fit, I think, right about. And uh, I've never been accused of doing it. I'm just saying, like, like if years, it's happening to you so many times, once, like, okay, maybe, maybe I can believe you. Twice? Three times plus? Mm, I think I'm going to trust the ladies at three points. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening here, dude? This is ridiculous. I'm fucking watching this video and somebody says Papa guy, a guy is not relevant. Why the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I getting why am I getting attacked? What happened? Why am I getting attacked right now? Oh my god, I had a perfect take on the bike situation, you silly idiot. You can tell me what you have an issue with, but you're going to be wrong. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, what you, what's happening here? Papa guy is not relevant, LMAO. What the fuck? Why am I getting hate? Papa guy keeps talking about it. He's super obsessed with you. What the fuck, dude? Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my lord. Holy fuck. Jesus, they're fucking getting at me, dude. What the hell? Plus, I trust the one girl, trust me, but I think he just snitched on himself big time. There's other accusers out there, you guys. He just said, what the fuck, dude? You're dumb. You're a fucking idiot. But to me before, girls come out with crazy allegations. And what do I have? I have the proof. You got me great. Blah, blah, blah. All this other shit. You coerced me into sex. Really? Do you find coerced? So he just said that some girl accused him of coercing him into sex. He literally just said that. Like, well, that's disgusting, bro. Uh, but okay. you know. I used to like Papa Gut, but he's gotten so damn annoying and goes off while being incredibly misinformed. Jesus, Jessica Jingle. Oh my God, Jessica, Jessica Jingle just jangled my jungus, dude. Holy shit. I'm getting roasted in this fucking chat right now from a year ago, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Did I know I wasn't relevant? Oh, absolutely. I 100% know that I'm not fucking relevant. Thank you so much for the six-month small gut uh, from Baguette Stealer 07. 
that's kind of what the, the red pill dating now i just have to read more for, just so i can see more of this shit culture is it's like a playbook of how to coerce women into having sex with you so for him he's uh, like, yeah, that's my strategy that's literally he is doubling down a little bit on the narrative that's literally my objective yeah um so i guess to him it doesn't sound that offensive why would you want to have sex with an unwilling participant you know uh it, he's he's doubling down here he's he's doubling down a little bit maybe not as uh, uh as as uh uh blah, 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 blah. Uh, maybe not as um, th th there's a word I'm looking for, but he's still doubling down there. Don't you want to have sex with somebody that wants to be with you? They're roasting me probably because I disagreed with uh, this. That's just a stretch, thing. perhaps. But uh, you know, well, the definition to me is one. Stop this, stupid. No, Bro, don't do record scratches when you're talking about serious words. Uh, I'm oh. gonna take that record scratch away from. And then there's a Takashi six nine soundbite that followed it. Stupid. Yeah. Class. Oh, it's not what the definition to you. What's the Webster fucking dictionary? Oh well, I don't define it that way. This is the crazy couple of words. What's the What's the Webster dictionary? What, what is he asking us to define? I think he's what doubled it, down. What, down essay or, 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 or coercion. Okay. Coercion is sexual assault. Okay. Yo, do you even know what coercion means? Just, yeah, you had sex with me begrudgingly, okay? I, I think he's doubling down. Well, okay, you're guilty until proven innocent. You must protect yourself and keep receipts. Don't listen to Ethan. Don't listen to any of these weirdos that are telling you. Oh, you but I can see why somebody might not think that he was doubling down. Stop, stop bullying Hunter in the chat. I'm, stop it. Or I'm going to start timing you out. All right, shut the fuck up. I need Hunter in the chat so he can disagree with me so I can make sure I got my shit together. I'm a guilty conscience. Oh, so I'm just supposed to. Bro, the biggest proof that he has a guilty conscience is that he did a six hour fucking podcast <laughs> with 120 caps. Like, if he was really innocent, it would be so easy to explain if he really could prove. Like, if you're going to talk for six fucking hours about she talked about in 30 minutes, that is overcompensating big time, dude. How many accusers do you have, uh, Fit? I think you need to say how many accusers you have. And then I'll judge you. Then I'll, then I'll take it from there. Also, I mean, I understand, you know, I, I get why he's reacting this way, um, but I'm watch, like, I think it's important to point out the girl that called in, because I, I don't know if we have a clip of this, but they kept saying that she's a cloud chaser. The girl that called in called in anonymously. She wanted, never showed her face. Never showed her face. Didn't say her name. The only people who know who she is are people that went down a rabbit hole and... Oh, Papa, you were upset that he kept saying he coerced her. That makes sense. Um, purposely sought her out. So she's not yeah. seeking clout. And she also, you can disagree with her characterization. She did not accuse them. Of sexual assault. She was actually went out of her, way, out of her way to say that's specifically is, not characterized yeah, as essay. Ethan characterized that. Between the lines, thing. and that's what they're taking from her story. That's that's fine. Not but people, she she is not. She did not make that specific accusation. She called in to tell her story because she had an uncomfortable time with him, and because he's a fucking loser, and wanted to make fun of him and reveal what a weirdo he is, and how gamey and like the Tim Pool comment, and just okay. all of that. Um, and even well, you know, even if we just set anything. To be honest you know, with you, there's not much else. No, there are no other messages about me, so I'm kind of getting bored of this video. Because they think they're being accused of doing something. <laughs> they're trying to like unorganized, like right. effort to cancel them. Right. But let's just, for argument's sake, just set aside, like just say, okay, nothing illegal happened. She was of age, so, and there was, and you know, nothing so, untoward. Well, yeah, that's that what happened. happened. But fine. it's still her story. Still demonstrated. I mean, this is a guy who makes a living being this alpha male, red pill dating advice guy. And he's a fucking loser. He's got no fucking game. That's true. Like, that's loser. true. Speaking no game. facts. Nobody win. even wants to. She just couldn't. She wanted to get out. He's admittedly never had a girlfriend. Yeah, this this is, man is a fucking loser. That's true. And the only Long time he gets girl. sex, he just admit himself is coercion. Yeah. In fact, he's been accused of coercing women to sleeping with him. Well, yeah, there, here you go. Here it is. This man is a fucking loser. Mid thirties. And the only time he gets sex, he just admit himself is coercion. Yeah. Fact, yeah. See, like Ethan's doubling down, saying that it's that he coerced him. Uh, here, we'll we'll play. Uh, we'll get out. He's admittedly never had a girlfriend. Yeah. This, this is man is a fucking loser. Mid thirties. And the only time he gets sex, he just admit himself is coercion. In fact, he's been. Accused he, of coercing women to sleep. I don't think he admitted that, but even saying that he literally only rapes women. That's what he's saying here. Just letting you know, coercion is rape. Uh, so Ethan is saying that he only as it only rapes women. He doesn't ever have consensual sex, which might be true considering what he says to about the women who have sexually assaulted. So maybe Ethan is really maybe the problem with Ethan. This is this is Ethan's problem is he's existing in the past, present, and future simultaneously, existing on multiple uh, wavelengths at the same time, perceiving every second of every day through his entire life at the same exact time, and he could just tell that Fresh and Fit. He just he remembers hearing Fresh and Fit saying to women who were raped that it's their fault they should have picked better men, but he heard it in the incorrect moment in time that he was in and he he brought that future information uh through his brain into the now <clears throat> how's that how's that i don't like that i don't know let's get back to the regular video so we get the fuck this shit over with dude holy fuck where is it here it is it's not but they didn't bring Bible to learn about they didn't bring that up <laughs> Of course they didn't bring that. a drawer of plan B. That means he's planning on nutting in multiple women with no protection. That's rewild. Like in the near future. Right, because that should probably be bad for a minute. Imagine yourself. a single dude. Imagine Myron, he goes to a pharmacy. Yo, can I get five plan B, please? That's five fucking A-hole! I mean, that's funny. Okay, I'm sorry y'all don't think so, but apparently jokes are jokes. Global warming is uh, real. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something about global warming. <sighs> you guys see how phony you are? I hope I'm getting through to you. I'm not. Nah. I know exactly what they're going to do in response, and I don't care. They're not, <sighs> it's not going to get through to them. They're going to try to... Take, they'll take everything, a straw man it. And Chocolate rain. Wait, and walk on screen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Song? At least, I mean, there is, <clears throat> at least in the past, I don't know, but somewhat of an overlap in our audiences. And Tell it to past, my heart. These guys being annoying to you, whatever. I do see Tell something me that's like, no, no, I'm the, the only one. Maybe we're at least clarifying 
I like, tell some other people in our audience yeah, why yeah, yeah. we're I mean, not fans. Like I would come across their videos doing research. I like their videos yeah, a lot. Um, the first time I ever yeah. saw them was a video of them viciously roasting Fresh and Fit, right, which yeah. is what it makes this also ironic. Yeah. And he's like, the statement, why is this a YouTube video? Oh, he's a douche who cares. I mean, you've yeah. made that video. Right. Yeah. You've, you've made, made that video, video like uh, 200 times. Yeah. The video that, that turned me off from them is a Crowder video. When I first saw that, I was in shock. I'm like, what is going Whoa. on? Because it's just so reaching. Yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, and then play the Keemstar one. Why are you Close so obsessed yeah. with me? Who cares? Girl, I want to know. Lying that you're sexy me. And she never claimed that he did that. Sorry. She never fucking claimed sorry. it. Sorry. You joke. Sorry. I you frauds. Get into your it. default position is fuck women. Don't you see that? All right, moving on to the second video. So, he uh, retracted his own video. Fresh and Fit, their podcast, where they showed all the receipts proving she's a liar. And then they did a second video called We Were Right, She's Lying or some shit like that. So here's an example of what they use to prove she's lying. They keep saying it, she's a liar. People need to know who she is. Here's her name, here's her face. They show text messages that imply that he didn't try to separate them. She claimed that. The club was only one mile away. <laughs> oh yeah, that was such a stupid claim though. I think that was something that Ethan latched onto because they were like, he was trying to separate. Like, so with Fresh and Fit, I think we're each trying to like date or be with one of the girls, right? Uh, there was another girl, I think her friend or something, whatever. And they're like, at some point, I think it was that the fr pr fresh was like kind of dating one girl uh, and whatever. And then fit was like, oh, I'll date this other girl or some shit. And they're like, yeah, they separated us at some point. Right. Like they got like we were friends, but then they separated us. And it's like it sounds so bad when you say they separated us. But if they're going back to their hotel to fuck or whatever, why wouldn't you? Why would you what are you supposed to stay together? Fuck on the same bed. It's a little weird. <clears throat> so the separation thing is silly. Said she was stranded. She was wearing Fresh and Fit merch, and she was suggesting ideas for sound drops for the show. That she was already drinking when she arrived there, and that is basically proof that she's a liar and needs to be doxxed and harassed. Interestingly, though, I guess uh, this was more Myron than and his video trying to defend himself confirms the worst part of her story. What's okay? that? You guys are gonna love this. The six-hour podcast, by the way. Holy shit! Yep. How could they have that fucking I mean, <laughs> Jesus, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're at three, so we're halfway there. I mean, that's still a far cry, man. <laughs> three is a big difference from six. We'll see how early we. I, I think we're actually almost done. Uh, context. So here, here's what they're saying here. Let's take a look. Yeah, and so I'm like, I have my hands like on him, where it's like I don't want him like laying on me like intimately. So I'm just holding my hands up, and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm, like this was about like max a minute long, and I was wearing like, like the shirt, and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifts up the shirt and made a comment, and then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, oh, I you lifted up your shirt and kind of looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah, yeah, my chest because I have I have piercings. Uh, you, you, yeah. you, you say what? And I said I have piercings. So he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. And it was very it's, creepy. Was, Myron's laughing right now because he remembers. So, like, I, I, I don't want to. <laughs> no, it was not creepy. She's mad because I basically made a joke about her titties being lopsided. Whatever. So. Yeah, that's shitty. That is the worst part of the video if Ethan didn't push the false rape accusation. This doesn't confirm that he jumped on her and leapt on her in some capacity. They were obviously, based on body language, they were in that instance to fuck. Like she knew that they were, she was going back to his hotel or whatever to probably sleep with him in some capacity. Um, and the way that she's framing the story seems, it seems like she wasn't interested, but it seemed like they were interested based on the text messages and whatnot. Uh, and then she was coping pretty hard after she, after he did said like a shitty thing, like he made fun of her breasts. He made fun of she was very intimately made fun of a part of her body, um, and that upset her. And that's pretty much when everything ended. So <laughs> what he's effectively done is admit that he did lift up her shirt and look at her titties. Now, if somebody does that without your consent, what is that? That's cool. Well, you didn't prove that it was not consensual, but thank you, Ethan. Y you can't see why I was visibly bothered by that uh, fact. That I agree that people should get explicit consent. You guys should say, "Can I? Can I touch your boobies?" There's a. <laughs> say it just like that. <laughs> there are ways to ask to kiss and stuff like that consensually, right? Like you can go, can you can, um, you know, you can you can do it. All right, I know people are like, oh, it's kind of gay and cringe. No, no, if you're, like, only nerds are asking for express ex explicit consent. That's why it seems cringy. But you can go up to a girl and you can be like, can I steal a kiss or something? Um, you can go and put your hand on a girl's shirt and say, is this okay? You can have a conversation beforehand that's like, listen, if there's anything I ever do, just say stop and I will stop. Don't even worry about it. There's ways to, 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 to navigate. But the reality is that doesn't mean that every bit of communication is going to be explicit. And if she didn't like it, she would have to say stop. Now, you might be like, but she could have got it. There's no reason for her to think that she might have gotten hurt. If he did threaten her afterwards, sure, but that didn't happen. In fact, she wanted to drive home with him after. She wanted him to drive, uh, him to drive her home, which means that she probably didn't feel unsafe. My point isn't to minimize people. My point is, is that like women exist in the ballet between of sex between men and women, right? And to instantly assume that like she felt like she was in this coerced, pressured situation, despite the fact that she made conscious decisions to go into the room and do a bunch of things and and whatnot. And even in the text message, they show that she's like, "Oh, I'm fine," you know, between the friend because the friend's like, "Are you okay?" She's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Um, like you can't just assume everything is some kind of you want to suck it. <laughs> my wife, my wife said in the in the chat. <laughs> I just say you want to suck it. Um, <laughs> you're fucking silly. But yeah, sorry. Um, 
I've got thrown off by that comment. Yeah. Point is, is I don't think it's realistic to call it sexual assault or anything. And you again, Ethan is doubling down here. By the way, he's Jesus saying he admitted Christ, it. Super chatted five dollars. Um, merch idea. Yes. A shirt Thank you, with Jesus a massive Christ. papa gut bingo that we play as we watch. Yes. When you complete it, we show you and we get it working vid or something. I will see if I'm allowed to do that on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, Ethan's even doubling down here, saying it's coerced. Somebody does that without your consent. What is that? Yeah, see, he's saying it's rape against. That's cool. <clears throat> you, you can't see why I was visibly bothered by that uh, fact. They didn't know going in. Y'all don't think that that's a little bit strange? Oh, but they're yeah, like, oh, she, she pushed back on. You're uh, reaching, Ethan. <sighs> that I didn't feel like it was assault. And you said, okay, fair enough. But and I, I feel her. like it's understandable for you to hear that detail, and you're having a conversation to ask that. You didn't say that's assault. You said that kind of sounds like assault. I mean, I don't know. It, it does kind of sound like that. Yeah. And then you said the only engages in coercive sex on your one of your follow-up streams. We just watched it. So and then she said, no, I don't think it was. And then <laughs> he only the only time he gets sex is when he rapes a girl. But I'm not saying that he's a, that he raped a girl. Okay. And, and, and then Myron goes, yeah, it happened. And I made fun of her lopsided titties too. <laughs> yeah, he he said that it happened that he that he pulled her shirt up. <laughs> Insane. Okay. And so their whole thrust is Ethan's a giant. People, especially when they have a bad experience, tend to filter the entire experience through that bad experience. Right. So if I go to the circus, to, you know, tomorrow, is there a circus in town, babe? Anyway. And I go and I have an excellent time. I eat um, Oreos. What are they called? Deep fried Oreos. And I play some games and I win a prize for my wife and she gives me smooches and we have a good time. And then I get stabbed. I might think that that entire experience kind of sucks. Right. <laughs> And I might filter the entire experience through that. Um, maybe not the best example, but I think that's what's happening here and why her, her story is very like, I wasn't interested when she clearly, like she was. Um, <clears throat> piece of shit. He was trying to get her to say it's essay the whole time. You've heard me suggest some, my, my brother, I love you so much, Hunter, but you're, 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 you're naining yourself at this point. You're fucking owning yourself. You have to stop. You have, you have, you are a masochist, my brother. Okay. I've heard you suggest similar things about Myron. Myron said to a woman, Somewhat recently, that if she <laughs> gets raped, that it's her fault for picking a bad guy. That is rape apologia. Of course, I would say that he might be a rapist, but I'm not making explicit. That's what I was looking for before. Explicit accusations about situations. Okay. Total lie. Total fucking lie. That's what the fuck it is, man. All right. There you go. And by the way, this is Ann Abbott Preacher's video, so they saw this. <sighs> okay. And they go, oh, that's fucked up. You shouldn't talk about her body. It's like, hmm. I appreciate that. There. Yeah. Okay. No, but they're missing the fucking point. They I spent the whole time calling her a liar, and then when the, when he admits to doing the worst thing, they don't see it for what it is. They spent two videos calling me and her liars that we were <sighs> intentionally orchestrating Maybe. a fake me too. It's it's insane. It's insanely disingenuous. Um. Well, you were. But... Here they say Ethan implied repeatedly it's essay. Let's check it out. Even though said, oh, I don't think he did a crime. Whatever. Listen, the way you said the story, the way that you guys are framed. The There's a carnival that starts tomorrow. Oh my god, guys! I'm gonna get stabbed. I'm so excited. Ethan keeps implying it. In fact, most people in the it was one time. It was literally one time. So that's what you did. We all understand what you're framed. Okay? You can't say I didn't say you did that crime. But you're like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, he did grab a knife and then put it inside you. Oh, so he stabbed you. I'm, I'm not saying he stabbed. I'm just saying like, you know, I was uncomfortable. What? Yeah, what? Okay. I agree. But uh, she said he lifted my tongue. Yeah. Right. What was the analogy that he made? He's giving a completely. Yes, he is. Ethan's making explicit, uh, saying that explicitly that, that that he raped this girl. Yeah, he is. He's, he keeps saying that. He just said it before that he touched her without his consent or whatever. She, she he touched her without her consent. It doesn't fit with would the say, circumstances. At all. Would you say extreme? Because he's criticized Ethan for extreme examples, mm. extreme analogies. Oh, right. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never compare everything to Adolf Hitler at every opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> ISIS. Okay. ISIS. I mean, those are powerful analogies. Yeah. Work good. So what's being said? That doesn't mean that this dude's not a loser. Okay. That doesn't mean that this dude's not a goober. Okay. Right. Because but it doesn't. He lifted up. He lifted up her shirt, and she was very uncomfortable. Does that sound bad? Yeah. The take is she was there at five a.m. Uh, she should have fucked him. So if he lifted up her, her shirt and made fun of her, I think part of the take is that if you go home with somebody at 5 a.m., you're probably you're going to be expecting some kind of a sexual encounter like the I'm not trying to be an asshole, but like nobody's like, oh, let me go hang out with a, a person at 5 a.m. You're probably going to go fuck. And this is my wife. So we wouldn't even be awake at that point. We would be sleeping while driving and I would crash the car and we'd be sleeping uh, next to in a, in a tree wrapped around a tree because uh, we're old now. It's too late. Actually, I was up till seven in the morning for whatever reason. Yes, I couldn't sleep. Anyway, the titties, then that's on her. Making fun of her tits is not a problem. Like, yeah, that sucks. And that's horrible. And you shouldn't have done that. And he's an asshole. He shouldn't have lifted up her shirt. That's fucking crazy. He didn't dispute that, you noticed. Right. No, he, he did. And he they, didn't, like, they didn't have anything to say about it. He was laughing and smiling, saying that should happen. Right. And I'm proud of it. Right. And how old is it again? 35. And she was 19. Cool. All of okay. these men making these horrible arguments are so <laughs> yeah. old and so embarrassing. As a side note, okay. to add on to what Dan was saying about their response video, Fresh and Fit, you really see what fucking losers they are. Like, I don't know how any of these incels believe them. He had an exchange with this girl, this 19 year old, for about, I think it was like a month going back and forth trying to hook up with her. For one 19 year old girl, he was like, like, trying so hard. Yeah, maybe that's Plan B isn't getting any use. Like, and I, okay. Uh, the I, I, the there. I think the Plan B is an incel flex. I think he, he just had to go get these bitches Plan B. Really the only time I've ever seen a bowl of Plan B is at school in the health center on the weekends. <laughs> they leave it on the counter. Like, like I don't understand. Like, like, he's like, yeah, I practice unsafe sex. <laughs> okay. What about it? Um. So, like, you can see how in their desperate attempt to not believe any women, right? Their default position is women be lying. Uh -huh. 
Uh, yeah, I know. He's implying sexual assault because he lifted up the shirt. Like, given this, we have to understand that it's two people in the story telling the story, and they're going to advocate for themselves the most. But based on the common sense of the situation, um, it's it was I think that she it was consensual that he lifted her shirt up. I can't believe you're watching this. I'd rather repeatedly punch myself in the face and analyze the situation again. Yeah, that's my wife, guys. She's right. They're wrapping themselves into a pretzel. Right. I can see it. Their audience can because they don't show them everything. They're fucking liars. Yeah, and they hate. And I, I think I didn't. This is why I'm Team Trisha. I really think that they just women be lying. I'm Team Trisha, guys. I'm after this video, I'm stepping away from commentary. <laughs> we have to finish it. This is this is the last bit of the video, guys. We only have 30 minutes left, which is 15 minutes since it's double speed. Okay, I didn't ask to do this. You guys voted 72 percent in favor of this. Why did it happen? Why did we make that video? Yeah, he's he's, he's a, a shit. He, there's no consistency. Yeah, no one's just a quarter. Yeah, she left right after. She wanted him to drive her home, and he's like, "No, fuck that." All the power to you. Which I thought was shitty, but my wife was like, "No, nah, that's whatever." You don't know? have to do that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think Reach uh, was gonna make a point. What was he thinking about? I don't know. Oop. Right, right. I can, I can understand the thought process. Uh, 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 uh. Very good. She asked him if if he wanted to see her tattoos. Oh, did he actually? I don't care. So I'm not analyzing this anymore. But that makes, I get what you're saying. That makes sense. Check this out. They bring it up in a later video, and now they All characterize they it like this. Have you tattooed my balls? I don't know why we did. Because Ethan, what you did was so goddamn fucking stupid. You brought on some young teenager to come tell salacious lies about another man just because you dislike him so much. You're willing to allow someone to come on and tell disparaging lies just to get back at them. You lack so much character that you bring on a fucking liar. Try to encourage her to say that she was somehow like a bad. This is very bad. Right. Just, these are the dudes who don't care about internet beef. By the way, it's cringy to them. Mm -hmm. Also, well, their argument would be false accusations are not internet beef. So. They're lying about someone lying right now because they don't like you. You know what, feminist loser? Like that. Right, you're right. I'm too loud. You're the bus. She's lying. She's 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 just because you hate somebody, that's how twisted you are in your head. And you have your audacity. It's really not, not that big of a stretch. Let's be fucking real. Like, what, again, he, the look. clip that they showed, based off of what you described, I don't think it's that big of a stretch for you to ask that question. Not at all. And again, she put oh, back in yeah, It is a stretch to double down and constantly. Well, well, I, I'd like to ask They're making such a fucking big deal out of it. I don't they get made it. it sound like I came here with the intent to persuade her to accuse them of some crime. Right. Now, I ask you guys, what do you call it if somebody lifts up somebody's top to expose their breasts without their permission? Uh, that's obviously inappropriate, some violation, maybe sexual harassment or some form of sexual assault. But, like, you, I don't think that that's what happened. You're listening. Like, again, Fresh are worthless pieces of shit, but again, like, given this, this scenario, there, she was most, she was there to, to sleep with him, and then it just didn't work out because he's a scumbag. Is that just a joke? Or is she just, he's entitled to do whatever he wants to her because it's 5 a.m., and she's, why is she there? Like, genuinely, if it's that crazy of a statement, you tell me what you think someone lifting their top is against their consent. He admitted to that, by the way. So, don't even say, try he to did, He didn't admit to that. He said he lifted her top. He didn't say he lifted her top without her consent. Say she's lying. Because he just laughed so, and smiled and said, yeah, that fucking happened. So, he, did, he, he said that the joking that he made about her breasts happened. Go ahead and tell me. Please. I'm dying to know. Okay. No, it's You're just so fucking unethical. Yeah, we, I fucking hate everybody on the line, to be honest with you. That's what we said. Damn. We got to defend these niggas. And then I go to the bathroom. Like, you, didn't. Yeah, you didn't have to do Women that. be lying. You made a choice. Women be lying, baby. Women be lying. You made one before they put Bitches out the receipts, okay, and after. One based on feelings, and then one based on some really fucking stupid shit, and including them admitting to the worst part. And he's like, that's not where the mouthwash is. So I was like, okay, um, where's the mouthwash? Ah! Oh yeah, so we saw it. So there they are, uh, building the mythology of <laughs> this okay. girl lying, and me uh, somehow trying to get her to do fake me too stuff. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. But okay. here, this gets really interesting, okay? No. Again, this is in the same vein as like the bottom controversy. They think is that- there more? I don't know what they're trying to do, but this is good. Okay, and Ethan, you might wish that somebody did the same for you, because I remember very recently you were in Influencer brand accused of fostering a toxic work environment. Oh, okay. Kind of little scandal where people are claiming that you guys were demonstrating your employees with a bunch of reviews, and you said these are all false. These are all false. Well, guess what? Guess what? Why don't we believe that people who claim that you did something wrong? You want to know why? Because we require evidence, proof that people are telling the truth. How about him admitting it happened? <laughs> How about him saying yeah? Okay, no, but like, I love that he thinks that leaving an online review is equal to an assault allegation, which he didn't do, by the way, right? But I just want to say it didn't really happen. Again, mm -hmm. like there wasn't really an allegation. All there was a drama. question. Yeah, was. It's all you do, drama. It's all but even based, based, based on his logic, even niggas are making fucking sense. <laughs> Yeah. Again, it's like they're just trying to bring up there to be like, look at this fucking guy. But leaving a review on a website that anyone can re leave a review on is the same in their minds as an, a woman making an accusation. And again, they continue to group them all up. All accusations are created equal so that they can just, all women be lying. I mean, this is day day. It's the same as leaving a fake glass. I wish I haven't appreciated and left the girl so much. Yeah, I agree. I think it came off very tone deaf. I agree with that. Store review. Somebody did the same for you. Because I remember very recently you were in some kind of scandal where people were claiming that you guys were mistreating your employees with a bunch of reviews. And you said, these are all false. These are all false. Well, guess what? The button guess is what? mocking Steven Crowder because he has a button that tells co hosts stop talking. No way. What? Why do we believe that people who claim that you did something wrong? Go ahead. Do whatever you want, bro. Do whatever you want. I said what I said. I mean, it's not like I was like, well, to be fair, this person's 100% telling the truth. <laughs> right. Which is what they did. Right. Well, yeah, took... this person said that uh, we made them work in cage. Well, okay. Just, well,
making sure that dudes who shouldn't have daughters have daughters and you know okay. dudes who shouldn't have sons have sons i found that to be true it's interesting um, yikes so, i felt like that was a little too much there i mean i can understand the general sentiment but jesus christ that felt like a disproportionately personal a saying you know hope you never have daughters that's a what a sad thing uh okay that seems a little too personal given the circumstances but okay now here's the they, they have gone out and said this girl is lying right david she's a liar okay. make me to claim proof she's lying where's the evidence we brushed over this left. This is a hit piece. Okay. And that's exactly what the fuck I told you. What do you mean, where's the evidence? Well, I don't understand the question. What? Fake me to claim, proof she's lying. Where's the evidence? Well, she would be the, she's the one that had is, has the burden of proof, unfortunately, if she was assaulted, which she wasn't. That's an unfortunate reality, but like she would be the one that would need the burden of proof. So I don't know what you mean, where's the evidence? We brushed <laughs> over this left. This is a hit piece. And that's exactly what the fuck I told you, that there's girls that act exactly like that. I yeah, said like, that. This is really stupid. That age, of. we'll go and do that for ego. Until you put your face and name out <laughs> right. and said, go harass her. This kind of behavior does not show whenever you say that, you know what, it's only 10% of uh, claims that are false claims. This is a false claim, but it's not reported. So now they're using this to make the larger argument that it's reported that there's only between like 5 and 10% false claims. So they're saying, no, it's actually way, way, way higher because this girl lied about the, Myron. about the, uh, her drinking before she went there or something. Uh, uh, claim that her false claim. This is a false claim. It's not. Not a claim. But it's not reported. Because fresh or fit are not gonna report that shit. It's not a claim. That's why I wasn't reported. Things like that happen. Because they feel ashamed, because it's pride, because of whatever what not there is, This is mask off. Women create false allegations in mass. Way more than you'd expect because they're embarrassed. This, this is mask off. Women are not gonna report that shit. It's not a claim. That's why I wasn't reported. Things like that happen. Because they feel ashamed, because it's pride, because of whatever what not there is, This is mask off. Women create false allegations in mass. Way more than you'd expect because they're embarrassed. And for ego. I think that she, that her framing of the story was because she was embarrassed. I just don't think that it was a, a sexual assault claim at all. But okay. Um, for ego. Yeah. You uh, cannot put it in any in any clear uh, in any clear sense. It really is. Yeah. That's, that's a fresh and fit take. It's, like they are exactly. It's like really not that far off. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I can't hear you. Use, use Olivia's yeah, mic. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 yeah, uh, excuse me, loser. Uh, fresh and fit. Their video is when hashtag believe all women goes wrong. Uh, that's, 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 oh, there, and in the description it says save a man's life uh, with uh, this video. Share save it. a man's life. Myron was gonna okay. be his life was destroyed by uh, <clears> a bad girl saying it's a bad date. Yeah, completely. I just completely can't get over how old they are and how young she is. Yeah, but they, they are fresh and fit. That's what. How do we go back in time and this topic became relevant again? Because Ethan's finally responding to it. Interesting. And this is just misogynistic. Just fucking yeah, trash. Yeah, misogyny. Just trash. They go. They go. The studies say five to ten percent. I don't believe it though because of this story. It's obviously way way higher than that. Maybe. You have to believe all the science. If you, you believe in global climate change, <laughs> you believe in global warming. If so, you have to believe. I irrefutable, okay. bro. I'm sorry. They need to prove okay. a point because they dislike someone. So they also have a take about oh, believe all women is bullshit. Uh, I don't know if I time something. Well, you shouldn't believe all women. You should take all claims seriously, um, but understand that like you're innocent until proven guilty. So somebody approaches you like I was sexually assaulted by such and such. You listen to it. You you take it seriously. You obviously want to guess, investigate it. Although that's really not for us to do. But you also don't take it as an absolute fact and, and judge the other person until everything comes out, right? It's a very difficult, uh, harsh kind of a scenario. Uh, difficult to, to them to navigate, of course. I remember seeing that. Can we'll I put this that. 3X? We'll um, do I don't we'll think do I can. I just like to do Women be lying. Women be trying to ruin men's lives. It's, it's just what they do. I'm going to go out of my way to lie. I don't oh like them, God. so I'm just going to go lie about insulting me. Oh, it's such an insanely hurtful thing to say about, about any woman ever. That's true, Olivia. I agree. Continue. It's a very yeah, I agree. humiliating yep. I a thousand percent experience agree with this. to go yep. through something like she is actually that speaking facts. and free. Yeah. For anyone to assume that like someone claiming being a victim Sorry. or surviving something is them like wanting to boost their ego is so incredibly wrong and, uninform and uninformed that like you one yeah. million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young women to not talk to each other to not talk to anyone to not tell anyone that something happened because idiots Maybe. like you old ass idiots like you will say no 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 young girls act like that young girls act like that when really what's happening is that a young girl is dealing year old. Yeah, this specific point she's like a, yeah she is right about like the way that they talked about her was definitely inappropriate and it does it does i think it can easily communicate especially to young people that like women do be just lying about sexual assault and they will weaponize it you know i you know i think that i don't think it's uncommon for some guys to have like a false claim against them in some capacity um 
I also think it's possible based on the, with the teachings of the way that we deal with consent that, you know, maybe some men don't even realize that they're violating a boundary. Um, but we also do teach in a way that makes women feel like sometimes maybe <laughs> everything is negative. Again, a reference back to Ethan saying you, you know, rich men or whatever can't consensually engage with or shouldn't be uh, engaging in hookup culture because the women, they can't consent correctly in some capacity. That's what that's what's communicated. I think that it's kind of like we have both extremes here. Both sides are, are not are not really communicating the the, the correct uh, conversation about this topic. A nineteen year old was tried to get picked up by a thirty five year old. Yep. And you know what? You sound like a feminist loser, though. Yep. I'm just gonna interject. <laughs> I do. I do. I'll say it. She's a loser, feminist researcher who spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'll take it back. Yep. Real back. Yep. Hey, research, They're, baby. This is who they are. This is this is what I'm trying to say. They're not better. They are fresh and fit, just with a nicer veneer. Yeah. Like you know, a, a degree of charisma. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, and not really just, they're not like, uh, yeah, but the underlying beliefs are indistinguishable. So. No, she told us she was crying when she left. It was a difficult. She felt humiliated. So. Absolutely. A thousand percent because she humiliated her based on, like, made fun of her body in front of her, like a real scum piece of shit. And that's the biggest problem. That, uh, that's why Fresh is a loser. They're more, they're more concerned with 35 year old Myron. I meant fit, but they're both losers. Yeah, being exposed is being kind of cringe. Because again, that's that's pretty much the so, extent of this so, accusation. Oh, so pathetic you guys are. So unserious. So pathetic. It's awesome. A whole story to do that. But it's not going to be sported. Reported. Why? Because guys shut the fuck up about that shit. Uh -huh. so, men, men don't be lying. Women, they do be lying. <laughs> men, men are cool. They don't talk shit. Women, they lie. You know? You can't even talk to me about false blame that are reported. Shut the fuck up about that shit because yeah. that shit is not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not real. Preach, literally. <laughs> Back up the science on that one, please. Hey, Zach, can I get the science on that one? What the dumbass, dude? That's going to be it. Yeah. Okay. I just want to appreciate something. We glanced over this last time. But just think of how manipulative and how much of a fucking loser you have to be to despise someone, go out of your way to interact with this person so you can then afterwards reject them. So you want to lead somebody on. Talking about a 19 year old girl who, this 35 year old fucking loser whose whole persona is that he's this slick alpha women destroyer, he spent a month trying to fuck this girl, couldn't, and then he got rejected. And somehow it's on her. Now, now, uh, 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 what's a, uh, uh, Bab, or, uh, Reach is, uh, the squeaky guy, squeaky head. Um, Preach. squeaky brain. Right. Dude, he was just going on and on about how weird 19 year olds are lame. They are lame. Okay. Pretend you have interest. So you can be like, you fucking loser. You wanted me? Get out of here. I would never. How much of a loser you have to be to go out of your way to spend time with people you can apparently dislike? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good question. You should really wonder about the adult uh, who, who's participating. Yeah, right. uh, so let's see. Um, that I thought was pretty good. Now, when we're talking about More the like lies that she told, again, <laughs> they're taking this for granted. She is a fucking liar. They say it in the title, they repeat it in the videos, despite my admitting to the worst part. Here's my favorite slam dunk on this is like, This is what I mean, right? So remember, she's like, oh, uh, I don't know how to get home, all this other stuff. Like, yeah, you know, I feel stranded. I'm going to show you how, how lazy and entitled these girls are and how close they Coconuts, I see, is really. He's engaged. He's, he's right there with you, brother. He's, he's trying to keep up. He's we, doing his best. He's we, doing his best. We need a coconuts and squeak podcast. Uh, oh. They just silently stare at each other. There's not a lot. That's yes. awesome. Wait, what the fuck is coconuts and squeak? That whole podcast is you and Gabe uh, having a stare off. Right. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, more, there might be more insightful uh, comments around that one than the regular. You want to do it, Dan? Yeah. Here's a preview of uh, coconuts and squeak. Okay. Hey, baby. Love you. <laughs> you got me. Uh, nice. You got me. <laughs> They actually were, well, they could have a huge fan. Hey, what's going on, ragged gamer? They got it themselves. Uh, Bureau of Prisons, uh, uh, down Miami. You guys want to see how fucking lazy these chicks are? Damn. One mile. If you don't get the fuck out of here. One mile. Girl, my girl, my girl, my girl. One mile. Did, whoa, wow. One Spot mile. Him. Everybody got down on me. Fine. As, dumb as, uh, as bad as the take is probably going to be from having preached in this instance, but uh, I think that there is something. Uh, it's so boring. Uh, weighing in on this at this point. It's fucking mind rot. Uh, why would you want to be in the car with somebody that you felt is sexually assaulted? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really add up too much. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. I'm non-nuanced here. But if you're in fear of somebody, you wouldn't be like, can you please bring me home at that point? Um, it's not just that by itself. Maybe by itself, that's not a good argument. But there's so much more. I need to watch the videos that I would reference. You're lying. <laughs> yes, but we got, I'm stranded. You get, uh, be lying. To get your keys back. They're one mile away. Do you know how entitled and fucking lazy you have to be to forget some shit after you get a ride from somebody and to demand that they come deliver to you? They're one mile away. I guess. But anyways, okay, slam dog. Let's, let's, be, let's be honest about this. Yeah. It's 5 a.m. That one mile walk is 26 minutes. We pulled up the route that he showed. Here's what he showed on his show. Why would it be a Why would it be a 26 minute walk if it's a mile? What? This route takes you through downtown Metropolis, Miami. What? Five a.m. 26 minutes. Probably wearing. There's no way. How the fuck would it take you 26 minutes? Heels because she was out clubbing. Now is this Now is this a, a walk that you would recommend somebody, or at least yeah, get off your entitled ass and walk. Why would it take us 26 minutes to walk a mile? Oh, maybe. How long is a mile? Oh, maybe it would take that long. I figured, oh. Hmm. <laughs> you know, at, least, at least don't act like it's crazy. <laughs> that, you know, would yeah, you want your sister or mom to take this walk? Would you call her entitled? Hell at, no. at least don't act like it's crazy, though. Yeah, and then they go, and then, you know, she could have bought an Uber. I guess she did ultimately get her own Uber. But again, let's be real. 5 a.m., girl by herself, <sighs> and dressed to go clubbing and all that. I mean, it's still a little sketch. That's it's still right. a little bit sketch. Call an Uber at 5 a.m. downtown Miami. I'm sorry, so. it is. So y'all really, once again, showing the privilege that you have, saying, no, this bitch needs to walk or call an Uber. It's 5 a.m. for lights. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess I didn't think about that because it's like, uh, walk through downtown Miami. It's only one mile. It's 1.4 miles, but whatever. Through downtown Miami at 5 a.m. 
because she didn't fuck him. Oh, that yeah. path is 1.3 miles, Ethan. Some uh, fans in the chat who live in Miami that are <coughs> confirming our, oh, our suspicion. Definitely. All right, maybe you yeah, still live in Florida. Yeah, right. hell no. I ain't walking down <laughs> anywhere in Miami at 5 a.m. by myself. My ass is going to get groped walking down <laughs> you there. Are, you are cute. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think that's why people get groped, though. Yeah. But you are cute. Might help. In your case. Yeah. So, again, this is their big slam dunk. This is the type of evidence that they're presenting as proof that she's a liar, right? This is what they're showing. Isn't that great? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Um, here he goes on. People lie. Women be lying. This is incredibly bad. No. And uh, I think content creators have to be more responsible on their platform. Not to just do this whole fucking bullshit of like, believe women. Uh, uh, no. Uh, what? That's, that's what I do. Believe women. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chat's pointing out that also she was drinking that night too. Yeah. Yeah, drunk girl. Let her walk. put out. Let her walk. Let her walk. Oh, she's let her walk. At least don't act like it's crazy that she asked for a ride. You know what I mean? Uh, don't fucking pretend that you would want your mom or sister or any female woman in your life to do that's that. That's a good point. Hey, you liars. You cowards. Privilege. They'd be like, I would do it. Okay. Very, very uh, empathetic. People lie. They're lying. Men lie. Women lie. Everybody fucking lies. Don't just women be lying. Seeing really believe people. <laughs> Because when it's gonna be your turn, it's a lie. And you got less of bullshit. You're gonna wish some people actually had some scrutiny for the people working with you. You made me defend this dude. <laughs> <laughs> they really thought, again, he, just, <laughs> he really thought he was doing something. They, they set this up. What did they say? It's gonna be your turn, it's a lie. And you got less of bullshit. You're gonna wish some people actually had some scrutiny for the people working with you. You made me defend this dude. <laughs> <laughs> they really thought, again, he, just, <laughs> he really thought he was doing something. They, they set this up, you know, uh, bab or Babel or whatever the fuck. He had the exit frame for squeaky brain. For the people working with you. You made me defend this dude. I did not, man. You did that. No, you did that yourself. I'm sorry, bro, but you you did that. You made that. You were given all of the information and you made that choice yourself. You did that, brother. I'm sorry, man. I wouldn't want to defend him either. It's embarassing. Yep. And frankly, uh, it does look bad. Very bad. Actually, really gross. Yeah. It looks very bad that they're uh, defending him just because they don't like sure. you. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting theory. I think I've heard that argument. Although they also don't like women. Right, yes. Women two accusers. Ethan and, and yeah. Ethan and women. Yeah, so two is more than one. <coughs> well, we said before, I am the male version of Ethan, so Ethan is a woman. Let's be real. <laughs> no. I think what we defended was the principle. It's like, if you lie, you lie. Oh. If you lie, you lie. If you lie, you lie. If you lie, you lie. Again, they're proof. She should have walked. <laughs> Awesome. So uh, there that is. Sorry that I made you do that. I know it is very embarrassing. Um, and then now, now let's remember through all the crazy shit they said about her. And I didn't even show. I showed a scratch of it. They have been dogging her and saying the worst things imaginable. Now after all that, in this thumbnail, her face is blown the fuck up. Half the thumbnail. It's just a straight up shot of her face. And then Squeaky Brain uh, Reach says this. Wait, just wait, what does he say? No, not that. He actually verbalized this. That. He could have just said that. And even if he said that. He said that. He made a comment about the movies. Was it worth all the lie? All of that, now you just look stupid, Danielle. Yeah. I'm saying your name because motherfuckers have to know your name. The same way you try to frame a motherfucker like that, people need to know who the fuck you are. Yeah. Just so they know that you're a piece of shit. You want to frame them as a piece of shit, but the bigger picture. But yeah, but she didn't frame him as anything, so this is obviously stupid from them. The biggest piece of shit in this story is you. Yep. It's you. I mean, do you even need to say anything? But of course, Stab and Preach wouldn't take, uh, wouldn't concede a little bit of their argument. They would just double down just like Ethan is doing because we're just fucking dealing with like a male fucking you at this point. Let's be absolutely honest with you. A bunch of guys that like just want to be right about everything, can't take a fucking L if once. And that's how you become famous, guys. You just never, you never take any true accountability for things that you do wrong. It's incredible stuff. Honestly. And again, I have to emphasize. My you have to take a liquid shit right now. On video that you guys watch. And here you are saying, here's her name. Here's what she looks like. People shit. need to know who you are. Explicitly saying that with malice. People need to know. He's like, go fuck with this girl. Now, I'm the doctor who needs to be banned on YouTube. You guys are fucking monsters for this. Do you, I don't think they understand how insane, how fucked up this is. It's vile. Okay. Vile. Here they go. And you know how we keep saying like, um, she was 19, he's 35. Mm. They, they don't think that's a valid excuse. See, because it's people keep mentioning the age. Listen, I think young women are annoying as fuck. I never want to be around them. If they come around me, I'm always disgusted. Yeah, but they're adults. Like, they're going to be younger and ignorant, of course. But, uh, you think yeah. he's disgusted? He's, he's trying to convince us. He doesn't like young girls. He's a little too hard. <laughs> like, oh, like, Jesus Christ. This whole fucking weird shit. I don't like people are annoying. They're annoying as fuck. I don't want to be around them. Like, they are annoying. Like, so are young men. Not all young women you hate. They're they disgust disgust you? It's like, whoa. Yes, all young women are. I hate all young people. <laughs> What the fuck is I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. There's something going on here. Look at the rage. Look at yeah. his face. Yeah, no, there's something going on here. Wait, wait, wait. It's really important this whole thing. <laughs> keep mentioning Am I going to take accountability for saying poop's not funny? Never. Hey, listen. I think young women are annoying as fuck. I never want to be around them. If they come around me, I'm always disgusted. I don't like being around them. Okay? There's Still. nothing to feel. Oh, uh, really, Abba? Because I'm pretty sure you ballroom dance with Melina and she's a young girl. She's like 22 or 3 or something. So, uh, cocktail liberal. Also, he's like, yeah, my little sister, my little cousin. I fucking, fucking hate them. Disgusting. True. Cool. I, I love you. I love dudes. Dudes of all ages, though. Love them all. Yeah. What's your argument? Interesting take by Prager. Looks like they're adults. They may not be the most mature adults, but they are adults. And if they want to go and fuck whoever they want, that's it. And if you got a problem with that, that's cool. Or, or not fuck whoever they want. That's a problem. We're not acknowledging that. That's right. a problem. No. Consider not mature enough there. Prefrontal cortex doesn't develop to the 25. Fine. But then change, and you have to keep the same energy for changing the age of consent to 25 in all categories. Mm -hmm. They can't vote to the 25. Mm -hmm. They can't do only fans to the 25. Mm -hmm. They can't take student loans to the 25. They're really not an adult. They can't age with their parents without their parents to the 25. That's the standard we have to set. If you want to take a two fucking baby to choose who they want to fuck, or not, then you have to keep it consistent. Gotta, that is right, right, is right here. Process. Until you do that, I don't want to hear nothing about it. That's so th th that's how we. Go ahead. No, we're good. All right, let's... Got it. Nailed it. So his theory is: if you think the fact that a 35-year-old man is trying to fuck a 19-year-old, and then complaining that she's immature, that if you want to bring up the age difference, then you gotta uh, raise the age to vote to 25, age of consent to 25, drink al
They're just trying desperately to have a say in this conversation that they don't. Sure, why not? Okay, like drama. I'm 23. So please, hold You're up. Right. I'm right. Please, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hear your drama. Actually, let me walk through this shit. You know what? Okay, I deserve it. That's it. We reached the end. So in conclusion, these guys who present themselves as holier than thou, better than, are honestly as bad, and in some cases worse, because I see them serving as a gateway into this really toxic manosphere, uh, oh, transphobic, yeah. misogynistic, women be lying yeah, type of thing. Yeah, yeah. They are fresh and fit. They think they're better, but they're not. They they're just a little better. smarter and a little. But that was a bad moment for them. Weakier. Mm. Go ahead, Zach. Now, I doubt any of this will get through to them. They're gonna. Why does he have anything to say about Hassan dating a girl who was 19 when he was 24? Well, that's a little different than 35 and 19. It's more than, well, how come he didn't say anything about, he, he, he congratulated and praised Boogie when he was like 40 or 35 for dating like a 19-year-old girl. So Do anything they can to avoid actually engaging honestly and thoughtfully with anything we've said. The one thing I would like to at least see them apologize and correct on is when they go, um, he went on that long-ass fucking monologue about me missing, the, avoiding the Hassan video. He says, I missed the Hassan video. That was a is that the biggest issue you have with their take? <laughs> Bye. So I need an apology for that. And also about the whole homophobia rant when I didn't say anything about gay and you went on a whole five-minute monologue yeah, about sure. that. I would like an apology and correction for that one as well. And I think you should apologize to the girl you doxed and put her face yeah. and name out there based on the fact that she didn't want to walk. Uh, based on the fact, let's see. <coughs> they showed text message saying that, he, that they didn't try to separate them. The club was only one mile away. She was wearing fresh and fit merch and suggested a sound drop for the show that she had already been drinking when she arrived. That, um... You need to apologize. That's your evidence for and saying so I'm she's like, lying. I have my hands like on him, despite where like, I don't want him like laying on me. Like, this. At least I'm just holding my hands up, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, this was about like max a minute long, and I was wearing like this shirt, and it's like a very loose shirt, whatever. And he basically lifted up the shirt and made a comment, and then I was like, I'm done. I'm over this. Like, hey, you lifted up your shirt and kind of looked at underneath it and commented. Yeah, yeah, my chest because I have I have piercings. You, you, yeah. you, you say what? I said I have piercings. So he made a comment on it. Oh, okay. he's loving it. And it was very he's creepy. Like, yeah, it I, was I, I, I don't want to. No, it was not creepy. She's mad because I basically made a joke oh, about her taste that's lopsided. Whatever. There you go. That's your boy. Good job. I made you defend this man. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> he said it wasn't creepy. No, it wasn't creepy. Yeah. Never mind. And by the way, just one okay. thing for the road. Next time yeah, somebody, uh, sure. next time you laugh in response to being accused of transphobic, just pull this video up. So uh, I'm going to sign off this. Event. Now the organizer told me it was about a video about trans people and uh, knowing their catalog. We've only done two videos about trans people. A few moments later. The trans person. The trans. Uh, trans person. Okay, hold on. Just fade me out. Yeah, I want to just show it full screen. Yeah, okay. So uh, I've been banned from an event. Now the organizer told me it was about a video about trans up. people and uh, knowing their catalog. We've only done two videos about trans people. A few moments later. The trans person. The trans. All right, this is what we're ending off with. Okay, trans person. Blah 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 blah. We did it, guys. I don't know why that came out of me. We did it, guys. Um, I don't even know if there's a response video from Ab and Preach at this point, but you know there's going to be one like for tomorrow or something when they watch th three minutes of that video. Um, listen, here's how we're going to end it off with this this whole bit is uh, this whole thing was so fucking stupid. It was so stupid. This entire drama is ridiculous. We just got like a four hour cope stream. We're going to have more back and forth. It's going to be petty. I don't, frankly, I'm not a particular fan of anybody in this instance. There's definitely things to criticize for both parties involved. Um, <clears throat> that's it. That's it. They, they all kind of suck. <clears throat> reject, reject Ethan Decline and, and Babble and Reach and embrace Papa Gut.